Good evening, ladies. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to South Gray. It's sub-state volleyball time, and the first game of the day is going to be Kiowa County led by Mallory Scott and Elkhart led by Casey Hoskinson. It's Kiowa County and Elkhart, and it's sub-state volleyball coming your way on KCMC Sports. And with that, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to South Gray. I'm Cameron Burney. We also have the future Hall of Famer, Randy Fulton, along with us. Coach, welcome to the broadcast. Hey, thank you. So, uh, again, this one going to get ready to get started here. And Substate, you pretty much just throw everything out the window all season long, and you're, you're here, and you got to play on today to be able to advance a whole all, yeah. a whole day worth of it. Yeah, substates are a little bit different. You know, really records records basically get your seating, and then from then on, it's you got to win or you're gone. And so you can't have that that one match that you can have in pool play where you can get away with it. If you have a bad match and you lose, then uh, you're going home. So puts a little more pressure on the on the kids and the coaches, and and sometimes that's kind of interesting to watch that pressure. Yeah. So teams here today, Kiowa County, Elkhart, your first two. Skyline, Ashland, Mineola, South Central, and South Gray all here today as well. Kiowa, or excuse me, South Central, the one seed, or South Gray, the one seed. South Central, the two seed. South Gray, probably the favorites today, but South Central beat them earlier this year. And like you said, you got to bring it today all day long to be able to do it. Yeah, sometimes uh, I didn't like getting the bye. I really didn't. Uh, I know I just like to get that jitters out and not, you know, sometimes it was an easier game if you didn't have the bye. That first one, you got to play three matches. So, you know, that's what uh, South Gray's got to deal with today is they're going to get a bye. And, but uh, they're experienced enough. They got a lot of, of, of kids that have played in this situation before and they're going to be fine. So, uh, Two teams here today, that's going to be Elkhart and Kiowa County, and we'll be back after this national anthem getting ready to take place. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge designed cars and trucks, they helped to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical. Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. All righty, coach, you ready to get this thing started? Yep, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Elkhart and Kiowa County to start things off. Elkhart, the four seed, Kiowa County, the five seed. I'm Cameron Burney, Randy Fulton alongside of me, Landon Eilert, your producer today, Chris Christensen and Andy Kyle also here with you. Yeah, I don't know, let's see. I don't know who won the flips. I don't know who's gonna be first serve. I think Elkhart gets the serve first. I think I heard that when I was walking around down there. Don't quote me on that. All right, I was trying to look at the ball going out. It hasn't went out yet. So. <laughs> so did you ever so the one seat obviously here gets to host how big of a challenge is that going to be for everybody else as the day goes along that the favorites get to get to host today oh it's huge you know i i know when we got our home court you know we 
we won a lot of them at home, and and that's just a it's it's such a comfort zone, you know, for those girls. They they don't have to travel; they can eat at home, and uh, just things are going good for them right now. So we'll set to start it off here. Elkhart going to be the first serve of Bella Brillhart. And we are underway in South Gray. Substate Volleyball. Kiowa County going to go to the far side, that little. We're going to end up getting down. Yeah. First point of the night going to go to your old team, Coach. Yeah. Uh, just went blank there. So first serve here coming for Kiowa County. This is going to be Greenleaf. Good serve. I'm going to be free balled over Ava Little back to back for uh, her. Ava Little had a kill and she just had another kill on an overpass from Elkhart. So good start for Kiowa County. Uh, Greenleaf again. Good and serve by Greenleaf. Got nice them out of system. They're going to get a free ball here. Let's see what they do. So Marley Little set up in the middle for Kiowa County as their go-to hitter oh, and just missed it. Boy. Had a good pass, good set. Uh, Marley just got – she's got to get those nerves out. Being a senior, she's ready, but she's all fired up and hit a little long. Is there more nerves in the first game of the day or as the day rolls along? Oh, for me it was always the first game. It really was. That, once you got the first couple points out and – Things started rolling and everything went fine, but kind of more like a regular day. Is that kind of why you didn't like to have the bye is then the nerves and yeah. maybe a little more of that waits until longer in the day? Well, yeah, the nerves just get there. Marley a little with a good kill yeah, there. Insane. Yeah, it's, you know, those nerves, I like to get it. You know, you're going to you're gonna play better teams every time you advance, and that's, you know, that's so when you get in the semis and you have your first match, it's, you know, you can have a, a, a kind of a hard time for a little bit. Elkhart 15 and 15 on the year. Kiowa County 8 and 21. Good pass by Elkhart a there. Nice little back slide, and it's going to get down that time for Madison Brillhart. Yeah, it looks like Mad Madison must be their best hitter, Brillhart, number 24. Her sister's number 13 setting for her. Kind of looked like when they are warming up that they both set on the out of the back row, so. Going to be floated over. Buck slid, but instead Little will just push it over. A free ball there. Going to have to yep. be a bump set, and now Kiowa County going to get one back. I can see if they get him out. Or, there we go. There's a middle. Marley Little in the middle. Yep. There we go. Yeah, if they give them free balls, um, if they give Kiowa County free balls, they're going to do a pretty good job of, of there. They're, they're finding Mallory, or, uh, Marley in the middle, and that's what they want. So in to serve now with this Gumpenberger, the libero for Kiowa County. 4-3 Kiowa County with the lead here. First match of the day. The next one coming up will be South Central and Ashland at the 2-7, and then Skyline Mineola, the 3-6. On the backwards bump set, and it worked out that time there for Garcia. Yeah, that was a pretty good little back set for her in the middle, and it looks like to me Elkhart's running their hitters out of the middle. Most of them is where they want to go. So Kyle County needs to adjust to that and understand where to set their block up. So where do you set your block up on something like that? Well, you're just going to make sure that your middle hitter is uh, there and, and can and can get a block. And I don't know if uh, Coach Coach Scott pulls in a, a double or not. We'll have to see what she does. But you just got to make sure you have one girl in the middle to have a block set. They're going after the double block and hit it over the top that time was Gilkey. Yeah, they put a double block on, and she just couldn't touch hands and hit it long out of bounds. 6-4 Elkhart now on a 3-1 to one run. Good pass by Marley. Over the Good far set. side, Hassepin. Up they got Hassepin with a net violation. Right the net. So you see the push all the way across, and that ball just kind of on top of the net. Got a, a rotation with two freshmen. On the front row for Kyle Cow. There's Marley, a little coming out of the back row. Tried to just tap one over. Elkhart here, going to roll it over. Brought it back out of the net, and Little couldn't get to it that time, got stuck. Well, Gilkey did a good job of getting it out of the net. Uh, Marley just couldn't get around her once the, the ball was there, nobody else on that side. Sometimes you just got to have things fall right for it to work. 
Gumpenberger, that one tight on the net, and uh, they're going to say Buck stepped underneath that time? No, they called or? her for an over the, the back row attack. She's out of the oh. back row, so she can't go above the net and hit the ball over. So, yeah, that was again. See, that's why we bring you on here, because I, I, I <laughs> wouldn't have seen things like that. Yep. Buck brought it back, the free ball over. So Elkhart with a chance to use it here. Going to come to the close side. That Brillhart just missed it. Well, they got a net violation, though, oh. on number one. Boy, Kiowa County shooting themselves in the foot right now. They've probably had six errors for six points right I'll now. Say. So I was just going to say it's time to call timeout if you're Coach Scott, and she did. So we'll see if uh, Kiowa County can can get going here. I'll say that's just a chance to, to regroup here if you're Kiowa County, like you said, I think that's three straight errors for them. And I think, to me, it's the passing right now. They're they're putting all the passes on the net, and they're either going long or they're going into the net, and it's pretty hard to set something up. When they've had, when they've got free balls, the passes have been to the setter, but it, but on service, they haven't been able to get the ball to the setter. So they're struggling right now on passing, and if they can clean that up, I think they're going to be okay. But it's going to be a They've got to get some passes here. And then on the other side, Elkhart hasn't really uh, gotten into their full attack mode yet. It's been a lot of free balls to start things off yeah, exactly. here. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. I, Elkhart just hasn't had the, had the little mistakes that uh, Kiowa County's had, and that's why they got a six-point lead. So let's see what happens here. We've got uh, it's going to be Brillhart to serve on the pass. Buck, Gilkey will look for the back line. Going to be Bella Brillhart almost got it into that little donut hole you talk about. Yep. Cameron Buck had a good save there. Brillhart missed it. Side of the timeout, Kiowa County gets the point. Boy, it looked like there was a touch there on Kiowa County, but evidently not. I, I Nobody's calling it, so it must not be a touch. <laughs> That's good for Kiowa County. Isaiah, you'll have several of those in a – in an all-day long Here's tournament. Here's a free ball. Okay, good pass. Good pass. Here we go. It'll be tipped over, kept alive. Elkhart now with a chance to use it. Brillhart put it into there the we net. Go. All right, so we got two good sets by Kiowa County and two two points. So let's see if we can keep going. Make Marley Marley's a good server, probably their best server. So on Kiowa County, Marley Little. So she'll float that one over. They're going to get a pretty good look here. Brillhart will roll it over and found an open spot. Yeah, that's the younger bro well, two seniors, I guess. Is that they both seniors? Or one's the Brillhart girls? Yeah. They're both seniors. They must be twins. So yeah. We'll try to get a first name here <laughs> for you guys. Madison's been the setter. They're both setting out of the back, the back row is what okay. they're doing. Yeah. Good set, good hit by out of the middle by Greenleaf, but a good dig. Here we go. They get another free ball. Can they get another, they get another free one? Ball. Do they go back to her? Yeah, they'll go to the four side this time to, to uh, Gilkey, and Gilkey gets a kill. So, a little bit of a miss hit there, but it works out. Yeah, she she did everything right. Just kind of got off her hand sideways, but a lot of times those are harder than a good hit. <laughs> to defend. <laughs> you don't really know where it's going because she doesn't know where it's going. Yeah. Right now, yeah. so. You're set up. It's coming here, coming here, coming here, and then. Yep, there it goes. Yeah. Back to a four-point game now. Sandoval will serve. Uh, we're going to get a free ball, Kiowa County yeah. is. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Here we go. Oh, they'll go to the far side. That buck off the net a little there ways and got go. it down. Yep. That's The passing's gotten a little better. That's what's getting them some sets, and they're getting some hits right now. So they just need to keep that going. Sandoval's going to serve again if she just needs to keep it in play. The, Pressure's on Elkhart right now. Yeah, Another three bad point pass. Game. Gonna gonna a free a, ball. Yep, there's one of the free balls. We'll see where they go, go with good it this pass. time. Into the Gumpen middle. Burger got deflected. Good pass. Kept oh, great alive. Dig by I believe that Madison was. Madison Brillhart. Yep. That one into the net that time. Boy, Madison Brillhart was playing middle back, and uh, we had a good hit. Kiowa County did, and it just, she had a really good dig. Yeah, there you go. Well, Kiowa County down by four. They need, there we go. Uh, Elkhart cut timeout. Is that what we got? Yeah, I think Elkhart's going to take one there down to now uh, just a four point, four point ball game. Yeah, Kiowa County, you know, they've, they've picked up two points since the timeout. So 
if I'm Miss Coach Scott, I'm telling them, hey, we, we're, we're getting better. The passes are going there. We're getting sets. We're getting hits. I would tell my Kiowa County team, if I was coaching right now, our defense is kind of standing up. We need to, to be down and ready on those hits. They, they don't hit hard, but they're trying to hit spots that we're not at and we're not ready. And I think that probably Coach Hoskinson probably told her girls, hey, we're fine. Get your serve in and, and let's get some. We're giving too many free balls is what she's probably telling her girls. We need to get some hits. I say they, when they have attacked, it's worked. Just it's been a lot of a lot of free balls from Elkhart here early. But again, first set of the day. Good serve. Greenleaf with a good pass. Going to come to Hassapin here looking for the back line. Now they're going to have a chance to attack here. That Gonzalez. Oh, Sandoval should have set that one probably. Going to go to the far side. That buck for Elkhart missed go. it. Out. Yeah, Jasmine Sandoval uh, passed that over. I think if I'm Coach Scott, I'm telling her, hey, you get a pass, go ahead and set that thing. That's our strength, you know, let it hit. So we got lucky and uh, Elkhart had an attack. It went long, so. We were, we were good about letting it go out and talking a little bit on the back row. So Yost in to serve here. Ava Little back on the front row for Kiowa County. Good serve by Ellie. Another free ball. There, there we go. Jasmine Kept had alive. a nice dig. That one just going to be sent over. So Elkhart now with a chance to attack. Is that going to be Bella Brillhart? A little miscommunication on the front line there. Little ends up just bumping it over. Bella. Here we go. Got a free ball. Now we need a set. There Going to the go. far side to Buck. Deflected, Elkhart Good. dug it out of the back row. Good dig by Elkhart. And now they free ball it over. Uh, we're not down, we need to be down and ready. Buck will just roll it over. Elkhart now with a chance to attack. Brillhart the set, that Gonzalez kept alive. Kiowa County now into the middle, big swing. Kept oh. alive, Elkhart got it back over. Another good dig, here we go. Got a rally. Ava Little with the set. Roll spike by Greenleaf. This time coming into the middle, Brillhart. Kept nice alive by Little. by Little. Marley Little had a great dig. Greenleaf can't get it that time, and Elkhart at the end of the rally. There was a good rally there. We uh, we had a couple chances. We just couldn't take advantage. That set was probably a little uh, a little short for Hannah to get after it, but she she did. Elkhart's going to help him out. I say that one put into the net. Brillhart, that Bella. So still just a three-point ball game here. 13-10, Elkhart with the lead, set one. Greenleaf to serve. Oh. Missed it way long. She's made a good run earlier. We needed those need those serves in. Say back-to-back -back missed serves. Elkhart yep. with one, and Kiowa County gives it right back to him. Return the favor, didn't we? How much does that hurt in the course of a match? The You get one and you give it right back. Well, you didn't gain anything, you didn't lose anything, but yeah, you'd like to gain something off a miss serve. That's kind of your goal. Buck off the bump set from Little just missed it. Kiowa County, their hitters are hitting long. We got to adjust to that a little bit. Um, we're swinging for the fence when we don't have the set that we need. So I always like to tell the girls it does no good hitting them in the stands. You need to keep it inbounds and wait until that good set gets where we can get that attack. That one deflected by Little, but it got down that time for Madison Brillhart. Elkhart's doing a good job of just keeping the pressure on us. They're not, they're not killing it by any means, not hard hits, but they're hitting in spots where we're not, or we're just not down and ready on defense, Kiowa County. That one floats long again. That well, time, Kara Buck. Well, we, Kiowa County needs to take advantage of this. We got a senior up there serving now, Cameron Buck. She's got a good serve. She needs to get it in. Elkhart's got to be down and ready and get a good pass. They're trying to get a bump set spike here. Five point lead, it's going to be off the bump set. That time Garcia got it. Got a net violation. Somebody got into the net there for Kiowa County. Marley Little in the net. Just Kiowa County just making too many errors. Up I'll, to a six point lead now. I would think if you look at a stat sheet right now, Kiowa County's got eight or nine errors and, and uh, they're down by six. That just drives you wild as a coach, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Good block by Elkhart. And ends up resulting in a point. 
And again, just the passing for Kiowa County in this first set just has not all has not been there. No, they they just got to get it, get their mindset where they want the ball to go. They're just kind of hitting it up there and hoping it goes there. Going on the back set to Little got deflected. Ava Little had a good hit there. Marley. Marley with a block yeah. and a recovery. Free balled over. Elkhart with a chance to use it here. Going to come to the close side. Cameron Scott. Buck the set going all the way to the far side. Gilkey, no. Yeah, again, we're just, we're trying to, that, that set was pretty low, and we needed to go ahead and just get it over to keep the ball live. 19 to 11. Little, this Good pass gonna get it Marley back Little, here into the middle. Boy, Elkhart's done a decent job with the blocks tonight. Elkhart's double blocking our middles, and they're they're doing a good job. That There's one a good got hit around the block. Gilkey had a good hit there on the four. Now they're gonna get a free ball. Kyle Chance County. to use it. Do they go to Little? No, they're gonna go to the far side. That Gilkey, and she got it. That was a good hit. That that time again. If we get the pass there, we're we're getting set and hits. Kiowa County is, and when they're not, they're not. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, what do we got? Number 15 from Elkhart and 24. I think it was 24. Madison Brillhart and Camilla Garcia. Camilla Garcia really one blocking pass that back middle. over. I think I get Marley with a lift there. She she did the right thing. She took it with her. That's better. She took it with her uh, hands, and, and uh, she just got it too low below her body. 20 to 12, the score here. Buck going to Marley Little in the middle, got it. There they go. Yeah, that time uh, Cameron set a really nice set. We had a good pass, and then Marley was able to get there before the block got set for Elkhart, and that's the difference. 20 to 13, Elkhart with the lead here, first set. Going to get a free ball here. Kiowa County is. Got a little roll spike. Greenleaf with the set. set. Gilkey will roll it deep. Elkhart has to scramble. All it's right. going to be free ball over Free ball again. to Kiowa County. Now you got to get something here. Got to get something out of this. Buck tight on the net. We'll bring it into the middle. Big swing, but got uh -huh. into the net on top of it that time. Did Hannah Greenleaf. It was there. Yeah, the, the set was there, and Hannah just got a little aggressive. The set might have been a little close to the net, but... Hannah needs to adjust to that a little bit. She can do that. Marley Little with a good pass. Cameron Buck with a great set on the four. Greenleaf rolls it over. Now they're coming close side. That Buck missed it. Uh, nice nice hit there by uh, Kara Buck on Elkhart's team there on the four side, but just a little long, just a little wide. Kyle Cannon did a good job of letting that one go. Twenty-one fourteen. Let's hear that last uh, spike just missed long. Marley went after it, but fortunate that time uh, to not get to it. Buck will roll it over. Buck now free balled over the other way for Elkhart. Well, they took us out of system. We they they passed our setter and we're doing it again. So when Elkhart's free balling over the last two times, they're hitting our setter, and so we don't have the setter on the front row to set, and that's kind of why we're getting a lot of free balls. But it worked out that time. Kiowa County staying alive here in this one. 21-15. Yeah, Kiowa County needs to make a run here, kind of get some points. 21-15, this good, one. Good serve by Sandoval, going to get a free ball. It's going to be free balled over. Gumpenberger, well, Gumpenberger tied on the net. Put it on the net. you got to put that ball over on a free ball right there in the setter. That one catches the top of the net. Greenleaf Sandoval. got a good pass. Buck. Good set by Sandoval. There you go. Yeah, that time again. When that pass is getting there, we're getting sets of Kiowa County side, and, and that's uh, the difference. We've well, got to get more of those, take advantage of their free balls that they're giving us. That one floated. Did it catch the line? It did. Nice, nice serve. Don't look now, Coach, but it's down to a four-point ball game. Yeah, if I'm Coach Scott, I'm just telling telling Sandoval, I'm saying, hey, just get me in because the pressure's on them. They're going to give us a free ball if you get a good serve. And she served in the net. Put it into the top of the net. That hurts. Yeah, that's momentum killer. That's a momentum killer, especially sure. at the end of a game on 22 points. So, 22-17, Elkhart. A nice serve. Hassapin brings it back, and it's Oh. Not going to get over the net that time. Yeah. 
23-17. Yeah, we just, again, we're just chasing the ball around. We need to put it where we want it. That was a good serve. Marley Little got it up, and looks like Cameron Buck made a really good save. He brought it back around the pole. But they're giving a free ball back. Going to Buck on the far side. Going to get a free ball here. Kiowa hurt. County, here we go. Can Good we take advantage of it? Good pass by Gumpenberger. Going into the middle. Greenleaf will roll it over. Set was back too far. Need a little closer than that. Ella Brillhart. Gumpenberger kept it alive. Still alive. Swing hard. Not oh, quite. Oh, man. By about a quarter of an inch. And we got set point. Cameron Scott to serve for Elkhart as a little bit of confusion there from Elkhart. I think they're going to end up being in the right rotation, though. Buck all the way outside. See, go. She got it down the line. Nobody there for Elkhart that time. Perfect pass. I think Marley a little maybe on the pass, and then a great set by Sandoval and a good kill by Guy Buck. So. It's there if Kiowa County can just put it together, but they're going to have to do it, looks like to me, in the second match if they can't get a good run here. A little bit of confusion here maybe on... I think uh, Elkhart's out of rotation. If that's the case, they should get that point back because they just played a rotation out and served out of the wrong rotation. Oh, uh, Let's see what happens here. We'll see what happens. Currently 24-18. Nope, they're not going to do anything okay. now. They're, got, they're back in rotation now. Hmm. They, so they were kind of looking around before that last point, like you know, something wasn't right. Kind of makes me think that they were out of rotation on that serve and they didn't catch it. So that's too bad for Kiowa County. Set point here still for Elkhart. Madison Brillhart. The bump set tied oh. on the net and hit the pole. First set going to go to Elkhart, 25 to 18, they win the first set. Second set coming up after this KCMC Sports Substate. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us, and it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks, waiting for our chance to serve you. Trying to ensure that if you're going to be loyal to a brand, it's going to be ours. Lewis Automotive Group, helping you find your brand of truck for decades. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Set number two here in this one. Elkhart won the first set 
of that one. I'm Cameron Burney, Randy Fulton beside me. Looks like we got Hannah Greenleaf to serve first, Kiowa County gets to serve first. I need to get a up and another mistake. Another mistake right off the bat. It's been the story here. Hannah stepped on the line. You can't step on the line before you serve. That one tight on the net, sent back over. Little on top of the net, and Kyra County got a point that time. Got a little fortunate there. They uh, they had an overpass, and we had an overpass, and then uh, Ava Little was in the right place at the right time and, and tipped it over on, on the side. So good break for Kyra County. One to one your score here. That one going to be an ace that time for Buck. She's got a really good serve. She just needs to put that serve there every time and try not to just keep it in bounds because it's it's a good serve. She just got to keep the pressure on Elkhart. That's what Kiowa County needs to do the whole game. There are two There's aces a, in a row. Back to back for Buck and back to back times going at Garcia in the back row. Yeah, I'm just telling Cameron if I'm coaching, I'm saying, hey, Cam, just keep it in. You know, that pressure's on them and there's an open spot right in the middle, and she's got a down pat, down ball serve. So Elkhart got a good pass that time. 24 Madison, Brillhart, good, good hit. That was probably their best pass set spike combination of the day right there too. As I say, now we get into the second set. You've played through the first one, or most of the jitters pretty much gone at this point. You're just playing volleyball you, to an a, extent? You better hope, yeah. Yeah, it's time to play now, because uh, especially for Kiowa County, you don't have another opportunity. This is it. Season on the line. Great hit. All day long now. Yep, Gilkey, Mackenzie Gilkey had a really good hit. And, uh, yeah, that was Cameron Buck on the set, Gilkey on the hit, and she had a four hit on the outside. So that's a freshman right there. She's got some potential coming up. She's got a good leap and a good hit. So Gumpenberger will float one over here. Going to come quickly into the middle. Yeah, nice job, Kiowa County. They got a double block set that time. Double blocks there again, and they found the opening in the middle of the floor there. Yeah, Cameron Buck got caught sleeping. She was standing up and, and just watching the game, and the ball went right where she should be. So she's just got to she's got to stay in the game, and that's that was a lot of the first game too. I felt like we just weren't we just weren't ready and down when those balls came over, and you just don't know where Elkhart's going to put it. They don't they're not a traditional hitting team. Little pushes it way deep and got it. They tried to set the middle from Marley off a serve receive, had a really good pass, and Cameron set it low, but Marley was very smart and put a two-handed tip in the corner. She saw the opening, so. I'd say that one was aggressive. Yeah, that was that was very nice for Marley to put it there. Good serve by Marley. So we're gonna have a chance here. This Madison Brillhart will tip it over. Kyrie County in a little bit of a scramble, but they're still gonna get a swing out of it, oh. but put it into the net to Gilkey. Yeah, that's, that's the mistakes you made the first match. They've gotta. You know, she wasn't back behind the ball, and she tried to swing at it. Just go ahead and bump it over and, and live for another day is what I always told the girls. Marley Little with a nice pass. Cameron Buck with the set. And tipped it over that time. Did Green leave? There we go. Watch out, good. GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. Hannah Greenleaf came up there and, again, saw the opening out of the middle and, and passed it, and uh, Elkhart got sleeping a little bit that time. What they're doing is – you know, both teams are the setters in the right back. And, and if you can hit that back setter on a free ball, it takes the setter out, and at least you got a chance to not let them get in system. That one going to be another missed serve from Kiowa County. Jasmine's got to be ready. She's just got to go back there and just pick a spot. And she looks like to me she went back there and just threw it up and hit it. So just got to cut the mistakes out, girls. So uh, when you, uh, on a free ball, do get it to the server in the back, as a, or yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry. Where then do you uh, you have something planned usually for that that you try to have somebody else that'll set, or does it just turn into a scramble, get it back over? No. Uh, what I always did is I always uh, had my right back, right front girl was a setter as well. She could set, and we by the time the last probably 15, 20 years, most all my girls can set a ball. So it's. Girls have advanced so much than in the olden days. Used to maybe have one girl could set the ball out there, you know. And right now we got a lot of good volleyball players in this state. 
One pass back over. Ava Little with a, with a nice job setting it over. Elkhart did a good job scrambling, and if it wouldn't have been for the ceiling, that might have went over at Kiowa County right there. <laughs> This is a nice gym to play volleyball in, though. I, I always felt like it was a good good gym to play when it's a one-court system. There that one go. found an open hole in the middle. Well, Elkhart's, they've got their middle clear back, and the, the middle's wide open, wide open. And now they've, they've adjusted the right back to the middle. If you can serve to the left side, you're going to get a free ball. But, I, but Ellie, Ellie doesn't really serve over there very often. Yep, she's serving right to the teeth of their, their defense right there. There we go. One okay, over. This, our setter's out. Hannah sets, but, again, she didn't get up there quite high enough. So they're going to come to the close side here. That Cameron Scott found an open hole in the middle. Yeah, the, again, Elkhart's doing a good job of taking our setter, setter out of system, and then we just got to make sure that we get a set. It doesn't have to be a great set, but we got to get at least a roll spike back over to this Kiowa County. Good pass, Ellie. So nice. on Greenleaf, going to tip it over. Yeah, that's a good choice by Greenleaf. So now you're going to get a free ball. Now you have a chance to go. Here we go. Where they go to it, they come to Buck on the close side and just missed it. Had a hole open on the far side, and I think she saw it just. Yeah, she, she was trying to aim the ball instead of just get it over. Hey, you know, take the hit. You don't have to be perfect. Good serve again by Elkhart. That's, that's two good serves in a row. Who's serving right now? For number 11 for Elkhart. Yeah, that'd be Cameron Scott. Cameron Scott. She's had two really good serves. Kiowa County's got to get going here if they want to. So they lead by one. Elkhart's trimmed it to one. Another good serve. Yeah, they need to. Kept alive. It got back over, but no, just. No, that was four okay. hits. Or out of bounds, I guess, out of bounds. Okay, it's tied back up. You, Kiowa County had a four-point lead, I think, and they've lost it, so now. You've got to get it back. You can't You can't get behind here. I think Kiowa County needs to be in the lead here most of the game if they want to win. Out one. A little still going to get a swing at uh, it. Ava had a really nice hit. Nice hit, Ava. Yeah, if you've got a girl that's, that's ran four or five points off on serves, you know, you just got to get lucky sometimes and get her out of there because I would say that she's probably their best server, Scott. Hannah missed her first one. Stepped on the line. Let's see if she can clean that up. Yep, good serve. Going to get a free ball. We're going to roll it over. Buck. Oh, we got lucky we didn't get called on that one. So Free balled over by Little just over the top of the net. A nice free ball. That was a good free ball. Here now we go. Now they're going to get one back. Off the bump set. Ava Little on the far side. And another one of them there where we tried to place it instead of get it over. Tried to come to the close side with it. Yeah, again, Ava just tried to be too too, too precise. Just get it over and, and help they give you a free ball back. Good pass by Ellie. This time coming to Marley Little on the close side. There you go. I mean, you got Marley Little on the front row. You've got to set her every time. And that just means your passer's got to get the ball to set her because she's she should be one of the best hitters in the in the league and in this area for sure. So you got a feeder. Overpass. Kept oh, alive. Got lucky there. Good Buck job. Buck rolled Cameron. it over and got it. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah, Marley needed to be ready because that was an overpass and she could have just she could have had that one on the overpass because she she wasn't ready to block it and uh, she'll get the next one hopefully on that. Cameron Buck saved her. Buck now back to surf. Grazes the top of the net, one pass back over. And we're sleeping on the back row. We should have had a free ball, and we didn't get a free ball out of that. Here we go. Going to the far side, Brillhart, Madison. Did that not hit the ground? It's going to be out anyway. I'll be honest, I thought that one hit the ground on the way back over. That's tough to tell. Yeah, it was. I don't know if it was a pancake or not, but they let it go. But It ends up landing out of bounds and either way. Kiowa County down by one. No, up by, one. up by one. So we need to have something happen here. Not not what we wanted to happen. Yep. That one couldn't decide until the very last second there did Greenleaf. And yeah. I don't know, those are tough to make a call on when you're. I always told the girls, you, if you think in doubt, you got to hit it. I mean, don't let a, a line judge decide your fate there. There's a good pass by Ellie. Coming to Marley Little in the middle, missed it long. 
Yeah, again, Marley went for the home run ball and just, it was everything was right. She's got to finish the swing there. And now Elkhart's got the lead. Another good pass. Buck coming a little again that there. time. Elkhart had a nice double block. Marley had a good hit. Tipped over. Oh, Sit back over on a free ball, but missed it. Marley and just missed. Elkhart is scrappy. They they just they're throwing stuff over and and they're just out scrapping us is really what's happened so here. They're keeping a lot of balls alive. Yes, they are. They they've done a lot of good things. Here we go, Marley in the middle again. Now they're going to come to the close side instead. Gilkey with the hit, got a free ball over Cameron. Ava Little tipped it over. Elkhart again keeps another one alive. Marley, Marley got a block. Marley will tip it over, and they're going to say Elkhart got in the net. Madison Brillhart got in the net. That was a. Uh, <laughs> Battle of the middles there, Marley and Madison Brillhart and Marley Little on uh, Kiowa County, and Marley won that one. It was close. Good job, Marley. Kiowa County down by one. They need a good serve here. Got a good and serve by Gumpenberger. Got an ace. Yeah, there we go. So back to 14 apiece here in the second set. 1A Division I Substate Volleyball in South Gray. Brand new floor here. Yeah, First time I've seen it in person, so I, I kind of like it. I didn't know how I'd like the green lines, but I don't mind them. Well, what they've done is just they put the tape down on this mm -hmm. one just for the, the middle. and that We use blue on ours, and they use green on there just because they got some blue. So that's probably a nice nice job of doing that. Uh, Kiowa County got a little lucky there. We're way out of system here. We need something to go on both teams. Asipin will get it over. Elkhart now. On the close side, just missed it long. That time did Gonzalez. Had a lot of roll spiking going on there, but a lot of going back and forth, and Kiowa County uh, did a good job of just staying with it. Got a 2-0 run here for Kiowa County. And got a Brill Hart will push it over. Kiowa County with a chance to use it here. Pass by Greenleaf. On top of the net. They're going to oh. say everybody stayed out of it. It looked like someone was in the <laughs> I just say I saw it move. I didn't think it was from just the ball. Marley Little's going to get called for a carry. Yeah, we're we're pushing it over, but we're putting our hands underneath of it, and that's going to be called a carry. So, right call. It's just a tough break for Cowboy County. Tie and tie game here. Back to 15 apiece. Back and forth this whole second set. Neither coach has called a timeout. I'm telling you, if I get down by by two, I'm going to call a timeout. Either coach. We'll see what happens here. Tied on the net. Tipped over. Little sent it straight back down. Yeah, you need to score now because you got Marley on the front row, and that's that's our bread and butter. But Marley's going on the back row yes, now. now so headed to serve. She can make a difference in the serve, though. Just get it inbounds, Marley. You got a great serve, and everybody needs to be down and ready. Get a good pass if they send it over. Brillhart, Madison will tip it over. Yeah, Kiowa County him. covered. Greenleaf did a good job that time. That one tips back by Elkhart. Little will set it to the far side. Hassapin uh, put it into the net. Went to the freshman on the far side. Yep, we're just. And back to tie ball game. Again, we just, little things are what's kind of getting Kiowa County. And, and Elkhart's doing a better job of not making those little errors. Buck will bring it back off of the net. Marley Little, their one hand, just lucky to get it back over. Elkhart, you better swing for the fences. Oh, she about got it again, Kyle Kenny. That would have been I say, And the gym with a little taller ceiling. I think Elkhart got a little lucky there. I think that one of the girls was, was over the net, and, and Marley hit it, and uh, they didn't see that. So we got lucky they got that point. All right, I'm telling, telling Sandoval, I'm telling her, just get it in for us. You got a great serve. This one. Elkhart, there you go. You're going to get a free is. ball. No. Or maybe just the point. There you go. Got an ace. Well, there's your two-point lead. Nice. Now, does Ho Coach Hoskinson use the timeout? I do. I mean, you haven't used any, but she feels pretty good about her girls, I guess. And she's got a she's got a, a senior-dominated team, I think, out there. So, she's okay. Graze the top of the I'm net. I'm calling timeout right now, though. <laughs> and there, there it she is. Goes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably would have called timeout. One before that, you got two, and, and uh, you haven't used one yet. So, 19 to 16, and hear that last serve that just you can't ever plan for it, but when it works out, it 
Yeah. I guess you can't ever plan for it. Can you ever try to serve it off the top of the net? Nope. Nobody's, <laughs> I've never seen anybody could do that very good. But All right. So here, I'm, I'm talking to, to uh, Sandoval, and I'm telling her, Jasmine, just just put it in play. I don't, I don't care if it's as slow as you got. Just put it in play. And we used to always uh, – our, our philosophy be a rock. And you go back there, and that server goes back, and you just – you just make sure it's inbounds, and then you tell the other girls, when they send us a free ball, I want to put it right here. So you got Greenleaf on the front row, you've got Buck on the front row, and you've got Haspin on the front row. I'm going to uh, Buck because she's a senior, and then I'm going to go to Greenleaf next. It depends on if I get the pass for a middle hit. So either one of those two. One pass back over. Here we we'll go. see where they go. Tight on the net, brought it back. They do come to Buck, there and they go. got it. Yep, that's where you're going. You can always try to go to your your senior if you can. And, and the other thing is the pass was right in the middle, so it took Hannah Greenleaf out, and it probably took Haspen out. But I, I like the play there. All right, we're done. I tell them do it again. Same thing. You get the ball, free ball. Elkhart got a really nice pass. Tipped over, sent back over. Hassapin got the hand on it, and it lands in. Kiowa County got caught. They had six girls about the 10-foot line. Nobody was playing back. And that those are those are ones that kind of get a little killer, too, for you. Looks like Elkhart's out of rotation again here. So 20-17. to 17. The score, it looks like it's going to be Madison Brillhart to serve. I think it should be because her and Marley are right across from each other, and Marley just serves so here pretty. So she's probably going to be, no, it's going to be Garcia's going to come in. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> Madison Brillhart, I'm not sure she still knows if she's in the <laughs> spot. And I'm not sure the official knows. I was going to say, I'm not real be. sure that anybody really knows what's going on at the moment. Buck. There we go. Got they got to say good good dig by Garcia. That one. Oh, Marley saved one that was going to go out. Someone's got to talk to Marley. Free balled over. Elkhart with a chance Elkhart's to use it. Elkhart's got a chance. Buck. There we go. Marley's got a good pass. Now they'll come into the middle. Greenleaf. There we go. Deflected, got a tip, but it kept alive. All That'd right. Give me a yeah. lift. They've got a double a double hit on the setter so she had she had two hands on it and uh, that was a really good call by the official they need to call that more often sometimes i think okay so hannah greenleaf on nope ellie ellie on the line yep. ellie yost will come to serve ellie's four point a, lead ellie's got a nice little serve so but they've done a good job of digging her serves up too let's we'll see what happens here yep got on a good back set. slide got it that uh, time. Nice play by Elkhart. Sister to sister, Madison to uh, Bella. Bella. Bella plays middle. She's she's not real tall for a middle, but she does a good job of putting it in play and had a nice hit there. Really good set by Madison. This one into the net that time uh, off of. Well, I'm calling timeout if I'm Coach Scott. It yep, looks like there she it is. is. Boy. Two-point lead now for Kiowa County, trying to force a third set here in this first game of the day in South Gray. They've played a lot better in the second set than they did, a lot less of the glaring mistakes. Yeah, I think both teams settled down a little bit. Kiowa County still just, you know, they're just not in the right position. Just like that serve, they, they're too deep on their serve receive. And, uh, you know, really I've never seen – Besides number 11 on Elkhart, she's got a really – the Scott girl has a really good serve, and that's who's serving. So Elkhart's got it what they want right now. They have the best server back. And uh, if I'm Mrs. Coach Scott, I'm just saying, hey, just get me a pass set, something out of this. Let's get down the ball on the ground. I don't care if it's a spike, a tip, whatever you need to do, but get the floor on that side so we can get our serve back. We're up by three. So if you get the serve back, then uh, I believe Marley Little comes back to the front row. That's what I want. There it is. Yep. Good timeout. You get that good server up there sometimes. You call timeout, and she kind of just, just freezes her enough. Like ice in the kicker in football? Yep, exactly what that is. All right, Hannah needs to put a good serve in. Both littles back on the front row along good with Good serve, Bach. good serve. You got them out of, out of rotation. Here you go, out, 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 out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to play it really bad there. Oh, sorry, fans. I'm, <laughs> I got my coaching shoes on there right there. So that was How hard is it to go from 
being at the level you were at last year in coaching to now sitting and watching? It's hard. It's hard when I can watch it when it's not Kiowa County, but it's, <laughs> it's tough not to get involved when I'm sitting here. I've done it for 34 years, so I I pretty much bleed Kiowa County colors. and, and uh, How many matches did you win? Do you know that off the top of your head? 900 and some. Wow. Started the program in Greensburg, didn't you? Yep. Yep, start the program in 1989. Greenleaf with an ace to finish it out. Yep, we're going to play in a third set. Winner take all to go to the semis here in Substate. I'm Cameron Burney. That's uh, the legend Randy Fulton. This is the KCMC Sports Substate in South Gray, and it's back for the third set after this. Yeah, I'm still getting a little feedback. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Winner take all, third set coming here. And are there more nerves now than there were for the first set? Yeah, but I, I watch both teams over there. They're trying to all kind of trying to just stay relaxed. And uh, Elkhart won the serve. Kiowa County got to pick the side. So Kiowa County picked the side that they uh, won on. So both teams are happy, I think. Good pass by Greenleaf. This one little. Ava missed it long. Ava's got to get out and take an approach. She just was standing there, and then if you're going to do that, you got to roll spike it. And she's got a really good roll spike, but she needs to go ahead and take an approach. So first point goes to Elkhart. That Bella Brillhart will serve. Good pass by Greenleaf again. Got the middle, the middle for Buck. There you go. Got deflected and uh, didn't know where the ball went that time. Was trying to find it was Kara Buck. Yes, yeah, she did a good job of trying to find it. Just got lost in the shuffle, but it, I don't know. She's had a hard time getting that one over anyway. Two good serves by Greenleaf, so we'll see what happens on this next one. Greenleaf. Another good got serve. It. Yeah, Elkhart leaves that left back wide open. I, I would have been telling my girls that, that can place the ball to at least get on that left side. Now they're going to adjust a little bit as Elkhart, but the middle is wide open. If, if Hannah can just put it right there in the middle, it's going to be an ace. Nope. And instead into the middle of the net. Yep. Again, just consistency. Be consistent. If you're an Elkhart, they're just trying to do the same thing. Both teams are trying to get past set spikes and see if they can't get a little run here. Oh. Jasmine Sandoval with a, a bad pass there. Just kind of got up on her too quick. Yep, let it roll off her arm. I think even if she had got the pass, they'd have called it. They'd have called it anyway. So, three to two here. Your score. Another good serve by Buck. Some little will tip it over. Nice play by Dan Madison Brillhart. That's going to get down for Elkhart. Yeah, Elkhart. They like to dink in them in that middle, just right over the ten foot line, and. Uh, our girls that are covering need to, to understand that's where they're trying to put that ball because they, they've done it about 10 times, I think, so far. So bad toss going to replay here on the serve. Kara yep. Buck. Another good serve by Elkhart. Buck the set coming to Little. Will push it over, nice found job. an open hole. Yeah, they they don't have any coverage inside the 10-foot line, and Marley saw that and just – that's a nice job on Marla. That's her four years experience. She's played for four years, and you can tell. All right. You got Cameron Buck now to serve. Buck to Buck. So Buck to serve. Overpass. Tight on the net, and it ended up landing on Kiowa County's side. Elkhart wins it up on top of the net that time. They lead it by two now. 
Ava's got to be a little stronger. She's a big old strong girl. She can do that. She just didn't, she didn't get it in her sights quick enough, I think. 5'11", Junior. Good pass by Ellie. Buck. There Little. we go. Got it. Yeah, that's the Marley that I know right there. That's good pass, good set by Cameron Buck, and, and uh, I think it was uh, three seniors right there, Ellie to Buck to, to uh, Mallory Little. So, All right, got another senior serving, Gumpenberger. Gumpenberger. Got a good. Tight on the net. Little got a hand on it. Kept it alive. Hassapin swinging. Okay, good job. Good dig over there. Oh, that's got to be a double. <laughs> Sorry, but that's. Tipped over. Kept alive. All kinds of good That's got to be a there. double. They missed one, and they yeah. finally got the other one. Man alive. Yeah, that's. As a coach, you get frustrated when you say, and I know the officials can't get them all, but, boy, you got to catch those blatant ones. That was a makeup call. That was a good call. Up there we go. We, over. Again, we got caught. They had an overpass. The setter gets up. I always tell the girls, you gotta you gotta cover the setter just in case she dumps it. And she dumped it and we weren't we weren't ready at all. You got Matt or yeah. Brillhart. Into the net that time from Madison. So okay. we're gonna be tied at six now. Two best hitters on each team are in the back row. Uh, you've got Marley Little now in the back row serving, and you've got uh, Madison Brillhart. She's going to come out of the back row and set. So let's see what happens. Who's got the – up? Little missed it. Served from the left side, tried to go down the line. and Yeah, that's not a bad place to go, but you've got to get inbounds. I always told them, don't try to be on the line. Just get it on that side somewhere. Floated over. Buck the bump set. Greenleaf. Kept alive by Brillhart. Now they're going to come. There's time a it was Scott. Good dig by Buck. She's going to get it back. Got we'll a roll spike. That's a nice job by Garcia. And just not tight enough on the net there that time, Hassapin. That's just experience there. You got to, you got to see that overpass. Either you're going to go block the overpass, or you're going to just get down and make a pass on the overpass. Either one of those. But you can't be in the middle of it. Eight six. Mallory with a good pass. That one on the tight on the net. And it's going to work out for Kiowa County. Back to a one-point ball game here in the third set. Marley with a good pass. And then Buck to, uh, yeah, Gilkey, I think, had a nice pass. Yeah. So they're coming off again, that Gilkey. All right, you got a. Your deficit's one right now. You need to get get it caught up so Sandoval's got to put a good serve in. She does. We'll do that. That's a good pass by Real Elkhart. There's that. There we go. We were ready for that one. Again, they took the setter out. Went there you go. Deflected on top of the net. Elkhart kept it alive. Got a free alive. ball. You got a free ball, Kyle Kenny. Here you go. Buck. Deflected, oh, kept alive. Oh, nice job by Marley Little. Wow. That was an awesome play. Here we go. Elkhart, same thing. Side. They got a hit. Kept alive. Greenleaf for now. with one of those good plays. All right, you're staying alive. Got Both a rally. teams got a rally. Both teams. There's a double set right there. Coach Scott was uh, still holding two fingers well, up in the I, air. I agree with her. That's terrible. Sorry. Yeah, you've got to call that. That was two hands. She she came off both hands. Yeah, the officials are kind of just looking around like, don't look at me. But that was not <laughs> a good call. No, that good no call. Good pass by Marley Little. Close side, Buck. There you Got go. It. Yeah, Marley's doing a really good job. She runs middle back. She's probably the best back row player on the team as well. She always was when I had her there for the last couple of years too. So it's good to have her in the back row, but you like her in the front row as well. So now to serve this Ellie Yost. Just been a one point game and Elkhart seems to be able to keep that lead. Here's an overpass. Little tight on the net, that Ava. Nice job by Madison Brillhart. Okay, again, they go to the setter. They've, they've done it. They go to the setter every time they put it over and take us out of system. I wanted to put into the net that time from Isabel Gonzalez. You know, we had a tied. double block set, and that, I mean, that's a pretty good double block when you got Hannah Greenleaf and Ava Little there, and I think that kind of got in, in uh, little Gonzalez's head. I, I don't blame her. Good serve by Ellie. That one's going to be an ace. And Kiowa County's got the lead now in the third set. All right. I'm Coach Scott. I'm, I'm saying, all right, girls, let's go. Keep them fired up. Winner of this one gets South Gray at approximately 4 o'clock.
Good serve again by Ellie. Good pass by Elkhart, Madison, Brillhart with the set. Set it over. And now they'll come to Buck on the close side, looking for the back line, missed it. Oh, boy, that was close. That was really close. That was out, though. It was Line judges are doing a nice job. They really are. They're right on the line. That was about three inches, I'll bet you. That one grazes the top of the net. Good job, Marley Little, but just couldn't quite keep it in. All right. Elkhart's back to a one-point lead. I get down by more than two or three. I'm calling timeout if I'm Coach Scott or Coach Hoskinson. That one, another one that grazed the top of the net. Mallory was there again. Buck, got Good it. Good job. Cameron Buck with the middle hit. We're <laughs> tied at 11. Again, she's probably a little bit like the, the shorter Brillhart girl. Just They do a good job on that middle. They don't necessarily have to be up and down above the net. They just seem to be able to get a roll spike on her. That one into the back of Ava Little's head. Hmm. Is that time at Yost on the surf? You got you to gotta get that serve over, girls. Come on. Both teams want the serves in. Well, it's a five, four or five match, definitely. You got two teams that are evenly matched. This one coming close into the there middle. There it is again. I believe it was that Madison Brillhart again. She's done that over and over and over, and we have not adjusted that at all. Most of the sets for the middle come from the from the 10 foot line, so the ball's coming over your head, so it's going to be hard for them to have a hard hit. So you just got to be ready for the for the overpass. How do you have to cover, or how did you like to to cover that? Well, I just put my middle up and block, and my other the two girls on the side, which are your five and four hitters, they have to be ready to get that 10 foot. And I I'm telling you, I might not even block those. I would uh, back my middle off and just let her set at the 10-foot line and say, here, you can pass to me if you want. Elkhart, one-point lead here. Need Buck a, to serve. Need a good serve, Cameron. She does. Gets a good serve. That one. Got a chance to get a free ball here. That was a nice set. Blocked back down that time. Mallory, look, that was close to being in the net, but we might have got one there. So tied at 13 there. Good job by, by Marley. She was ready. She had a block set up. Buck to serve again. That one just hit the top of the net. Kiowa County's just shooting themselves in the foot. They, they can't get a lead because they can't serve more than one serve over right now. Little mistakes all day long. They just start to pile up more and more. Yeah, and right now those little mistakes really get to you. There's another. We're too deep on our serve receive. Two-point lead now for Elkhart in this winner-take-all third set. They haven't served long, and we keep going deep. Marley to Buck. Back to Marley. There you go. Good, kept good it alive. dig by 13 on Elkhart. Wow. Another one of the Brill Hearts, that Bella. That's Marley Bella, that's again. right. She Marley, got another one. She got away with the push on that one. We're one and one on the get away with pushes. <laughs> I would have probably called Marley for, for a carry on that one as well. So officials are letting them carry it, I guess. That seems to be the right now. All right. Kiowa County needs to put on a run if they want to win this thing. One get, point ball game. Good pass. Elkhart. Real hard. Got it. That's, Big hole in the back corner. That's her second best hit. That's. Someone's got to be there as a blocker. I'm not sure who. Gilkey, I think, is the blocker at that point. She's got to be ready. Two-point lead now for Elkhart. Okay. Nobody's had a three-point lead in a while, it no, feels like. No, it's pretty much been a one-point lead. This is a big lead for them. There you go. Marley Little going to make it back to a one-point game. All right. Back and forth we go. Either coach, if I get a, if they get a two-point lead, either coach, I haven't used a timeout, I'm talking to my girls. Vice versa, if I get a lead, if I'm Kiowa County, I'm getting them excited. I'm going to say, hey, let's get some momentum. That one deflected, got down. And there's your two-point lead for Elkhart. Yeah, again, I, our defense is set up so deep. It looks like Coach Scott's trying to tell them to move in, but we're standing on the line, and they haven't hit the line all day. Everything's been in the middle. Two-point lead for Elkhart. Gumpenberger, it's going to have to be a bump set now from Little, tipped over by Greenleaf. 
Going to the far side There's of that There's a free block. ball. There's a good pass by Marley. Coming to the middle. Greenleaf put it into the net. Now it's three. I'm being called timeout, but I'm not sure why we're saving timeouts, but I would be calling timeout. Three-point lead, Elkhart. Harley Little tip back over. One pass back over. Buck will send it deep. Everybody had a chance to reset now. Into the middle, Brillhart deflected, and now Elkhart by four. And there's going to be the timeout called by Kiowa County. And now a four-point lead for I, Elkhart. I never like to save my timeouts. I'd just soon use them because I think we had a one-point lead. They got two up. I think I ought to use my timeout. So we'll see what happens here. But uh, you've got to get momentum, and, and we just can't seem to get that momentum. So 19-15 uh, to 15 here if you're – Inside of uh, Elkhart's huddle here, what are you telling the girls? I'm telling them, hey, get the serve in. They're, they're, uh, you know, we made a run right here, and I think that the nerves on our side, on Kiowa County's side, is uh, a little bit higher than what Elkhart is. Elkhart's can play loose now, and that's what they're doing. It's much easier to play with the lead on the third third match or third game, obviously, than it is the deal. If I'm if I'm Coach Scott, I'm just saying, hey, get back to basics. Pass, set, spike. That's all we got to do. I'm trying to put that first set to Buck. She's been the hot hand when she's been on the front row, which means we got to put a pass up there. So Gumpenberger will do so. Buck's going to bump set it. Gilkey. Brillhart to Brillhart. Now Kiowa County with a chance to use it here. Greenleaf kept alive, though, that Madison. Tipped over, still alive. Again, Elkhart's just bumping it over because we haven't been able to cover it. So that's they're not even worried about it. Real hard, That's baby. a good job by Gumpenberger and, and Marley Little. Good job, Kiowa County. He kept it alive. God, Kiowa County can't get too deep. Buck on the swing into the net. Hassapin kicked it to keep it alive. That's legal. She could have got it into the middle almost. Well, again, they're just El – Elkhart's just keeping the pressure on. They're not they're not making mistakes, and they're just trying to let us make a mistake, and we've been obliging that sometimes. Gilkey will have to bump it over. Got a chance for a kill here. Coming to the close side, looking deep. Buck kept it alive, tipped over, still alive. Nice job by the younger – or the Bella Brillhart, yes. Buck. Up. From the back row there. I don't agree with that call either. She wasn't over the net. So on that, on the back row attack, you just you can't have your hand be above the net. Is that right? The right. You can't if you're inside the 10-foot line. The setter can't, and if she's on the back row, which which we are, uh, she can't have her head hand above the net when she puts it over. And that that was close. I I probably would have let it go with all the other stuff they've let go today. But uh, she was sure going to call that one. Winner of this one gets South Gray in the fourth match of the day, 35 and one on the year. This next game upcoming is going to be South Central and Ashland. South Central 23 and nine on the year. Ashland just five and 27. Third match of the day will be Skyline and Mineola. Kiowa County, if they want to claw back, there's time, but you got to be perfect now. You can't make mistakes. You've got to stay home. But again, it, we're deep on our serve receive. We've got to go up a little bit. There we go. Garcia to serve. We're just trying to serve middle. Yep, right to Marley. Good pass by Buck Marley. Good job set. for Buck. Greenleafs. Good hit by Greenleaf. Elkhart kept it alive. They'll free ball it over. Marley Little. Cameron Buck. Greenleaf in the middle. One. Good Block job back. by Greenleaf. All right, so you're down to five, Kiowa County. Now, who do we got serving? Jasmine? Jasmine Sandoval Jasmine coming Sandoval in. Sandoval going to come in to serve here for Gilkey. All right, so I'm telling my senior, Jasmine, I'm saying, okay, girl, here we go. And I'm telling my other girls, I'm saying, Let's just be where you're supposed to be. Go back to basics. If you make a little run, then Elkhart starts to get nervous. They're not nervous yet, but they can be if they get a win within two. 
That one missed it long. Yep, good job by Brewer on Elkhart, let it go. And now you really do have to be perfect to get back in it. Yep, you can't make any mistakes. You have to have everything right. And that was a really good serve again. Scott's their best server, and she's up serving. So Elkhart's right where they want to be. Kiowa County out of timeouts. Good, good pass by Gumpenberger. She'll free ball one over. Brillhart. Going to come to the far side. That was Gonzalez. Good pass by Matt, Matt Marley. <laughs> tipped it over. Good job, Buck. Sandoval will send it back over. Well, just, just too many free balls on Kiowa County's part. They just aren't getting any sets. Gonzalez on the swing that time. This got time a set to the this middle. time. There we go. Good, good set. Good hit by Greenleaf. They got a good dig by Elkhart. Sandoval coming to the close side. Buck blocked. Bella Brillhart, and Elkhart can smell it now. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. Cameron had a hit, and, and she wasn't over the net to block it, but it came down, and she just pushed it back over, basically. Marley with a good pass. Buck will bring That's it back. Free balled over by Hassepin. Elkhart looking to attack here. Coming to the close side, uh, and not able to get to that one was Kara Buck. 23-17. All right, you still, you're still alive, Kiowa County. You've got to get some serves. You've got to get on a run. Try to make Elkhart call a timeout. That's your goal. Yost. Nice serve. Good pass. Real Hart will send it deep, and Thank they you. send it right to Sandoval again. Yep, they did, and she put it backwards instead of frontwards there. Kind of hard. Kept alive. Buck All tries right. to bring it back and can't do it. We got match point. Elkhart 15 and 15 on the year, straight up 500. Yep, you're telling Elkhart's girl, you're saying just put it in play. Doesn't have to be an ace. Bella Brillhart. Good pass by Marley. Buck. Buck with a good hit, good dig. Going to get a free ball. Brillhart deflected over. Sandoval will keep it alive. Free ball again. Yep, give him a free ball. Now it comes a dig dump again to our setter. Good, Buck. good bump set by Ava Ellie. Brillhart. Good hit by Buck. Scott. Brillhart again. Yep. And that's go. going to be it. Elkhart wins the third set. They win the first match of the day in three, 25 17 in the final set. They win it two to one. And now their reward, they get to go play the number one team in the state. Yeah, but you know, you always want to live. You always want to win, and uh, yeah, they're excited. That Elkhart, it's probably been a long time since they won that first one like that. That was a good win for them. Kiowa County, they they fought hard. They just couldn't get it get it going. They just made too many little errors at the wrong time. It seemed like. So now they're going to put 20 minutes on the clock for the next two teams to warm up. It's going to be South Central and Ashland will be the next two teams up here. So we're going to take a little break for Randy Fulton. I'm Cameron Burney. This is KCMC Sports, the Substate Tournament 1A Division I, brought to you by United and Lewis Automotive is back after this.
Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. It's the second match of the day. On one side, it's the two and seven matchup. On one side for Ashland, Shelby Luerman back at her high school she graduated from. And then on the other side, Cindy Snyder, 20th year total coaching volleyball. It's South Central and Ashland. It's the 2-7 matchup, and it's their second matchup of the day, brought to you by Lewis Automotive and United. And with that, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. It's the second match of the day. And I'm Cameron Bernie, Randy Fulton alongside of me, and coach the 2-7 matchup here, South Central. Probably the second, I mean, they're the two seed, they should be the second biggest favorites, but have already beat South Gray, gave them their one loss this year, and an Ashland team that has struggled for most of the year. Yeah, you know, Cindy Snyder, uh, Coach Snyder, I guess, uh, you know, she's liking this because she gets that play-in game and, and uh, just gets the monkey off her back a little bit. The girls get some rhythm a little bit. We talked about that the last match. Um, Ashland, on the other hand, you know, they're here, they're trying to be a spoiler, and they've got athletes, you know, they could definitely do it. So if you're Coach Snyder, you're saying, hey, you know, records don't mean anything right now. Let's play our, our game and play our, our ball and see if we can't get a lot of pass set spikes, get some rhythm so we can get to the semifinals and, and see where we are there. So, For South Central, a couple of different hitters for them. Got Molly Murphy. Izzy Hackney and then Mia Alexander going to be the setter for him. Cambry Stapleton will be the libero. I think Molly's probably their best hitter. You know what I've what I've seen so far. She's a really good hitter. She's been playing I think as a, since a freshman. Kind of moved around a little bit depending on you know now she's getting up there. She's a she's probably one of the leaders on their team I imagine. And for Ashland number ten, uh, she's their best hitter. Um, Camden Cunningham. Yeah, she can jump out of the gym. So, you know, if you're Ashland, if you can just get some passes and sets and get get to get her going, uh, you're going to be pretty good because she's an athlete. Just got to put it all together at the right time on the right day. Yeah, this I always told my girls if I'm on Miss Coach Snyder's team, I'm telling them, hey, this makes Ashland's year if they beat you. So, you know, they got nothing to lose and uh, don't let them get hot. We're going to start it off here. Ashland got the serve. Tight on the net and right on top of it, but Cunningham got it in to oh, it. Got in the net. She got a little excited, and, and but uh, South Central got got a little fortunate there that uh, that didn't start out like they didn't want to start. But that's the nerves right there, both sides. So that's Stapleton now to serve for South Central and it one pass back over. Alexander will free ball it back over. A lot of free balls right now. You can tell the nerves are going a little bit. Nobody's gotten a rhythm yet. Alexander the bump set this Murphy. Missed it. Yeah, they're two best hitters on each side. Just just a little wound up and the adrenaline's going, so they both went long, one went in the net. So calm the nerves down. Alexander will bring it back into the middle, looking for the back or the outside line that time with Zit Gardea. Alexander will come to the far side. Murphy, got yeah. it. Yeah, there's, there's their best hitter. She hits on the, the outside most of the time, number four. Now she's going to go to the back row. But, yeah, she didn't get very many sets with the front row run, so they're, they're hoping to get her back on the front row pretty quick. On the other side, Ashland hadn't had a – the set hit yet, so that's that's kind of what they need to get going. Get a couple sets. They got a free ball here, well, uh, but they did go to the back row that time. Kept alive by Alexander. Nice back row that attack. Was Sinister, or excuse me, that was Carlton. That time on the attack, they'll free ball another one over Stapleton. Alexander coming to the far side. This Izzy Hagney. Probably the second best hitter on the South Central team? Yes, definitely. Her and Molly are opposite. They're the two best hitters on their team. That, that Hackney, Izzy Hackney can jump out of the gym. She's not very very tall, but, boy, she can she can leap. So I watched her at the, the league tournament. She's pretty impressive when she gets on her hit. Just 5'3". 
That's pretty good to be an outside hitter at 5'3". <laughs> it means you got a couple leaps on you. Yeah, very nice. So four to one South Central here early in the first set. I'm Cameron Bernie, Randy Fulton alongside I mean Landon Eilert, your producer. Well, they finally, Ashland finally got a set to, to Cameron Cunningham and uh, just Cameron's just a little nervous yet. Set probably need to be a little t bit higher, probably four also. Good serve, good pass here. Up. Send it over, they were set up maybe to go Cunningham. Now they're going to get a free ball, though, but they're going to free ball it straight back over. Overpass. And another one. Well, there's, yeah. Okay, so South Central had an overpass there, and uh, Cunningham, if she's sitting there waiting, she's going to nail that one. Then we're just not, Ashland's just not in the right places yet. They're, they're still a little shell shock here. One cent deep. Stapleton was up too far, couldn't get back to that one. See, that's twice now that, that probably Ashland should have had a set to Cunningham and they, the setter bumped it over, pushed it over. So, we got a point off of one, that's good, but man, you got to feed your hitter. Good pass by Alexander. They're coming Alexander. to Hackney. Yeah. And she can jump. Yep, she's she's a good jumper. Ashton, if they're not going to put a blocker up there, she's going to, her and uh, Molly Murphy are going to have a heyday. 7 2, first set. Good pass by the Libero from Ashland. The Cunningham will look deep, missed it long. Libero for Ashland tonight, Bianca Cineceros. Riley Ward, their setter on the front row. That one gonna miss out long to the left, or wide to the left. So if you're, you're Ashland right now, you know where the ball's gonna go most of the time. If Isabel Hackney's on the front row, she's going there out of the four side, and Molly Murphy's going to be on the four side as well. So as a blocker on their side, they need to set their defense up to try to help them out on that. That one, uh, Alexander tried to pull it back out of the net and a swing and a miss. Great serve. Jump serve by Cunningham. She serves over in the left corner, and she, she's doing a good job there. See if she can do another one here. Very good. A little good. bit of top spin on it. A little top spin jump serve. That's a nice serve. Hackney, that one. Yeah, she, that was a set to the 10-foot line. She just just got a little on top of it and got it in the net. Good job, Ashland. They're making a little run here. And Up. into the net. Momentum killers. Yeah. Got two and gave up one. I guess you end up with a plus one. That's not bad. So now Cunningham will come out. Serving up for South Central, that Patterson. We're going to go to the far side, that Carlton. She'll have another shot at it, just can't bring it back. Well, South Central did a good job of putting a the block there, and then Carlton just couldn't quite get it before it got over the net on her side. That one yeah. going to be off of the arms that time of the Libero and Cineceros. There's a good serve. Ashton's going to send a free ball over. A little roll spike, roll I guess. Over. Alexander now coming into the middle. Got it down that time. Yeah, Gracie there, York. There's a nice pass set spike. Got York out of the middle that time. Whenever you can get your middles involved, that means your passers are, are doing a good job. So good job, South Central. That one into the net there. Yeah, again, I think sometimes those girls are getting back there and serving a little too quick. Get a pick a spot. Put that serve where you want it. Good serve, Ashlyn. This one going to be tight. York going to look deep, but missed it long. Yeah, that set was a little a little low, and she tried to roll it over with the jump. That's that was, She did all she could do on that, probably. Riley Ward to serve. Serve, Alexander into the middle. Missed it, Hackney. We're going to say missed it. Crowd thought it was. That was Maybe awful in. close, but Let's see if we got it here. Oh, yeah, I think she just missed that one. That's one of those that came pretty fast, and she just wasn't ready for it. This one long ways to run and not able to bring that one back is Ashland.
13 to eight. Good serve. Tied on the net. And winning up top that time, Molly Murphy's gonna win more of those than she's gonna lose. Yeah. Got an overpass there. And get an overpass and it's pretty tough on the defense, so. And into the net there that time from Hackney. Well, South Central's trying to help him on the serve. Cunningham, or uh, Ashland needs to take advantage of it. Got Cunningham on the bench, you're hoping to get her up there in the front row and get some sets. So you need to get a little run here for yeah. Ashland. If you're South Central, you're thinking that some of this is just, you're thinking you may be going to cruise through the first one. Is that one going to catch Ward in the side of the head? Yeah, Molly Murphy had a nice hit there and just kind of couldn't get out of the way for Ashton. She couldn't get a hand on it and got her in the face. Yeah, you know, if you're South Central, they're just, they're overlooking Ashton a little bit probably and getting ready for the next, the bigger match. But. You just got to you got to get some momentum. I always told my girls, I said, just see if you can't get some momentum here, keep things rolling. And uh, you're just talking to your girls and telling them, keep going. Ashland going to be free balled over by Hackney here. Ashland with a There's chance a to use it. good pass by Ashland, pass that spike, and got to Cunningham as she pushed it over, got it. Got it to got work, a though. Point. Yep. Back to a four-point game. Cunningham's yet to get her, get her approach going and a spike. I'm anxious to see if they can get one going. Yeah, they're back to four points. And so Ashland just hanging around right now. Again, if you're, if you're at South Center, you're telling your girls, come on now, let's play right. There you go. That one will get down on the roll. Good roll spike by Molly Murphy. So Stapleton now back to serve. Five point lead for the Timberwolves. Gonna have a chance here to go to Cunningham, but she has to run a long ways to get it. Brought it back inside of the pole though. Alexander coming all the way across. Murphy coming way in, but got it. Yeah, that was a good job by the setter, putting the ball up there for Molly Murphy and Molly. The set was probably a little, little close to the net, but Molly did a good job of cutting it off before it got over the net. So had a good hit. That one grazed the top of the net oh, into the Ashton net. Ashton did a good job. Got it out of the net, dug it out. Now you Cam. got a chance. There you go, Camden Cunningham. Yeah, there's the athleticism right there. So if you could just get her to take an approach and get her a set, I think uh, she could be a pretty good little hitter for sure. Lucky to serve, and that one just locks Stapleton up. Yeah, that's communication. You want your left back to be telling your middle back out or in, and then that way she can open up. But when you're moving backwards, you don't have a clue. You can't see that line. So that's probably on your left back. This time going to Murphy. Had to wait on it. Still got it over the block, though. Little roll spike on the right There's side. There's your shot at Cunningham. I'm going to say uh, South Central was in the net. There you go. Cunningham got it up that time and uh, caused a net error by, by South Central. Oh, look now, Coach. The seven seed's got this thing as a three-point ball game. Yeah, that's – South Central's got to cut some things out. And Ashland needs to continue doing what they're doing, but they just passed one in the net right there. So, a little momentum break. That'll put Murphy to the back row, but that brings Hackney now to the front row. Yeah, right now, Hackney's got the hot hand for both teams. Not going to be an ace from Murphy. Good serve. So now it's up to five, just like that. Yeah, you can't take a serve receive sideways or it's going to end up in grandma, grandma's seat. Like you said, grandma can't play. Grandma can't play. That oh, one. Oh, home run, touch them all. Back row attack by the, by the libero on Ashland and not going to work that time. So Ceniceros misses that one long. 20 to 14. Substate Volleyball is back after this.
There we go. Now it's going right. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. 20 to 14 here. South Central, the two seed, is uh, doing just enough at the moment to probably feel comfortable at this point. Yeah, I think they feel pretty good. But I think Cindy, Cindy Snyder, she wants them to play better. She, she doesn't want. Hackney. Yeah, Hack, Hackney sure got it going. Nope, I'm not in again. This one going to be pushed deep and coming close on the net. Sent it over. South Central got another one that time, Patterson. Yeah, Patterson out of the middle that time and pushed it over, and Ashland just couldn't pick it up. But, yeah, Ashland's got to play that middle a little bit better because they're, they're hitting the middle on South Central is, and we're not able to pick it up on Ashland's side. But one pass back over, and that time tipped down. 23-14. Another pass. one pass over. Did that not hit the light? I said the light's shaking up there. <laughs> and now the yeah, it hit the yeah. light <laughs> and went over on South Central side. So it's a point for I South Central. South Central's going to get that one. I think it might have ended up landing out anyway, but off of the tip, I said the light was shaking up there, and I think that's what the official pointed at. Was yeah. That. <laughs> Cunningham will tip it over, missed it, first set's over. And it goes to South Central. So the two seed, it took a little bit, but they end up pulling away. Second set coming up after this, KCMC Sports 1A Division 1 Substate. We'll be right back. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first serve is going to be an ace here in the second set. Stapleton's little bureau for South Central. She's got a really nice serve. Just put an ace there. So she'll set to serve it again. And back to back. Back to back aces. Yeah, if you're. Uh, Coach Lurman for Ashton, you're telling them this. Let's get a let's get a pass. Put it up in the middle. Let's get a set because you got to get that good server out. Third one, Cunningham will one pass it back over. Stapleton came all the way to get it. Oh, they had a chance and they passed it right back over. So here you go. You're gonna get Murphy. hit by Murphy. Just long. Swung for the fences that time. Yeah, South Central got a little bit wanted a really good kill. That's okay. That's what you want. Be aggressive. There's a good pass. Alexander coming into the middle. Blocked back down, I believe that time with CCAP for Ashland with the block from the back row. Lily Carlton. 
And Ashton just needs to settle down just a little bit, try to get back to some basics here, get a pass and set. Another ace for South Central. Three of their four points have come off aces. Yeah, Ashton's, they're, uh, they're really deep on their serve receive. They need to move the girl in the middle there. There she moved up a little bit. Maybe that'll help her. Yep, that helped. Okay. Right to her. Got a set. That's a nice set. Cunningham will push it into the middle. Alexander going to the far side. Hackney's had the hot hand, and she's got another one. Well, she hits the ball really well, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She comes out of the on the side. She jumps up with 5-3. She, she she's got a good vertical. Junior, got another year. It's an all-around good athlete. Really good 400 runner, really good point guard. South Central's going to have a special one there. Yeah, she's got He'll just continue to get better, it looks like to me. So uh, Ashland here going to take a timeout. And six to one here in the, this one. If you're standing inside of that huddle with Shelby Lurman, just trying to calm the girls down here, we just need a good pass here, need something to go right. Yeah, you, you know, they've got shell shock on their face, and you're just kind of telling them, hey, come on now, we do this every day. Get some pass set spikes, try to get a little bit of points here and get back into it. You're only down five. But, uh, yeah, they've just got to get something positive, and they, right now they can't serve or see. That's their problem, and that's, that's killing them. So we'll see. And South Central's putting some really nice serves in as well. So Murphy, she's already got a couple of aces. There we go. Ward, uh, this one into the middle and put it into the net that time. Presley Seacat. Yeah, she's that's a five, six freshman. That's just a freshman. She's just learning, but. I've got her first set of the day, so hopefully that'll help. Get really a pretty way. young Ashland team all the way around. Yeah, they are. I think that was outside the antenna. We're yeah. a long ways from that one, but if you brought that back from there and it ended up where it was, that would have been a good play. Yeah, she almost You'd have to put got some it. English on it. Murphy. Here's your chance with the bump into the middle, tipped over. Alexander kept it alive, so the setter's out. They're going to go to Hackney. Off the net, got it through the block. Wow. <laughs> She's got the hot hand. Yep. Hackney got what you're trying to do, and you're 5'3", and you got a good block up there. You're trying to hit high hands, and she hit high hands, and so it ricochets off, goes deep, and uh, she gets a point. So very nice job by Isabel. That one missed it. First real mistake for South Central here in this second set. Yeah, if I'm Coach Snyder, I'm just keeping the girls involved and saying, let's go. Let's not get some fast set spikes. Here's another good set. Guess who's got it again? Yeah, Hackney. See, they can't stop her. Yeah, and Cunningham's up there, so Cunningham's got to take her cross. Don't take her line. Make her go line because she likes that cross shot. You should be able to get a block on that maybe. And pass tied on the net. Another ace. It's rolling right right now for the Timberwolves. 11 to 2. The two seed here today, 23 and 9 on the year. And the one seed, South Gray, they gave them their only loss of the season on senior night here in Montezuma. That one tied on the net. But I don't know if Patterson actually got a hand on that one or it just landed on. Ashland side. I or think it just landed on the side of the net, but she was there. She was going to get it if it came over. So, this one floated over. Good serve on the back bump set. Cunningham's Free ball got a coming wait on over. It. Alexander, do they go to Hackney again? Why not? Yep. Wow. You're going to go to her 99% of the time right now, and uh, her and Molly Murphy obviously are going to get most of the sets, but that's the way it should be. As good hitters as they are. So I'll say that time Cunningham set up for the the block on the cross, so she did go line. And yep, that's a good job. Cunningham. There, Cunningham's first good hit. There, finally got one. Worked out for. Her. Yeah, if Ashton can just get a couple pass set hits, they can get some points. Cunningham's on the right front, so she's got one more rotation. She'll go off the, the back row. Alexander on the bump set. Hackney has to come way up to get it. It's dug nice out of the back row. Nice dig by Carlton. Lily Carlton had a nice dig. So we got a free ball over. It's going to come right back at you. Hackney. No, they went to the middle that time. York, and it's blocked by Cunningham. Yep, there you go. 
And Coach Snyder wouldn't have liked that if they'd have been a close game, but she's okay trying to get someone else involved. 13 but, to uh, four. Cunningham sitting there waiting for you on that one. That's a tough call for anybody on that one. Hackney. Dug out of the back row, but into the light. Great dig, but just got too high. I'll tell you, Hackney, she winds up and gets after it, but she, she, they're putting some really nice sets for her there. Yeah, Alexander, the setter for South Central. Another ace for South Central. Yeah, Alexander sets a nice ball up there, and, and uh, that, that really helps. That's been a whole family of athletes. Yep, I've seen a couple of those in my day. Cunningham kept alive off the bump set. Cunningham will win that one up top. Yeah, I had an overpass there trying to bump set it over the middle, and that's just, she was trying. Again, Coach Snyder's okay with that. She was trying to put a, a set up there, but good serve by Cunningham. This one, long ways to run. Got an ace. Not gonna work out. Murphy tried to bring it back with one hand. And now you're just telling your, your junior Cunningham, keep it going now, keep it in bounds. Let's try to get on a roll here. That one into the top of the net, almost grazed over the top. Cunningham, as you said, just a junior. <laughs> Good pass set by Ashlyn. Just Went with set the left was a, hand that time. That was a little close. She couldn't get on top of it with the right. Murphy couldn't get it back inside of the post. Yeah, I tried to try to get it over. He did a good job of getting to it. Just couldn't get it over the antenna. 16 to 7, second set. Third game of the day will be Skyline and Mineola. Skyline the three seed. Good pass. Murphy. Murphy with the good hit there. Kept it alive, did Ashland, but that's uh, going to be. Double hit, lift on yeah. uh, on. Carlton. She just tried to get it back over and, and just got two hands. A little bit of a lift. Alexander to serve now. Good serve right did in the corner. Did she get it in the corner? She did. I'm not sure that's where she was aiming to look <laughs> on her face. So. But, but it all works. Yeah, nice job. One tried to bring it back. They got oh, it nice over. Did it Carlton. work? It did. <laughs> wow. Carl just stuck a hand out coming off the net. <laughs> what a play. Yeah. Give him a little momentum there. So off the net, just stick the hand out, flick the wrist, and <laughs> find she the, couldn't even hardly believe find it. Find the floor. Good pass by Alexander. Got a set by. Side. Got it down to Murphy. Yep. Alexander put a nice ball up there again. Yeah, that time the pass was uh, Izzy. Had a really nice pass, Isabel. Murphy a senior, Alexander just a junior. Another ace. Wow. Yeah, South much. Central's serving it pretty well here in the second set. Yeah, they're getting some help. But yeah, they're putting the ball in play and making Ashton make a pass, and it's not working right now. Off the bump set, we'll just free ball one over here. Well, here comes a hit. As they Molly guess Murphy. coming. Nope, it's going to come middle. They're trying to get the middle involved. Good job. I'd have lost money on that one, Logan Patterson. Yeah, I think in a in a big game they might have set that probably to Molly. But hey, if you can get your middle involved, you're going to need her later on because you, you're not. They're going to South Gray's going to set up on them, so they need all the hitters. Another good. That was a really good serve there. She hit that, that again. She look on her face, looks like she wasn't <laughs> aiming for that spot, but it's a good spot if you can hit it there. Couple on the 10 foot line. Couple of happy accidents in this one for South Central, but <laughs> sometimes it takes skill to have some of that happen. Yep. 23 to 8 now. Everything's rolling the Timberwolves' way here. Yeah, I don't see this one lasting very much longer. It's Ashland's trying to get a good pass up there, but. South Central's putting some nice serves in there. There's a good pass set spike, Carlton with a hit. So this one's gonna be to the back row now, Hackney. Why not? Why not? There you go, now we got a rally. Now we got a rally, Molly Murphy right there. 
Got a touch, did Ashland. Now they're going to look to attack here. Coming close side, tipped over. Alexander, so the set setter's out. out. Nice bump set. Murphy, one pass back Good over. pass again. And here it comes again. Here it comes, middle. Bam! There we go. Logan Patterson. Well, I'll tell you what, if, they, if South Central can get those three hitters going the rest of the day, um, they, they'll, give, they'll give some people a run here because they're, they're past set and spiking really good right now. I know they're getting a lot of free balls. It's not going to be that way later on. Match point. Good pass by Molly Murphy. Now she's going to get set. And blocked back, but oh. it's kept alive. Ashton's, Miscommunication. Ashton's, Ashton's doing a nice job of blocking right now. They've got two girls up there, and they're putting some fight in here. I believe that was Seacat along with, was it Lucky over there? Number nine. Oh, Ward, my Ward, apologies. Yeah, yeah. Seacat and Ward on a good double block. Molly, Murphy. Molly Murphy from the other side, nice dig. Kept alive, that's gonna do it. There we go, there's the point. So uh, second match of the day, that one much quicker than the, the first one that went three sets, it was back and forth the whole way. Yeah, you expect that on a 2-7, that's, that's kind of what you want. If you're Coach Snyder, you're saying, hey, that's where we want to be. And, they got all the hitters involved, and that's good because now they got some confidence going into their semifinal game. Next one coming up in about 20 minutes is going to be Skyline along with Mineola. I'm Cameron Bernie. That's Randy Fulton. This is KCMC Sports, the Class 1A Division I Substate Volleyball Tournament brought to you by United and Lewis Automotive. Third match of the day is coming up after this one. South Central rolls. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us. And it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks, waiting for our chance to serve you. Trying to ensure that if you're going to be loyal to a brand, it's going to be ours. Lewis Automotive Group, helping you find your brand of truck for decades.
19 minutes. So that means we're back here at four. Let's see what he thinks about it first. See what he's got in a
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's the third match of the day coming your way here in South Gray for the Class 1A Division I Substate Tournament. It's Mineola and it's Skyline, the 3-6 matchup here tonight. Skyline, Mineola, coming your way. KCMC Sports brought to you by Lewis Automotive and United. And with that, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Cameron Burney, Randy Fulton alongside me, Landon Eilert, your producer, Chris Christensen, and Andy Kyle also here with us today. And uh, coach, this one today could be another one of them that Skyline, obviously the heavy favorites coming into today. Mineola, only seven girls listed on the roster. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Mineola can get uh, a little run going like they did in the spa tournament, actually. They kind of got their first win and got into one side of the tournament, so, you know, who knows. And I doubt if they played each other, so they'll kind of have to see where the hitters are and that, but uh, I haven't seen Skyline play. They look like they got some athletes over there, so. We'll I, say, I haven't seen them play volleyball. I watched them a little bit. I saw them last year during uh, basketball. And, I mean, basketball doesn't always translate to uh, volleyball, but Anschutz as uh, number one and Ashley Spies, number two for them, were a couple of their better ball players last year. Yeah, anytime you have a coach's daughter out there, sometimes <laughs> that's usually a pretty good thing because they, they've kind of been around the system since they've been in diapers probably. So, yeah, Coach Anschutz has been coaching over there a while. I don't know how long, but she's, she's coached over at Pratt Skyline for a little while and probably has a, a system going. So we'll, looks like uh, Skyline has some girl in a knee brace. I don't know if that's one of their starters or is that a assistant coach? I can't tell. <laughs> it's got the same last name of one of the girls on the roster. So Coach Anschutz has been at Skyline seven years. Okay, seven, yep. Mm -hmm. I think she was an assistant before that, so I think that I've seen her on that sideline a long time. Ben went to state in 2020. Yeah, yeah, they Skyline's had some good volleyball teams in the past. I don't know who's got the serve yet. We'll see. They throw the ball. Looks like Skyline's going to serve first, Co or Cameron. No, yep. they will. So Skyline going to be in the blue, Mineola in the purple. And again, Mineola just seven girls listed on the roster. Yeah, looks like uh, Skyline has a libero, number 24, Grace Hoffman. And Mineola does not have a libero. So, so let's get things underway here in the third set of the day. On far side, going to be tipped, kept alive. Coming back, looking deep that time. Got a little rally going here. Got a free ball to Skyline. Looks like a good pass, good set, middle. Got it. Yep. Just like you draw it up, or just like you want to draw it up. Yeah, Corey Ann shoots things. going out of the middle, and that all started with a really good pass from uh, Allison Hessel. Hessel. And uh, good pass, set, spike. So I'm going to sail almost long. That was Swanger back there. Played it, oh, and it nice. got down. Nice pass set spike. We got Granados on the outside hitting four. Grace, Grace, or not Grace, Maya. Granados, good hit, good set. Skyline 16 and 16 on the year. Mineola 9 and 25 coming into today, and that one into the net that time. That's going to be uh, Emerson Evans. Yep, need to take a little more time. Some of the girls are getting back there on all these matches and just kind of running back and serving before they even get, get set. And that's it. It's, it's our third match of the day, but it's still their, their first one. Their so first the nerves one, still. yep. Yep, they just kind of run back there and serve it sometimes. That one yeah. opened up sideways. Got a free ball ways. coming if they can get it over the net, and they do. So this one get Skyline back to the middle. Got it that time in the net was Mineola. It went to Anschutz again. Yeah, I'll tell you, it looks like Skyline's going to run out of the middle with Anschutz, number one. And uh, they do a pretty good job of it, looks like, so far. Now we're going to be off the side of the arm of Evans. 
Yeah, it's going to be an ace. That's two in a row. Uh, Mineola, the passers are turning sideways. Well, if you turn sideways, it's going to hit your platform. It's going to go behind you every time. So you gotta, you got to get behind the ball with your platform and put it forward, not backwards. Yep, did it again. Well, she tried to get it behind at that time, and still it kind of dropped on her. Good serve. I'll bet Peyton you Walker. Coach Tamont's going to make one more point, and I'll bet she calls a timeout and kind of settle the girls down because they're kind of shell-shocked right now in the passing. Five to one. That one into the top of the net, though. Got a little help in okay. Skyline. That Got let them that off rotation. the hook. Yep. Peyton Walters, she, Walker, she had some nice serves there. So that's going to be Bregan Sheeler back now to serve for Mineola. Trail by three here into the top of the net. Yeah, Mineola's got it. When you're the lower seed, you can't make as many errors as, as uh, they do right now. So they got to kind of get that settled down. So yep. Another one. That, Another that favor. Three, that three in a row? Yeah. I guess the only thing was earlier the Skyline had two or three before that. So at least <laughs> she didn't miss them all. All right, we got a net fest right now. Here we go. Granado's got it over. There's a good serve. Good pass. Good and set. It's coming close side. There They're we go. Get down for Spies. Yeah, Spies. I'm guaranteed she's uh, off serve receive. She's hitting the four, which is an outside, left outside hitter. She's going to go to the middle and head out of the middle, I'm assuming, because it looks like to me she puts, a, puts number one and two opposite of each other and hit middle. That's her bread and butter. And another one into the net. Wow. Uh, Coach Ann Schutz is kind of getting after him because she's tired of seeing it like we are right now. Yeah. I don't blame her. There's a good pass by the libero on Skyline. Going the back side, going cross with it. That time was Heisel and on top of the net, Space. Nice overpass by Mineola, and Heisel was sitting there just licking her chops for that one. She knew that was coming. Head up on top of the net. Heisel back to serve here. There they got, got one got over. Another one. Another ace. And Mineola again. They're, they're turning their hands, and the ball's hitting platform, and it's going to go back every time. That's so to fix that, just take an extra step to the side? or You've got to get your body behind the ball, push your hips back, and get your platform in front. Yeah, they're all doing that right now. They're just not able to get it. Looking Good for the try. open hole. Number, yeah, number six, what do we got, Swanger? Yep. Good thinking. She just hit a little outside. She tried to put a little tip, two-handed tip to the right side and just a little bit long. And there's the timeout you were talking about by Coach Tamat. Yeah. For Mineola, just trying to settle everybody down. And Yeah, she's talking to him and just saying, come on, guys, we played volleyball before, and – you know, you're just telling them, hey, let's let's settle down, get your hips behind the ball, make a good pass, go back to basics, and let's see if we get a little run here. Skyline, she's feeling pretty good, but I guarantee you she's chewing her girls out for missing three or four serves there. So she's telling them, hey, everything looks okay, but if you're going to miss serves, we're not going to go very far today. That's the one thing. I like this gym because it, it's it's a nice serving gym. You, you you got a nice space and behind you. It's not like a big open blank space, so should help. Plenty of room for the servers. I, I've always liked when they play it like with a basketball floor for yeah to set it up for a, a sub state. Yeah, that's way it should be. Mm -hmm. I've Let fans sit on both sides. Let the atmosphere be there, and then give plenty of room. Yeah, we always went to Mead, and they always set up one side, and I hated that. It just they have such a nice gym. They could have put two, you know, had all kinds of people. They just never did it. But, yeah, this is set up nice and really a good event venue. On the far side, tipped over that time was Evans. And then miscommunication. And yeah. Coach is kind of looking off saying, okay. Yeah. Then the girls always look over to coach and say, hey, whose was that? And it's like, somebody hit the ball. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that one that one drove me crazy. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. I can't get it. <laughs> that right. time, Spice on the swing. Got to set the Mineola. Side. Oh, boy, nice hit. She get down. Yeah. Coming close side. Spice. Oh, nice dig by Mineola, number 10. That was Venton that time. They free ball it over, though. Coming a nice back set. to Spies. There we go. Missed it. Oh, that looked good. It was out, though. 
She looked pretty good hitting that one, and then she just didn't quite get her down. But all right, Mineola made a couple points after that timeout. So back to a five-point ball game. Yeah, coach feels pretty good about her timeout. Going to get a free ball here as Mineola. Swinging at it, though, still was Ann shoots from the back row. Oh, they got a double, double hit. Double hit set. Yeah, they got uh, the officials at Bradshaw up top. She does a nice, she's a good official, and she's going to call that stuff. We've seen them get away with some of that earlier on in the match, but now we got Bradshaw up there, and she's going to she's gonna get Real. some of that called a little bit better. To a five-point game, Swanger to serve. Good serve to the middle, good pass. Coming Got an back outside hit. Shoots. Nice dig. Side. Now you're going to get another free ball at Skyline. It's going to go see. right to the middle. Oh, they went oh, backside. Oh, went the back set. Yep, that took the middle out with the pass. That was Rays on the far side. Sarah Rays. Looks like uh, Mineola's 22 has got a bad wheel. She's kind of grimacing a little bit, so she's trying to play it off and I would imagine she looks like she's got maybe her ankle taped or something. I say that left ankle? Yep. So she's trying to play on a bad wheel. Good pass set. Going to the far side, that Granados. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Mineola got a good pass and obviously a good set, and Granados got up and got a hit off the four side on the outside. All the way across. Well, again, we got a five-point lead, and many of them, they can get a couple serves and get one going and get cut, cut into this lead. Into the middle quickly, the there tip over. Yeah, Everybody was waiting on the hammer and then just. Well, it's wide open. You, the middles will see that. If, if you bring a double block over, they're bringing their, their four hitter over to double block. Well, the back row's got to come up and take the tip, and they're not even close to doing that. So uh, that'll be a staple if they're going to do that to him. They're going to do that all day long to him. Swanger from the back row. Oh, nice hit. There you go. Yeah. That was a nice job, Mineola. Swanger, back row set, got up, hit it to the middle, and got it got it down. The 5'5 five five sophomore. Sheeler. The serve. And shoots coming all the way over that. Heisel got it. Yeah, but nice back set, bump set, whatever you want to call it there, back bump set, I guess I'd say. She put it all the way to the four side, and Heisel was, was waiting for it and got behind it and hit a nice ball. Set to put another one down range is Ann Schutz. This one going to be the close side. Granados will tip it over. That's not good if you're... Coming into the middle again. Oh, oh. she... She went to the well that time, and they, <laughs> they backed off and didn't even block her. So, so Granados there stepped up like she was going to and then slid yep. over. As you'll see here right as she goes, you see her slide back. And that was a good job by Granados, yeah. She got a little free ball. Okay. Mineola made a little run, got it down to four. I say don't look now, but the yeah. four-point ball game. Coach Ann shoots is kind of chewing them out a little bit, tell them to get their, get their things straight here a little bit. That one floated over, coming into the middle. Heisel got it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that time she went ahead and took the attack. You get a good set as a middle, you got to you gotta hit it. You can't dink it every time, and that's what she did earlier tonight. Coach told her, hey, swing the ball. You might get these guys with the dink, but when you play the next game, you're not going to get a dink it. Winner of this one gets South Central. Yeah, South Central won't, won't, be, won't be. They'll be there in coverage, I guarantee yeah. you that. So. They're, they didn't say that one was touched. I think she touched it, yeah, and it went out of bounds. Yeah. Girls aren't, many of those aren't uh, doing anything. It looks like that's what happened. Good pass. Good Going set. Over Swanger. Swanger, Got nice it. job. She's put a couple of good swings downrange today. Yeah, she's, she's, again, she's not one of the tallest girls out there, but she's got a nice approach and has a really good down ball. She gets She hits the ball high and contacts on the top and gets that down spin, and that, that really helps out. Tamad on the serve. Good serve, good pass, set. Heisel, got deflected, Swanger got a hand on it nice again. Nice job, they're gonna get a free ball though. There you go, now you gotta play defense if you're Mineola. They're gonna get a free ball back out of this, or a down ball anyway. Here it is. They'll send it to the far corner, there, they got it. She saw it, good job. 
And it's still just a four-point ball game, Coach. Yeah, you're, you're always telling your girls, if you push it, look over there. There's always an opening somewhere. And it's not rocket science where they're not put it. Yeah, nice job digging there. Going to get a free ball. Over. Now with See a if chance they can to get swung or another hit. There we go. Tied on the net. Uh, not the set she wanted. They're going to get pretty easy ball. Oh. Kept it alive, though, did Sheeler, but nobody there. Yeah. Swanger just kind of stuck an arm out. I think she had coverage, but she didn't know it. That's that's kind of a hard one sometimes. Back to five-point lead, and we've got uh, Heisel in to, to serve on Skyline. Heisel again. Got it. Yeah, there's big hole there. Yeah, big hole in the middle, and she's got a top spin serve. Top spin serves, you gotta you got to scoot up on them because they're going to drop. So looks like Mineola's going to back Swanger up, and that'll take care of that if they can – this time she goes to the far side. We're going to get a set. Tipped over. Evans tips it over for Mineola. This one in the middle. Block, but it kept alive. Now they're coming to the far side. Right on the net. Blocked again. Oh, they push it over. Almost caught him. Into the middle. Swunger. There got go. another one. Well, Mineola's kind of got some things going. They they're just, just hanging in there. Just hanging in. They got five points, though. It seems like they can't get a, under that five point here. Swung her on the back row. That's probably not the best thing they want because she was doing a pretty good job hitting there. This time from the back row, Anschutz. Nice back row attack by Anschutz and Skyline. Sheeler into the middle. That one, they. Swanger swung on it. I guess Swanger's in the I front. I say Swanger's in the front well, row Well, they here. have two girls that have the, yeah, I got it. They've got the same. Venton and Swanger have the same long long pants on. <laughs> That's what got me. Well, I thought she was in the back row, too, and you said that. I was, yeah. And then all of a sudden she swung. And I was like, wait a minute, she's in front of the 10-foot line and jumping that? <laughs> Something's not right here. Yep, now I see it. Yep. Heisel into the net. Heisel into the net. Five points again, but 20 to 15 now. Benioli, if you're going to do something, you got to make some points here, girls. Overpass. Oh, passed over. oh they didn't get it. They're going to give a free ball right back on that. This isn't. Oh, and they got Missed it. it out. out. Oh, that hurts. They had a chance to get a overpass and get a pass, and they didn't get a set off of it, and they bumped it out of bounds. Now six-point lead, 21-15. Skyline, the three seed here today, 16 and 16 on the year. Good serve. Uh, one long ways to run, Swanger tracked it down, swing oh, for the fences nice and job. they got it. Oh, and that should have been something. That was Sheeler. ugly. We'll send it over. Now we're just gonna end it with a spike there with Anschutz. Yeah, that was just an ugly uh, rally there, but Skyline came out looking like a rose on that when Anschutz <laughs> gives a middle hit there. I thought there was a a little action on the hands that I'd probably should have been lift, called there. A lift or a double hit or yeah, something on, on the free ball. Yeah. That one missed it long. Yep. Tomorrow, no, that's uh, Young, Riley Young. Yep. So set to serve it now for Mineola, still at six. This is going to be Tamat. Or no, excuse me, this Evans. Into the middle. Deflected. And another kill going to go there for Anschutz. Yeah, they're, they're starting to just many old. All they can do is just try to hang on and play defense, and that doesn't last very long when you got a team that can hit the ball. Twenty-three, sixteen. Skyline looking for the first set win. Off the bump set to the far side. Just going to be free balled over. Send it deep. Would have been out. It was going to be out, but that's okay. At least she passed it. Got a dig there. Come into the back row. Back row attack. Overpass. Oh, Granados. <laughs> that's going to lead to Swan Girl. Just roll one. Going to have a set. That was close. And shoots. Going to work out. Uh, Coach, Coach DeMont's kind of getting at Granada's a little bit. There's been two or three overpasses that she could jump up there and probably block down. And instead, she's putting a free ball back behind her, and then they're going to have to give the free ball back. So she's talking to him a little bit. Then he's only going to use his timeout here. Yeah, I think 
when you get overpasses, you got to take advantage of it. You can't send free balls back when you get an overpass. And on the other side for Skyline, hasn't been near flawless volleyball, but still enough to, to have an eight-point lead here. Yeah, she's just on cruise control right now, saying, hey, get the ball in. Let's, let's finish this one and get to the next game. Winner of this one gets South Central. Next game coming up for you is going to be South Gray and Elkhart, the 1-4 matchup. And it'll be South Gray's first game as the favorites in your home gym. Is there ever more nerves for that as coming in as the heavy favorite? Yeah, there is. But, you know, if you have four teams that have a 28-5 and five or something record, but I think they feel pretty good about where they are. They'll, they'll show a little nerves early, I think, and then they're going to take them very long to get going. Free ball, Mineola. Yep. Skyline's going to put one right back down. Coming to the close side. Blocked, though, good, by good Schuler. Blocked by Schuler, yeah. They're nice going to try job. and shoots this time, and she put it in the net. Yeah, nice block by number 22, Schuler. And uh, she's going to go back and serve now. She's the one playing on a bad wheel, I think. So, good job. Good pass by the Libero on Skyline. Coming to the close side for the sets. Kept alive by Sheeler. They'll push it deep. Skyline still, and that's going to be a lift. Yep. Ball was below her shoulders, and she tried to push it. They're going to call lift on that. That's what that should be. Still set point here. Sheeler to serve. 24-18. Good serve. That one. Got an ace out of that. Wow. Nice serve by Sheeler. Yeah, she. What is that, four straight since the timeout? Three straight I since think, the timeout? I think so, yep. A little too late, though, I'm afraid. Say so you got one little mistake and it's over. Yeah, but can be done. Yep. There's going to be 20-24. Coach Anschutz probably let one more go, and then she's calling timeout and say, girls, let's go. She's talking to him right now. She's challenging that it didn't hit the floor. I think that she's going to ask the down official, Bradshaw is the up official, and she's asking, did that ball hit the floor or not? And the down official says, yes, it did. Okay. Good to go. Good job by the officials communicating. She learned. Oh. <laughs> Was going to be out, but Skyline played it. Well, it's one of those again that 50, the, other, 50 balls. the other girl's got to communicate and say out, 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 in, in, in. And then if the girl's going to take it, she's got to go get it. Sheeler again. Nice serve. Going to be 20. Going to get a free, free ball. ball. Many got a chance. a chance to use it here to gonna cut Going to go to Granados on the floor. Nope. Going to go to Evans. Oh. And into the net and it's over. Or Vinton, I guess. Vinton. The comeback kids tried to make it. They made it interesting at least. 25-21. The three seed wins the first set. Second set coming up after this on KCMC Sports. country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. 
That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us. And it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks, waiting for our chance to serve you. Trying to ensure that if you're going to be loyal to a brand, it's going to be ours. Lewis Automotive Group, helping you find your brand of truck for decades. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Cameron Bernie, Randy Fulton alongside of me. 1A Division I Substate Volleyball brought to you by United and Lewis Automotive. And we are in the second set of the final match of the first round games. And uh, Skyline coach there just kind of on cruise control for most of that first match. They yeah. really. Yeah, they. They kind of early on missed a lot of serves. Coach Ann shoots got after him a little bit, and they cleaned that up. Um, they've got three hitters, and uh, they pass the ball well. They work out of the middle. I think I think they've got a – it'll be a nice little semifinal match if they make it. Uh, on the other hand, Mineola came back and scored, what, 22-25, yeah. I think, and, you know, we'll see what happens here. It was at least 21-25. It might have been 22-25. Oh, they scored my. six or seven straight right at the end after that timeout. They had a nice pass there by Venton off the serve receive, and then for some reason uh, swung her. She didn't set it. I don't know what happened there, but got a call for a lift. Tight on the net. Got it over that time. There's a gonna... down ball. Granados oh, in the net. And, yep. Boy, they're just, Mineola's just chasing the ball right now. They're, they're not putting it where they want it. Although they've had two good serve receives on this, but they haven't got, they haven't got anything out of it yet. So, Spies to serve again. Another good pass. Schuyler. There they got a set. There we go. Good dig by uh, Hoffman. Libero on Pratt Skyline. This one going to be just pushed deep to the corner, kept alive by Heisel. Bump set by the middle. Now they're going to come back. Sheeler got off the little, bump set. Got a little rally going here. Swanger will roll it. Kept alive. Maybe overpass, but brought oh. back, but under the net. Nice try and nice save by Spies. She just got her fit over the net. Luckily, nobody got hurt on that one. That's always hate seeing a girl go under the net, but she was just hustling her heart out there. Yeah. That was a good serve by Denton. One pass back over. Free balled over, but now by Sheeler. Swanger, I guess, is serving. In the middle quickly. Got it. Oh, Out missed it. Bounds. Well, that was close, but it was the right call. Very good on a line judge. They're there. <laughs> and line judge don't show a lot of emotion. They're kind of just <laughs> sitting there. But yeah, nice serve. Swanger's yeah. put two good serves in there and got an she, ace on that one. She's a nice little player for Mineola here. Yes, she is. She jumps well. She, how tall is she? 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Five, five. She has a good jump. she got a nice top spin serve. Another good one. Pratt Skyline's got a good butt pass and, and shoots. Someone's in the net. Nobody, I guess. Granados. There we go. That was one. I thought she was set up to go cross, and then all of a sudden it went down the line. Yeah, that's, again, that you got to stay down if you're on the back row, and, and uh, Helsel just got caught a little bit. Oh, oh. That one, another one. I think Swanger served for the fence on that one, and uh, <laughs> Hoffman saved her because that, that was going to be out. Yeah, it was probably going to be out. But, again, their communication's got to happen between the back row, and they're not doing that right now. Another good one. Kept alive. And into the net that time from Ray. It's in Mineola by four now. I think Coach Ann Chutes is one of those that says, they're going to let these girls play this out here a little bit, see what she's got. So I'll bet if they make another point, she's calling timeout. Going all the way to the far side and shoots that time. It Good did dig not by touch Swanner the ceiling. And got it. Well, coach and shoots is just sitting there. And is this something as a coach, if you're confident enough that you may be sitting over there going, okay, let's see if they figure this out or not? You know, I did that early in the season, but at the end of the season, nope, I'm going to call them, shoot them out and say, come on, guys. You know, 
they're just out hustling you right now is what I would be telling them and making mistakes. And shoots. There they Got go. Got that one. Yep. There they go. Yeah. Maybe that'll put a little bit of fire back under him. Went back to basics on that one and got a middle set. and That was just a good pass, good set, and hit. Quickly to the middle that time, though. Yeah, and shoots has a – she's a nice little hitter in the middle. Riley Young to serve. Sun coming Skyline. close side. Granados into the net, back-to-back -back for Skyline. Yeah, there's, there's the mistake she hate because you had a set, but – she didn't take an approach, and then she just stood there and tried to rent down ball it. And Coach Tamont's telling her, take an approach. Get up in there. Young to serve again. Another good one. Tight. Sheeler, I thought she was in the net. Maybe not. It was close, but nobody called it. Yeah. Mineola retains a four-point lead. They need to they need to get a set set out here side out here, and they're looking to go to uh, probably set number two. Nope, number two is going to be setting. Yep. So they're going to uh, just have to push one over. One pass back over. All kinds of confusion right now from Skyline. They're yeah, in they're, full scramble. They are in scramble mode right right now for sure. Good back set. Trying to go deep, and it worked uh, out that time for Mineola. That, that was good. She back set the ball. The blockers were setting up on the other side, so she had a free shot, and she did a nice job. Some lot there. Found the open hole. Yeah, that was very good for Evans hit that one. Then Evans went back and served in the net. Come on, girls. Both sides. You hate to see him go in that net on that first serve. Pick a spot. Hit the ball. Put it where you want it. Four point lead still here for Mineola. Nine to five, second set. Skyline won the first one. What a oh, save did they bring here. it back? We got a save going. Oh. oh. What? A, yeah. I think that time Vinton uh, got over there and didn't think Sheeler was going to be able to get back to it. Sheeler did a nice job of getting the first one. I think she might have had a chance, but she couldn't turn because the Vinton was in her yeah. way. But that was just good hustle by both of them. And there's Mineola sticking their arm out again, and Grandma can't pass, by <laughs> golly. Maybe back in the day she could have. Yep, yep. Grandma ain't got no game. Grandma in the ain't got no game, they say. That, that must be it. <laughs> there's another, another one. one. And again, now back to what you were talking about in that first set where they're Coach, turning sideways. Coach to Tamont's chewing them out, saying you got to get behind the ball, girls. But again, they're serving to the corner and they haven't moved over yet. I don't understand why they don't move over. And into the top of the net and back. That bugs me too, because you tell your girls, man, you got them where you want them. You have two aces and get it over the net. Get it over the net. Two point game, Mineola serving. Sheeler. And into the net and an ace. Skyline's been making some errors this game, more than what they made earlier. Just got to get behind the ball. You got to get it. There you go. Knees to hips. Now they're going to go to the far side of Helsel and go to the net again. Mineola right now just hanging on to that little lead. Well, Mineola's doing what they need to do. Put the ball in play and let Skyline make mistakes, and Skyline's uh, doing that right now. Tipped over. Had a net call in Granados. That's too bad for Mineola. Good for Skyline. All right, and shoots back to serve. She's got a nice little serve here, so. Mineola needs to get a good pass set spike. Skyline needs to dig one up. There's an ace. There's an ace. Uh, yeah, she... She puts a little float on it sometimes, and then she has a top spin on it. You've got to recognize what it is because it's going to be a different serve. When it's, when it's a float, it's going to go long, and when it's a top spin, it's going to go short. Nice pass. Coming this side, looking deep that time. Hoffman with the dig, libero for Skyline. Tipped over by Helsel. Helsel had a nice tip. And now we're going to get a free Granados. ball. Okay, here we go. We're going to get a middle Space. hit. Oh, oh, my goodness. I think everybody in the place thought what well, you thought, Coach. That one was going to be Ashley yeah. Spies all day long. I'm this probably, one might be. 
I'm talking to my setter and tell her, hey, you get a good pass, set the ball right now. Mineola playing four on six. They had two of them laying down on top of each other. <laughs> they got away with it. Yeah, I always, I'm okay with the setter tipping a ball, but not when you get a perfect pass. That's not when you want to tip a ball, especially when you have a per perfect pass and your best hitter's in the middle. So you're behind, you're trying to get a run going, you want to set your hitter, and, and uh, that's kind of what I'd be telling my girls. Let's get back to the basics because we're not going to win by sending free balls over if we make it to the next round. Mineola, she's feeling pretty happy, Coach Tamont. She's saying, hey, we're in this thing, and we got a chance, and all we're doing right is we're not making silly mistakes. We're, we're hanging in there, playing good, solid ball. You know, they don't have anyone that can pound it, but they've got some two good girls. Uh, who have got Venton and, uh, Ev and uh, Schuler. Swanger, yep. Venton, Swanger, and Schuler, all three have had some really nice hits, so. And then when you're the low seed like Mineola is coming into something like this, is that something you emphasize to them? Like, hey, we, we don't have to be perfect. We're, we maybe don't have the talent level of everybody else here, but if we don't make mistakes, yeah. we might have a shot. Yeah, you're just telling them, that, this. you know, the pressure's on, on the other team that's got the better record. That's always been the case. And I always just like telling them, hey, just play ball, have fun, play loose, but play smart. Out. Missed it long. Coming out of a timeout. So who took that last timeout? I didn't see. I didn't see either. I think that I could, I'm, I'd be lying if I tried to tell you. <laughs> I'd say I don't know. Mineola took Mineola, it. I, okay. don't. I think it was a good timeout. Uh, producer Landon and I look glad somebody's paying attention. Yep. <laughs> As he puts his arms in the air saying, I don't really know. <laughs> well, if it was Mineola, it was smart because they were losing the lead a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she got a point. Now they're, they're still up by one. Hoffman to serve, Skyline. Going to be on the far side, that to Maude into the net. Yeah, that was a tough one. That, that was a back set and uh, just kind of hard sometimes to do that. But she tried. So we're going to be floated deep, oh, ran way up go. on Sheeler. Ran up her arm. I like when they call that. There's a lot of times they don't call that. That used to be the rule, and they changed that rule on first contact, and they don't call that a lot. That one That's right another one. Again. There we go. Timeout. If I got a timeout, I'm calling timeout. She's looking around thinking, do I sub? Do I not? Do I call timeout? Nope, I'm going to smile. We're going to go. <laughs> Move someone over to cover. And, and they got lucky. got lucky. We had a strike, and it was good. Uh, <laughs> Eleven <laughs> swung at it. And missed, luckily, and it went out of bounds. <laughs> That's, and everybody's happy on the Mineola side because she missed. <laughs> oh, nice pass by Hoffman. He got a middle. There you Quickly go. Quickly got it. That time, Spies. That's that's their bread and butter. If you get that pass to the middle, and uh, the middle's hitters is what they want to go to a lot, and uh, that was very nice. Helsel to serve in the back. They've got a two-point lead. One floated over and off the side of the arm of Granados. Yeah. They, they just want to turn sideways. I've seen that a lot today with Mineola. They, they turn that platform sideways and it just goes out. Helsel again. There she got behind it. Nice job, Granados. Coming into the middle, Swanger into the net. Skyline yeah. now by four. Skyline after that timeout here, it went. Went downhill for Mineola. Mineola needs to get one good pass set spike. If they don't, if she's got a timeout, I don't know if she's used them all or not. That one, one passed into the net. Yeah, the passing just went away here for Mineola. So they made her, gave them a run for their money, but they, I mean, they did make a run at the end of, yeah. end of that first set. You just, it's hard to make a run on a better team. Yeah, it is. It's and win. And another one of them there again, first pass not being where it needs to be. Good hustle by Venton. Yeah, there's a timeout. Oh, boy. 20 to 14 here. Skyline with the lead in the second set. Final five points coming up after this.
20 to 14 here. 60 seconds to go. Or, wow, 60 seconds to go. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I looked at the clock. I'm used to calling football, coach. <laughs> They're in the time limit on They're volleyball. They're in the time limit on volleyball. That was a good pass set spike, and uh, Spies put one down. She's hitting the four on that one on the outside. I think, uh, let me see, Helsel's served about five or six in a row here. She's on a roll. One pass back there over. There we go. Where they're going. Going to have a middle outside hit by, oh, long. Just missed it long that time, did Spies. They were looking for They a want a touch, touch but it, there wasn't a touch. I didn't see one. Yeah, Helsel just needs, or uh, Spies needs see. to finish that, yeah, that no, hit. That, that was above everybody's hands. This one going to the far side and into the net that time. Matufa. Well, here comes Mineola again. They like it when it's 21-16. They kind of seem to make <laughs> a run here. Venton back to serve. Will be floated over. We're going to get a free back. ball at most. Here we go. A See if they can get a hit. Free ball coming from Mineola. Where do they go? It's going to come over to the, the Sheeler. Sheeler in the middle. That was a good hit. Got it. There you go. Back to four. Yeah, they've got right now. They've got uh, Sheeler in the middle and. Uh, let's see, Swanger on Swanger? the outside. Yeah, so they got two hitters right now that can hit. So, But then they put a ball in the net. So you can't do that. Ah. That still drives you crazy, don't it? Yep. That's hard to watch when they do that. Especially when you're trying to make a run well, to get back in yeah, it. Yeah, you just you got to put it in play. You don't have to put your ace serve out there. Just put it in play. And now it's two points away here from Skyline from going to play uh, South Central. Next game upcoming is going to be uh, the number one team in the state, South Gray, taking on Elkhart. And there will be 20 minutes. Is there another one into the net? There will be 20 minutes between these two games because that will be the first one that South Gray, South Gray plays. plays. So it will be another 20-minute break, and then after that it will just be 10 for the final two games. So, no, I don't mind the 20 minutes. Gives me some time to go to the hospitality room, grab a cookie. There you go. Hard on the waistline, though. Yeah. There's a good pass by Hoffman. That and one. shoots out of the middle. Good dig. 23-18. Granados. Spies will set it. They're going all the way to the far side, and it worked out. Megan that time. Yeah, and nice. got match point. Nice little uh, push over there by Megan Matulka. Matulka. Haven't said her name much today. Better give her some credit. Good job. Riley Young back to serve for Skyline for game point, 24-18. Swanger. Going to get a free ball. Set. Here we go, Skyline. What are you going to do? And they set up to go into oh. the middle. They went all the way over. Bump set, and Skyline was in, the, in net. the net. That's that's all she could do, though. Matolka? Matolka. She could, couldn't do much with that and tried to get it out. Set to serve now with this Emerson Evans for Mineola. Match point for Skyline. And they're going to go quickly to the middle. Got it. It's over. Corey Ann shoots. Nice play by Pratt Skyline. Go to your moneymaker on the last play. Sure. You got her in the middle. See if you can get a kill and end on a good note. All right, Coach, you ready for some semifinal action? I am. I'm ready to, to, to see a little bit more rallies and some more digs and some more hits, and hopefully so, that happens here yep. pretty quick. So we're going to turn it up a notch when we get back. 20 minutes on the clock. South Gray and Elkhart. First semifinal matchup of the day coming up after this. KCMC Sports Class 1A Division I. Substate Volleyball Tournament in South Gray brought to you by United and Lewis Automotive is back for the semis after this. This country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country.
Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us. And it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks, waiting for our chance to serve you. Trying to ensure that if you're going to be loyal to a brand, it's going to be ours. Lewis Automotive Group, helping you find your brand of truck for decades.
this match, the visiting team on the scoreboard will be Elkhart, the home team will be South Gray. First, we'll announce the non-starters. For Elkhart, number two, Presley Aranda. Number six, Kyle Orr. Number seven, Madeline Brewer. Number eight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to South Gray. It's semi-final time here in Montezuma. Elkhart's the four seed led by Casey Hoskinson, and they got a couple of hitters on the other side for Rick Moyer's squad. It's Allie Reed, along with a few more for South Gray. South Gray and Elkhart coming up. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in here to Montezuma. I'm Cameron Burney. Randy Fulton alongside of me, Landon Eilert, your producer, Chris Christensen and Andy Kyle running cameras for you here tonight. KCMC Sports Class 1A Division I Substate Volleyball Tournament brought to you by United and Lewis Automotive. Coach, it's semifinal time. You ready for this one? I am. Yeah, I'm ready to see some more pass sets, hits, and get the intensity turned up a little bit. Uh, Elkhart probably needs to play a little bit better than they played in their first game against Kiowa County. It, too many free balls. You get free balls to this team and it's coming back and you better be ready to protect yourself because between Vi Helm and, and Allie Reed and, and Lake and Goosen last time we had them at the spa tournament, she surprised me probably more than anybody on the team at South Gray. Yeah, I so say she was hitting, she hit right side there. Yeah, hit, yeah. hit right side and she was on fire. So. I'm anxious to see her play again. I'm, I, I know the others. I've seen Allie Reed play for three years now, and obviously you got a really good setter in Kaylee Moyer, and you know that's the deal. They've got experience at the spots that they're they're playing, and, and so South Gray is going to it's going to take a lot for Elkhart to pull this off. So South Gray, the number one team in the state in Class 1A Division One, they've only got one loss on the entire season. It just so happens that the team that beat them was on senior night on this floor a little more than a week ago, and they're on the other side of the bracket. So you got to think everybody here is looking forward to South Gray South Central in a championship setting. Yeah, and I, you know, I think that's where South Gray's head is right now. They're, they're thinking about South Central. They're not worried about Elkhart. And they shouldn't be really, to be honest. Can and I'm not, be nothing against Elkhart. They just aren't aren't the, the caliber that, that South Gray is. But, you know, I'm anxious to see if Elkhart can step up and get some more pass set hits in this game and make, make South Gray earn it, you know, on the floor. And being the one seed that's the first game South that Gray would have played today, would that does that ever make you nervous as a coach that, oh, maybe they're looking ahead at this? Oh, yeah, it does. And, I mean, I think if you had a team that probably had 28 wins on the other side and you're, this is your first match, I'd be a little more nervous. But uh, still, Elkhart's played, and they're they're going to be okay. They're going to be ready. So Evans is back to snow. Now, Evans, we've got uh, Elkhart that serving be Bella first. Brillhart. Yeah, and Bella Brillhart serve first. A couple so, of Brillharts for uh, Elkhart. She serves and comes back and sets out of the back row. So Moyer, they're going right away. That was Gosen straight off there the jump, go. coach. Yep. They back it to Gosen off the serve receive. The pass went over there, and she put a nice little ball down, and it's a kill. First point goes to the Rebels. Kaylee Reed's got a nice little jump serve, or Kaylee uh, Moyer, coach's daughter. Yeah, that was... That was the problem with Elkhart against Kiowa County serve receives. So we got to see if they can clean that up. If they don't, I think South Gray's going to eat them up here. Moyer jump serve with a yeah. little bit of a, I mean, it's almost like a knuckleball coming off of there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Camelia Garcia just jumped up and tried to take a serve receive, and that doesn't usually work too much. So going to send it right back at him again. Good placement. Good job by Brillhart. And now, now this they is get what a you free can't, ball. Here you go. This is what you can't do against South Gray. They make you pay. There you go. Vi Helm in the middle. So, yeah, you give him a free ball, it's going to go right there. Vi Helm's going to going to get that eight up every time. So, so you got Vi Helm in the middle. You got Yasmin Cervantes on one side, and then it's Lakin Gosen on the other right now. Yeah, Cervantes plays the right side and blocks their four hitters. And, yeah, she's in there for blocking. She's a tall girl. And, uh, yeah, nice job. What is Cervantes? Yeah, 5'9". So they've got some height up there with uh, Vi Helm and Cervantes. And then Allie Reed comes on the front row, and she's got a lot of hops and some height. 
Moyer will come up and set. They're going to go on the back set that time and again. Go. <laughs> you sure you weren't looking ahead, Coach? Can you see into the future? Because yeah. uh, it's been uh, Lake and Ghost in back-to-back -back times when they've uh, I saw gone it on in the, the back set. I saw it in the spa tournament, and she really surprised me. I, I, uh, she's a good little player. So I'm going to be tipped over by Helm, deflected yeah, it. El Elkhart's just giving them target practice. Here. Allie Reed missed it. Yeah, Allie, that's her first hit of the day, and she was just going to hit one hard. And she's just getting the nerves out. She'll be ready. Fosco back to serve for Elkhart, serves in the net. Six to two now at South Gray, Class 1A Division I Substate Volleyball here. Semi-finals, South Gray the one seed, 35 and one on the year. Now 16 and 15 is Elkhart after their win over Kiowa County in the first round. Cervantes will now set it into the middle that tipped over by Brenneman. Well, there's the medicine that they did to Kiowa County. They're just tipping into 10-foot line there, and nobody's there. So, yeah, Elkhart, their body language isn't looking good right now. I think the coach needs to call a timeout here pretty quick and just talk to the girls and say, hey. That yeah. was the first one they might have had a chance to swing on, and Madison Brillhart decided not to. Brenneman, that one into the net. He got a nice block by the Garcia, but, yeah, they're – they're not going to live on, on those dinks that they got against Kiowa County. Uh, Elkhart isn't. They're, they're going to get it right back, and the hits are going to happen. So I say if you free ball it over against this team, it's going to be something quick, and it's probably coming into the middle. Well, there they got lucky. The Goosen put a, a ball over the net, overpass, and Garcia was ready, but Garcia hit it out of bounds. You can't. Got to take advantage of those. They're not going to give you a lot of free balls, so take advantage when you get them. Hills camp the jump serve the libero. One pass back over. Moyer will play it. Vihelm on the bump set. Kaylee Moyer, the setter, now swinging. On the back set. Yeah, I, I'm just net. I'm just looking at the body language there. Our coach has got to call a timeout. Uh, Madison Brillhart, who's their best player, her her body language is terrible right now. She doesn't even look like she wants to play. Coach is talking to her. I don't know what's going on, but something's going on. Then on the other side, South Gray, now the student section showing up. And you got to think when uh, the championship rolls around, this place is going to get pretty full pretty quick and get pretty loud. Yeah, I'd like to see South Central bring their kids. We'll see if they've got how many kids they've got. But, yeah, South Gray obviously being a home match, they're going to bring some kids. So they're going to have fun. Trying to figure out if the student section had a theme over there or not. It's dressing something Halloween and whatever will get you attention, I think, okay. is what that is. I like Bring your attention getter? I like the shark. I that's, do, that's, too. That's my favorite. I do, too. The hot, the hot dog's okay, though. <laughs> I say, okay there's a hot dog. There's a piece of pizza up top. You know, there's a, there's a mistake again. That This is just South Gray kind of getting going. They've got a... If I'm Coach Moyer, I just I want to see some some good pass set hits. Get ready for South Central. You just get the get all the nerves out, get everything going, get the hits going. Allie Reed, it popped back oh, over. Nice job, Moyer. Mad Madison Brillhart got a good one there. Kaylee Moyer, they're fading back. Just reaches back. And I don't know if that was luck or skill or a combination of both. Uh, we'll call it La Skill. <laughs> Allie Reed. One pass back over. Guess where it's coming? Into the middle. Brenneman. Heels Camp will keep it alive. Moyer will now tip it over. They'll now come to the close side. Tied on the net. Moyer pancaked it, but they couldn't keep it alive. Is that uh, nice, nice play by Elkhart there. They, they put one back in the middle. So got a couple points here and maybe get some momentum for Elkhart. Vihelm with the pass. Got a good Close set. Side. Goes goes, side. Goes, there we go. Yep. Back to back for Elkhart. Yeah. It, yep. Coach, uh, Coach Moyer's kind of going, come on, girls. Let's go. Let's get some things going. There well, we got a pass. Now we'll Moyer, see if we can get something. Back, back set. set. There it is. Yeah, Brenneman on the outside. A back bump, bump set. I'm not sure that's how they 
put that one down, but that's okay. That was a good set. Not how you drew it up in the film room? Not what I think they work on every day. Brennan one pass serve, back over by Hell. Yep. When she's up front on the middle, you can't have those come back over high and soft to the middle to her. Nope. She's too good of an athlete to put, put that down. She's always going to – they look for that when they're in the middle. That's their bread and butter. One set to the far side, just going to free ball one yeah. over. Elkarts have got to get some attacks or it's going to be a long day. Gosen again. Tell you what, there's some of these hitters that get a lot of attention. She's one of them that doesn't get much. And uh, like you said, at Spa League and now here early on, very impressive. Yeah, she's kind of the unsung hero, but she would she'd get a lot of sets if she was on my team because she <laughs> seems to find the floor. That's the thing that South Gray's got going for them. They've got two hitters up the net every time and sometimes three. So, And then you got a good setter to go with it, and that's going to be a pretty good day for them. And uh, Heels Camp will dig it out of the back row. Moyer the bump set. Goes in again. Tight, tipped over. Heels Camp will keep it alive. Moyer. Yeah, Bella, Bella Burlhardt had a good job. She put a tip over and got up the top, and then she had a, almost a block there. She was in the way anyway. Good job, Bella. Elkhart making a little couple points here and there, looking a little more better, getting a little momentum. Seven-point ball game. Vihelm will roll it over. Elkhart now with a chance to attack if they want to do so. They're going to go to the middle. Got tipped over. Going to attack again as Gosen, and she found another hole. Yeah, that... That's just the defense has got to – they should have been there on that one because she went cross and they were all standing on the back line. So, Saying that set came from behind the 10-foot line. Allie Reed there on that one. Yeah, they – yeah, Elkhart's got to be in position to take digs. They weren't anywhere close to being where they should have been. Moyer, another ace. Yeah, this is just target practice right now. And another timeout going to be called by Elkhart here. And South Gray, I wondered if they'd come in and look a little sluggish with it being their first match of the day, but so far, not so much. Yeah, I still think Coach Moyer would like to see a little more, uh, what I want to say. He wants the ball to Kaylee, the setter, and then he wants her to put it where she wants to put it and not have to bump set it. And, you know, just obviously they're making points, but they're getting a lot of free balls that they should be putting right where they want the set and that set should go where they want it to go. So I think he's he's challenging them a little bit and saying, let's go, let's clean it up. And, uh, yeah, we're winning by nine points, but I want to see some more pass set spikes like we work in practice, run the plays that we work on. And that's where a lot of people don't understand volleyball sometimes. There, there's plays just like there is in basketball. Just you, you, you want to see that run, and, and then you start to get into your game. Good serve by Moyer. Helm on top there of the net, go. but she got oh, into it. got in the net. That's okay. Got aggressive, and I like to see that. I say being aggressive, you never get mad at that as a coach if you're nope. going after one. Nope. Not as long. I get mad when they don't get there and go at it. So at least she was there and saw it. Just a little too, too aggressive in the net. Buck to serve. That one ran way up on Allie yeah, Reed. It's going to lead to a free ball. I wish they'd call that. I think that's a play that should be called. Brill Hart in the middle. There they go. Oh, and she was in the and net. The net. Well, I like to see that, though. Brill Hart took, an, a, took a, a good attack. Madison did. Had a good set from her sister, Bella. And Say that time it. I thought somebody pulled the net down. I couldn't tell live who it was. But yeah, she just got her arm on top of it. Just needs to get two feet and come up in the air. That one has to be tipped over by Cervantes. Bella sets the five and they push Blocks. in. Yeah. You got Vihelm and Allie Reed on one side on a block. That's just tough. Uh, you just, you, if you're going to push it over, you can't push it into a double block. It's, that's just rule 101 on that. Okay, Gosen put one out on the outside on the right. She's got a coach doesn't want to see that either. Put your put, serves in play. This is our gym. We serve here every day. They were serving in here this morning when we walked in at about 11 o'clock. Yeah. The advantage of having your own court. And it is different because they don't, they don't usually play this way. They play with two courts. So, you know, it is. I say, they, would you? They practiced all week doing it like this. And so 
but you play here in other places. It's the same size, just have more <laughs> space. That was a good hit. Yeah. So would you ever, uh, during the regular season, have it set up like this, or would you always set up? No, we always. You'd always leave it sideways? Yeah, we played sideways, and then we just, that one week, really, and we were lucky. We had all kinds of room in our two courts, so it wasn't a lot of difference. Just, you had stands on both sides is the only difference that we had. Yeah. This one tipped there over and no cover. Nice play there by Elkhart. I know that Coach Moyer had to see that because that's what they did to Kiowa County. I'll bet, I'll bet Madison did that 20 times and he, he was holding his head a little bit because his daughter should have been there to get that <laughs> one, I think. That one free ball deep. He just got a cover behind. Brillhart. Got it. Okay, so Madison sets to Bella this time, and Bella gets up and hits one. That's what Coach wants to see over there for Elkhart. She wants to see him get after it and get some good pass set spikes. This one, Moyer on the bump set. Has to go free ball again and missed it. So yeah. the last three times South Grace free balled it, it's been three points for Elkhart. Yep, that's – you can't give free balls because that's what's going to happen. So Coach Moyer's going, you know, we do that against South Central. We're going to – ball goes in the net. Kaylee Reed's got to – or Kaylee <laughs> – Kaylee's got to get under that and, and pull it out of the net. She needs to turn sideways on that, and she can pick it out of the net. Moyer well, the bump set this time, Brenneman. And free balled over, missed it fa too far to the far side. 21-13. Yeah, the, just the difference here is that, you know, you free ball over against a good team, they're coming back with hits, and that's what – they got away with it in Kiowa County, and they just couldn't get enough sets off of it. Another ace there that time from Hills Camp. And then they, they've got the, the middle back is standing basically a foot off the, the back. No one serves that deep. I don't know why it scoot them up. How far forward do you like to play them, all the way to the free throw line? I'll play them in front of the free throw line, all three the of them, line. yeah. And then if they serve one deep or two, I'll just I'll rotate, move my left back or my right back back, and then move one girl in the back. But... Very seldom do you see a girl hit the line consistently. They just don't. That one, one pass, but it's going to end up into the bleachers. And if you're going to stand back there, then when it comes back there, get a good pass. <laughs> that, that, that's what you want because it's like, okay. But, again, she was faced to the crowd, so the grandma over there from, from South Gray, she says, I'm not playing. I'm just <laughs> sitting over here this time. Set point. There's a good pass. Real hard. There you go. Into the net. So uh, when uh, Elkhart does. Elkhart, when they get a pass set, Madison put a nice one up there for her sister Bella, and Bella's got some hops. I don't know how tall Bella is, but they don't have it on here. But she doesn't look like she's more than 5'6", and she's got some leaps. I didn't see that against Kiowa County. They didn't have that many sets to her. Whoa. Allie Reed just says, okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> said let's go play in the second set that was impressive that may be the most impressive hit we've had all day yeah she got up and on that five side if you're over there and hit through it it's always going to go down pretty close to 10 foot line so that the end of the first set south gray wins it second set the number one team in the state looked pretty good in that one kcmc sports class 1a division one sub-state volleyball tournament brought to you by lewis automotive and united is coming back after this. country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country.
Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us. And it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks. Welcome back in. All you missed was another ace there from South Gray. Yeah, best server on their team probably, Kaylee, Kaylee Moore, at least one of them. She does a good job, got a good ace. I'm anxious to see if uh, Elkhart can get more of that pass set spike. They got one there for Bella, it's on the right side. Good block, got a tip. This one back into the middle, Brillhart. Yeah, Elkhart's moving a little better right now. They're, they're, say they they're, woke up. Yeah, they, oh, dog on it. Almost. It was there, just didn't get over. Yeah, they, they, they're just, just not quite in the right spots on defense. If they can move over before, and that's, they need to set their defense a little bit different. That one, Helm, and I, Moyer, they go back to her. Helm had to wait on it, but wow. Yeah. That one was big enough, Grandma might have been able to find that Grandma hole. Grandma probably could have made that play. <laughs> but again, they're, they're not shifting at all on the left back. They're, they've got their left back sitting on the back row, and that's just not going to work against a good team. And then they're, they're chasing ball around again here. And up, Boy, here the course, set, so now the setter's so out. So South Gray, they're going to have to roll spike. and. So yeah. now off a bump set, another free ball coming. This needs to get something needs to happen here. Here we Over go. Over to Gosen. She's had a good yep. game so far, and she's got another one. Yeah, I'm telling you, she's a player. I mean, you, you pick them out because you got all these tall girls, but Gosen, I don't know how tall she is, but. 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. Just she, a uh, sophomore. She's a good hitter. She just sees the court very well. Jumps well. And yeah, they, race. I think Coach. Coach uh, Hoskin. Hope oh, Hoskinson. Hoskinson. She's wanting to kind of cover up somebody in the back row there a little bit. Give her a break. Brillhart dug by Hills Camp, but it's one pass back oh. over. Madison Brillhart trying to get that, but again, we're the the left front was standing there just watching, and she's got to go get that ball. Right there, you saw it right in the front. Yeah, they just they need to, to move a little bit better, and they need to be in better position to start. Three balled over. Here Moyer. we go. Gonna By hell. Oh, oh got in the net. Net was over. Foot was over. Set set wasn't where she wanted it. It went over the net. Vi tried to get it, but it was too hard. I hate to see those because then the girl's over, and if someone's on the other side, that's a dangerous they play. They come down on somebody's foot, and yep. all of a sudden there yep. went – there that's, went your shot at a. If you're going to set a bad one, set it the other way. I always told them, get it. Don't go over the net. Go, go five foot line. Gosen again. I'm telling you. I. She's been my MVP for two game, two matches I've seen them play. She's, she's on the back row serving now. So it might be a good break for. One passed over though. So then you're going. Okay, here's Allie Reed. Yeah, I was just saying. Now you got right Vi Helm and Allie Reed. Allie has One a nice pass over again. He went to Allie Reed. Here we go. Watch go to this. Her now. Yep, there you go. Man alive. You might get one, but you're not getting another one if you're going to send a free ball back over. Yeah. How do you defend that, coach? Well, you got to have a blocker, number one. You got to put a double block on it. And you, you can't expect your back row to, if you're not going to block a good hitter, it's going to be 75% of the time they're going to get it down. That's just the way it is. Nine to one South Gray. So if I'm defending, I'm putting a double block on, on their good hitters. And then I'm going to make sure I've got my back row set where she likes to hit. So I watch film and I know where they want to hit. And then we practice all week long where we want to set her defense so that 
we at least take away her best shot because she's got all kinds of shots, Allie does. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, that's another thing in volleyball. You know, basketball, you, you see that and stuff. But if a good volleyball coach watches film and watches the tendencies that each hitter has, and then you try to set your defense up for that hitter when she's in. And when you have a good defense, a good libero, you can, you can take away some really good hitters. So so how many years did you coach for at Greensburg in Kiowa County? 30 what? 34. 34. Anybody jump off the top of your head as best hitter you ever coached against? I'd ask who you best hitter you ever coached, but then all of a sudden we're going to start getting all kinds of messages from the girls. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was a lot of them. I, I, there was a Holcomb girl, the AD of Holcomb back in 1992. She, she could hit the ball about as hard as anyone could ever hit it. And she was only about 5'8", but she could hit the ball. But there's been a lot of them, lots and lots of them. 11 to 1. Yeah, this. And then into the net. About the only mistake that South Gray's made here in this second set. Yeah, they've looked a lot better on this second match. They've cleaned things up, and they are kind of got their minds going now better. And again, that first set was just the first set that they played. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's. Dosen, and now Allie Riedel, free ball one. Elkhart with a chance to use it here if they want to. Going to come to Brillhart in the middle, and she'll tip it over. Moyer the cover, so Cervantes will have to set it by Helm quickly. There you go. Yep. Oh, no, they're going to say Helm got in the net. She did. She got in the net again. Yeah, I'm not sure. Did you see the replay? Yeah. Was it her hand? I say her hand on hand the way on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That middle, you just got to make sure you you finish your swing, but you can't go all the way down. You got to come back to your. Moyer, one uh, passed over. Good color cover by Bella for Elkhart. Wow. Got it back over and down the line that time. Going to go. work for Garcia. Yeah, Garcia, she's only a sophomore, I think. She's uh, She does a good job on the front row and. Uh, She's got some height with her. She looks like she's probably 5'9 or 10, maybe. Now one into the net. Bella. Or no, that's not no. Bella. Uh, Karabuck. Karabuck, okay. Now Vihelm to the back row. But then that brings Brenneman back to the front. You just don't ever get a break playing the South Gray team. Nope, they have the girls. That's why they're where they are. That one, Brenneman, deflected, nice sent job. over. Moyer now, coming outside, Cervantes going cross, dug there nicely by Buck. Uh, nice job by Madison Brillhart. She had an overpass there in the middle. She's playing middle front, and she uh, puts a, a nice tip down on their side. Been, Elkhart's done some nice things here. Gonzalez the serve. By Helm with the pass, nice pass. Going all the way outside. Brenneman dug again nicely by Gonzalez, and that's going to be a lift. <laughs> Garcia was a middle hitter, but she's trying to have to set. <laughs> Obviously, that's why she's a middle hitter. <laughs> Interesting to see Moyer. She's setting a lot of, of bump sets. I'm not sure why, if that's just something she does a lot. I haven't noticed that as much, but I've really noticed it today. Say there's another bump set. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good set. She puts it up there, but it, it's interesting. I, I'm going to watch her here this next couple games and see if that's just something she does now. She didn't last year, I don't remember, when we played against her her doing that as much. I say I don't remember her doing it a ton at Spa League either. I, I haven't seen her set with her hands much yet at all. That one, Brenneman on top of the net, tips it back down. Yep. You got too much height to not get it. You got to get a little higher than that if you're going to roll it, spike it over there. That Ten point lead. The old shark needs to get a little more excitement going yeah, over there. I was going to say he, there. He looks like he's uh, flound, floundering a little bit over there. <laughs> Three balled over. This might be his chance. Allie Reed. Oh, nice dig coming up. Oh, oh, what would we call? Double hit on South Gray. Oh, they called, uh, yeah, the setter with the double hit. Okay. I don't know if it was Kate. I can't remember if Kate, but I was kind of getting excited to see if the shark didn't get excited. I did too. I was watching the shark and the hot dog. 
the shark and hot dog show. Piece of pizza in the third row. <laughs> Tight on the net, tipped over Allie Reed, but she came underneath it. Yep, she got her feet underneath. So we got a shark, a hot dog, a piece of pizza. Yeah, we got a Hawaiian guy. I say, we had some Hawaii Hawaiian I was luau's. I, I was thinking maybe it was like beach theme or something, but I'm not sure you're going to eat a hot dog and a slice of pepperoni pizza sitting on the beach with your sangria. Well, you know, you got to eat something. That's true. You know, <laughs> that's true. You got that sangria and maybe, you know, hot dogs and sangria. I don't know if that's a I, Jimmy Buffett song <laughs> or not. We'll see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Randy Fulton. <laughs> 17 to 7. Another nice, nice serve. serve. Allie Reed's got a really good serve. I like to watch her serve. Heels camp the dig. Nice dig by their libero heels by camp. Helm by Helm out of the back row. row. It's now impressive they're when you going. Can do that. Yeah, it's always fun. Girls like to do that. And you got to have a pretty big block to be able to compete with that, especially at this level. They're going to try it again. Nope, they're going to go to the far side. Ghosting again. Good hit, good dig by Elkhart. Tied on the net, tip down by Brenneman. But again, just they're just putting the ball, Elkhart is on the net, and those big girls are having a heyday. Well, we got the, the shark doing the Macarena now. Hey, Macarena. Yep. <laughs> Little miscommunication there. Stuck an arm out again, and guess where it goes. Our producer, Landon Eilert, plays the banjo. We might be able to get him over there, get uh, get a little start to your Jimmy Buffett song. There you go. There you go. You just thought we were going to have an intro for the championship. Now it's going to be Landon with his banjo and a shark. A mm, shark and a hot dog and a pizza. On the beach. On the beach. By Helm, Back got another attack one. again. Yeah, Elkhart's just set way too deep. They've, they've got to come up and at least challenge that a little bit. Coach Moyer's getting some kids in. They say, kind of. Lindsey Kane here, end of the ball game. The 5'5 five, five foot junior, as By Helm will come out. Reed to serve again. And that going to be. Well, uh, that kind of. Sets a tone for y'all. They're just, they're, they're kind of. Just been that kind of set. Yeah, for it's, it's tough. You're, you're playing the number one team in the state, and it's just kind of hard. And now, JCD just into the ball game. And then also in for Rick Moyer's squad. They're going to be Cadence Hickson to serve. Has threw it before the whistle that time and then caught it and was just out of sync the whole way there. Yeah, she should have. Fischl probably should have <laughs> went ahead and blew the whistle and we gave him a reserve. That's okay. She blew the whistle, so. Garcia to serve. Floats it over. Hickson. Good pass by Moyer. Hickson. Moyer to the far set. side. Deges. Or excuse me, that Foskel. That was Deges on the pass. 23 to 8. Next game coming up for you is going to be Skyline and South Central. And if Skyline can get some, like you said, bump, set, spike. Well, it's Skyline, it's the passing is going to be the key for them. The passing and serve receive. So I think they've got the hitters, they got the setters. I think they just need to make sure they got the defense set up in the passing. So. That one gets down. Lindsey Kane and the bench loves it. Lindsey Kane with a right side hit. Did a good job. She got up in the air, too. Nice adjustment to get over to it. And now we got match point. JCD just to serve. The 5 5 sophomore. Nice serve. One passed over. She's going to pass it. Moyer. Looking for the back there line, there. and it's going to get in. Lindsey Kane back to back kills for the Rebels. And everything's rolling right for South Gray. They're headed for the Substate Championship game. And did we expect anything less? No. It's nice to see, though, Kane get two kills and the other girls. And Elkhart, you know, they, they had some nice plays. 
probably the first match was a little easier than the second. And uh, it's always tough. It's your last game, last game of the season. Seniors, it's tough. There's a lot of seniors on their team. So. And Elkhart going to finish the year right at 500. South Gray's headed for the league champ or the league championship, the uh, sub-state championship game. We got one more semifinal, South, Gr South Central and Skyline. Coming up after this, KCMC Sports back in about 10 minutes. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us. And it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks, waiting for our chance to serve you. Trying to ensure that if you're going to be loyal to a brand, it's going to be ours. Lewis Automotive Group, helping you find your brand of truck for decades.
Division Division Two. when I'm like standing up. Sweet. Yeah, so it's just everybody else is in the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I
Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, one more semifinal game. I'm Cameron Burney. This is Randy Fulton and uh, Coach South Central and Skyline. This one's got a chance to be a pretty good ball game. Yeah, I think so. I, I think South Central's probably the better team. Um, Skyline's got all the tools. They just need to pass better and service it better from what I saw early on. But they've got three hitters. They've got good setters. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Should be a good game. Yeah, for South Central, Molly Murphy and Izzy Hackney were the story in that first one, as it probably has been most of the year. Maybe the two best hitters on the floor in this one, but Skyline, like you said, Corey Anschutz, Ashley Spies, and then Allison Helsel all, all out there for them. Yeah, and you know, I think uh, Patterson got involved in the middle there. I think it was her that they got a couple hits. So if... Uh, Coach Snyder would like to see him get three hitters involved and if they can get Patterson in the middle going a little bit, that gives the blockers have to figure out what they want to do and they can't just set up on, on the two hitters. And that's going to be the interesting part if uh, it goes to South Gray and South Central is the blocking part of it. So, yeah, this should be a good one. I'm excited to see if, if uh, Skyline can get those passes to their setters so they can get their hitters going. I say that's the first one of the day where we really think that – it could go the two really good teams that it could go to three. There we go. And shoots puts one in the corner. That was a good job. So she she didn't have the set, but she was smart enough to place it where they weren't. So good start for Skyline. Skyline coming into today is the three seat, 16 and 16 on the year coming into today, 17 and 16 now. After the win over Mineola. South Central 24 and 9 after the win over Ashland. They're the two seat. That young to serve, missed it long. Oh. Yep, just a little excited, probably hit it out. Um, got a tie ball game at 1-1. We got uh, Molly Murphy back to serve. That'll put Hackney there on the front row, and there's an ace for the Timberwolves. Again, I've seen so many teams that are just too far back in serve receive. They need to... I'd like to see him move up a little bit. Hoffman, there she will. And now they're going to go on the back set into and the middle. And shoots in the middle. There you go. Yeah, and that's that's the deal. Patterson's in the middle. She's got to get a block up because uh, Skyline's running their hitters out of the middle most of the time. And so if you're the middle hitter from South Central, she's going to double block probably, but the middle hitter's got to set the block, and she wasn't, she wasn't even there that time. Coach Snyder's talking to her now. Walker the serve. Alexander's got to run a long ways to get it. Hackney coming in, got to roll it over. Going to the far side. Helsel! <laughs> Gonna say it hit the. Hit I couldn't the pole. tell. Yeah, it hit the pole before. I thought maybe it hit off the block and hit the, hit the antenna, but they said that, that that's. Yeah, hit the antenna on the hit. There's a good pass, Skyline. They're going to go outside. Helsel again. Stapleton went over a thousand career digs earlier today, we were told. Yep, she does a good job back there at Libero. Got another one oh. there with that one off the side of her hands. Yep, didn't quite get underneath of that one, going off the side of her hands. Yeah, Coach, we got a camera, we got a good one here. I we got say. three three. It looks like to me both teams are ready to play, and we're seeing more pass set spikes. I'm, I like that. That one didn't get touched. I don't think she touched it. Boy, she almost did. If she'd have been taller, say. she'd have touched it. <laughs> That's when you're glad she's short in the back row there. Patterson back to serve for South Central. Four to three. Going to the far side, Spies looking deep. Oh, nice pass, Patterson out of the back row. Here comes Hackney, blocked. Oh, nice block by, who is that, Spies? Or? Uh -huh. York was looking deep, didn't get it. Yeah, Spies had a nice block out of the middle and uh, Put it back, and then they tried to hit one over on that South Central, hit it long. Good job. 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four to four. Hoffman to serve. Libero for Skyline is Hoffman, and the Libero for South Central Stapleton. Good pass by Patterson. In the middle, Hackney. Hackney got up in the air on the middle, but they got a block. Oh, it nice play. Over. Sent it deep. South Central going to scramble, but they got it. They're coming to York. York! Wow, York had the save, and then she got the kill. That's the way to reward a girl that got a good 
good save there. Five to four now. Hackney, nice serve. Very nice serve, good serve receive. Coming on the backside, Helsel, dug by Stapleton. Coming outside, Molly Murphy. Her swing she's really Got had in this one. Yep. Helsel. Now we're getting some digs. As they now we're playing Defenses volleyball, are set. Coach. Now this is fun. There we go, another dig by Skyline. Got a bump set Coming to the, the middle. middle. Stapleton, uh, Stapleton kept gets it up. Going to get a free ball, a little down ball. Good job, Murphy. Wow. That yeah. was impressive. That time, from a back row set, they put it in that corner. When you try to do that, they try to put it about the 10 foot, 8 foot line, and the four hitter can take that on hand, and that was a nice job by Murphy. That went into the net. And again, that's, that's just one of those you got to take your time, go back there and serve, think about what you're doing. She's mad at herself, but you got to take, you got all kinds of time back there. Six to five. We apologize for the score bug at the moment. Landon Eilert working through it. Tight on the net, tipped over York. Going to be a free ball here for Sky. Skyline's going to send one over. Nice job by Helsel just to bring that one back. Murphy oh, tight on the net. Tight on the net. Good job by Murphy. All the way to the far side, going down the line. Nice Doug. dig. Alexander tipped it over and now sent back. Oh, what do we got some plays going on That's here? Like we're playing volleyball, Coach. That's Murphy. Fun. Nice. Oh. Murphy got a hold of that one, and we almost had a dig. I tell you, I can't Isn't remember who got in the way of that one, but she got her arms out and pretty close to being a dig. That was a good rally. Fun to see. Good serve, Alexander. That one saved into the front row. Well, Skyline's playing now. They got some defense going. Kept alive. Nice Hells play all again. Free ball. All right, we're South Central go with it. for one. Here we go. Down Molly to Murphy. Murphy. There you go. That's yep. impressive. Did the, did the. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness, let's take a look at this here, coach. Let's see what we got. The uh, back judge ruled it out. That's, I. It was out. It was out. Okay. Now the official's gonna talk about it. Here's one more look at it, coach, from up top. They're gonna give the point to South Central here. Okay, uh, it was, was in. in. Yep. Yes, it was in. Definitely Great work in. by our camera crew there. Landon Eilert, your producer, and your replay technician tonight. I, I looked uh, I looked at the wrong line. Yes. There's a lot of lines on this floor with the, the tape and the, yeah. the ones that are painted sideways. That's the way it always is. It's hard to, hard to see. The old volleyball line from your two courts. 8-5 lead, South Central. Yep. They took their time and got it right, though. Yeah. You definitely. like to see that. Murphy got another one. Yeah, I think I'd be calling timeout. There we go. There it is. Yep. Nine to five. Yeah, Murphy's got it going now. They've got the set going. Yeah, if you're coaching and shoots right now, you're talking. Coach so. and shoots is asking about uh, that call. You see there at the bottom right of the screen, Coach Anschutz looking for an explanation. Yeah, Bradshaw's telling her she said she said the up official said it was in. She said she saw it in. And I can't remember which of, which well the one called out would be on the back line, but it was definitely inbound. It was the right call. I say they took their time, but they did get it right. And I think Coach Anschutz, I think I'd have spent my time talking to my girls instead of that because they ain't got to change their mind on that. Okay, so. If I'm if I'm coach and shoots for Skyline, I, you're telling them that we've got to get out of this, and you know where the ball's going. Okay, it's going to go to Murphy. And if I'm coach Snyder, I'm telling them I want the ball to Murphy because she's hot right now. So get that free ball or whatever you get. You get a free ball, you put it over there to Murphy, and then you got York in the middle. She can hit too. So I'd be okay once in a while if they set the double block on on uh, Murphy. I'm gonna to go to the middle of York if I get the pass. Mia Alexander to serve here for the Timberwolves. Good Nine serve five off a timeout. Good pass by Hoffman. Rolled over. Here you Kept go. Alive. Here Guess goes. who's got it again, Coach? Yep. yep. They had, they set a good double block up, but Murphy that time it was about a five foot set. It wasn't at the net, so it's kind of hard to block those. And she did a good job of she dropped her thumb, which takes the ball more to the right. 
Oh, that was close. As they kept alive, a little bit lucky yeah, there. Kinda, Free ball. Got to hit. Okay, here you go. You Murphy. going Murphy again? Yep. Now they're going to nope. go Middle York. Yep, there. I'm okay with that probably because if you're going to win the next one, you've got to have that middle going once in a while. But I think the next one I want to go to Murphy. Here it goes. Nope, it's going to have to go to set. right side. York all the way over there. There you go. Good now job by York. Now she to the middle. Going to have to be a free ball. Uh, Skyline's got to get a set. Here it comes to the far side. Murphy. Oh, blocks. nice blow. Oh, they got oh, the net. Yep. That time Ann shoots. Alexander, you see here, coming all the way across. Double block coming. Oh, and they, it was actually yeah. Mat Matulka. Matulka, yeah, she got in the net. She just turned. Nice pass by Hoffman, Libero. Far side, and shoots. There you go. All right, finally Skyline got something Skyline there. Skyline gets one down. It's all about the pass, I tell you. If you get that pass to your setter, you got a chance to get your, your hitter a, a hit. Okay, so... You've got Murphy now on the right side. She's going to hit right side off a of serve receive. So if you're blocking over there, we'll see if they recognize. It's going to Murphy. Back set right back side. Set to Murphy, double block was there but missed it long. Yep, they were there. Oh, and, sh and she's gotten in that that time. That's wow. a bad mistake. Just go up in the air. They, you, you're trying to do too much now a little bit. Yeah. They recognized it, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't get execute the block there. Good serve, Hoffman's putting some nice passes Quickly up there. Quickly into the middle and shoots that time on the swing, tied on the net. Hackney, good job. Tell you what, she does Kula. have a vertical. Yes, she does. She's a very good athlete. Alexander, nice job just to bring it back. Free ball okay, over that Here's a free time. ball. Here we go. It's going middle. And shoots quickly. Boom, Got middle. it through the block. Oh, they kept nice, alive. Nice play by number nine. One looking deep. Stapleton. Alexander tracking it way down. Sends it deep. Are they going to the middle again? They will. And shoots. And Got shoots. deflected. Stapleton. Stapleton, nice job. Hackney. Hackney. Got to get back so she can get the approach. And shoots going to dink it back in the middle. Alexander got it. Your set's out. They come all the way over. Hackney on the bump set put it into the net. It's a big rally win there for Skyline. Yeah, that that uh, that was a good rally by both teams. They both made some really nice plays. Okay, if you've got a four-point lead deficit if you're Pratt Skyline, you've got to put that ball in play, and you got to get a, a defensive stop here. There's the, there's the serve, nice pass by. Alexander, that into the middle, Patterson that time. Logan Patterson, welcome to the ball game. Yeah, there's the middle going. Caught him off guard a little bit, I think. They were looking for an outside hit. Well, I tell you, Hoffman's putting nice passes, Libera from Skyline. Very Helsel impressed. got it. Nice, nice shot from Helsel. She went between the line in the middle and that's, blockers have to cover that. So that's not your defense in the back row, that's your front row blockers. Four point ball game, chance to cut it to three here for Skyline. Nice communication, Hackney just has to send one over deep. Good job, putting it down ball. Oh, feet went under. Yep. Helsel got right her feet there. underneath. Oh. Yep, that's what it was. I think that's what they, I thought they called the other thing. I'm thinking, yeah, no, Hell's got her both feet underneath, actually. Yeah, there you see. Again, that always that, scares me. Yeah. I hate to see that. Oh, that rolled up. Left. That rolled up the arm. There you go. One of the few mistakes Hoffman's made here tonight. She's put a lot of passes up there. She's got to turn sideways on that one and get her platform out. Ball's going to roll up if you're moving backwards. So she can, she can adjust to that. Patterson to surf. Nice, nice pass by Skyline there. Ashley Spice, dug by Murphy, one right. passed over. Got another free ball going middle. Here, Here comes go. again. Spice. There we go. Nice again. job by Molly. Hackney. Oh, got a dig. Good job. Let's push it over here. Alexander, your sets out. It's one pass back over on top of the net. Hackney dug it again. Stapleton to Hackney. What a rally. Nice job. Deep, Stapleton alive. Stapleton, here we go. It's going in Hackney. 
Hits the net. Kept alive. There's Hoffman again. Now All another right. free ball. Now it's going to go middle. Nope, not Off now. The got to go. Set. There they it is. Do go. Wow, yeah. miscommunication. Yeah, that's Alexander. She, she didn't know exactly. She wanted to go middle because Hackney had two or three, and she was trying to go middle, but the pass wasn't there. So when she, she bumped it, she was kind of, kind of in between going four and two, and she went right in the middle of them. Good pass by... In the middle, Hackney. Got oh, it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Stapleton in the middle is tough. She put the pass right there for Alexander, and then that set was perfect. Wow. Hackney can, can leap. Big arm behind it, too. Yeah, she swings. There's a good bump set. Hazel, got it. Yeah. I'll tell you, in this, if you can set a, a five, which is, they call that a right side, it's just a different angle, and it's hard for defenses to adjust to that. So you'll see it most of it on serve receive more than you will see it on a, anything else because most people run their best kids on the right, either the middle or the left side, unless you've got a left-handed hitter. Hazel to serve. Murphy off the bump, tight on the net. She swung at it anyway. Good block by Skyline. Here we go, free ball. Hoffman Chance put one up it. there. Quickly on the back set, oh, tipped over. Just didn't get high well. enough. Got to get that set up for him. Murphy dug again by Hoffman. Hoffman now from the back row, the libero swinging. Nice back row swing for Hoffman. Good pickup. That was Skyline. York on the swing. York. On block down, Murphy. Yeah, nice block by Murphy that time. That, Skyline kind of was out of system there a little bit and uh, tried to roll spike it, and boy, that's a nice block. I, looked, uh, I just looked at the scoreboard. It's now, well, now it's a five-point game, but this thing felt a lot closer than that. Just well, watch it, it. It got the five, and Skyline called that timeout, and it's kind of stayed at five. Skyline's playing well, but they've got to get some points here before it gets to 20. Murphy. There you no, go. sir. No touch. No touch. Update from down the road in Satana, 1A Division II Substate Championship game. Buckland won the first set. Ingalls wins the second set, 29-27. Oh They're going to a third one to go play in a state tournament. Hackney, whoa, that would have been impressive if she got that over. Yeah. That's two sets in a row that the girls, the hitters have got to get behind the ball to get on top of it or it's not going to go over the net. So they just got to get their timing a little bit better. Three-point ball game. Stapleton setting right side. Nice job. We had a two-point ball game. York, York tried to do the right thing. Good timeout by Coach uh, Snyder. She's she's seen enough here. Skyline's trimmed this thing all the way back down to two. At South Central has led it by as many as I think about six. <laughs> South Central's crowd trying to get into it here. As the uh, first set here, the uh, all important, crucial one for in a sub-state semifinal. Now, Coach Snyder's just called that timeout. She's just telling him, hey, we're doing a lot of good things. We did, but right now we're trying to hit the home run ball sometimes when we just need to get it over. And I think sometimes kids get excited, they're, they're rolling, and then they try to hit that home run ball, and it does no good to hit it in the net or hit it out. So. If you don't have the set that you can't hit 100 mile an hour, hit it 50 mile an hour and put it in bounds. That's, that's what I'm telling my kids, and I think that's what Coach Snyder's probably telling them. Skyline, she's telling them, hey, we made a run here. Let's keep going. Murphy, that might have been what you were talking uh, about there, Coach. Yep. She all got under the net, though. Coach or Hoffman, well, i tell you what. She's a libero and staple, and both liberos are very, very good on these teams. No block. One-point game. Wow. They're just, South Central's just a little bit out of sync. They're chasing the ball around, but Skyline's making them chase the ball around right now. Skyline's putting everything in play, and, and when they get a swing, they're taking it. Murphy, got there a good swing. Goes. Yeah, there you go. See, she didn't swing 100 mile an hour, but she put a nice swing on it. That was perfect. About two, three feet off the net, down the line. She likes to come in from an angle and, and take that. And it's, it's hard to block because she's hit some about the five-foot line on that hit. Good pass, Hoffman again. I say that a lot. <laughs> that and was Stapleton, Stapleton right there job. again. Yeah, I say that a lot, too. There's a nice push. Oh, oh it hit the, the golden. Oh, Alexander with the play. Oh, and they no. didn't get it back over. 
Oh my goodness. That uh, somebody would have called Sports Center on that one if they were able to keep oh, that one that going. Was, that was a good one. Off the top of the goal, came straight back down. Alexander was sliding by it. So we got a one point up. game now, is that one right? One point game. All right, 18 17. South Central with the lead. Rolled right. up on Stapleton. Alexander free ball. again. Free ball, free ball. Oh, they're coming quick. Here's coach. middle. Dug Good by Hackney. Dig. Oh, stay with it. There we go. Got on the light up top. Tight on the net. Reaching over the top and putting it down to Murphy. That should be a. That ball never crossed the net. So say we'll see. But they didn't call it. Right here? Nope. nope. Yeah, Murphy, Murphy hit the ball before it got over the net, and the official let him do it. That's. That's a hard call for Skyline. Here we go. Middle. And shoots. Missed it. Barely. That was close, but the line judge was right there. Made the def definite call. Timeout Skyline. Well, that's, that's two tough breaks there for Skyline. All right, Coach Ann shoots. She's happy. She's got the girls are rolling a little bit. But right now, Snyder, she called the timeout. She's up by three now. She would tell the timeout, I think, with two-point lead. Is that right? Got down to one? Yes. Yeah. I, think, I think when she called the timeout, it was a one-point ball game. Yeah. And now they've got the last two. I can see Coach Snyder. She's telling the girls, hey, good job. We got back to the basics. You're putting the ball where you want it. We're not chasing the ball. We're just putting it where we want it. And I think uh, Coach Anschutz is telling the girls, man, we're doing well. But we got to get we got to get a pass set spike right here. Be down two. You're going to start serving. I always say, who serves next? The other girl steps up, and she knows she's ready to go. Murphy to serve. It's going to be Ann shoots in the middle, has to tip it over. Hackney blocked it. Going to get a free ball, Skyline. Hackney set up all the way over here. It's tight on the net, but she swung big anyway. She is impressive. Yep, she got up and got that one. She even they saw there at the end of the replay, even looked back to the official to see if she got into the net or not. It was close. They called a lift on the skyline girl. Alexander into the middle, looking deep. Dug again by Hoffman. Hoffman's good. All the way to the far side. That Hansen kept alive oh, yeah. and no cover. Yeah. Patterson tried to. She had the block and then she had the kill. That was a good job. She just couldn't get a hold of it underneath of it. So three-point lead. South Central, but Skyline's got a chance to cut into it. They've got to get a defensive stop here. Walker to serve. Out. Alexander along with uh, okay. Hackney on the Okay, here's front. your free ball. Here we go. Oh, and she oh, pushed it over. it over. Tight on the net, though. They're going to bring it back. Hackney going down the line. Yeah. Your blockers for Skyline have to know that ball's going there. And when she's... She gets up enough, it should be a decent block. The ball should be coming down, so your blockers have just got to get their hands above the net barely. That's all they got to do. There's a good pass by Hoffman again. And shoots going Helsel. There's Missed it. Out of bounds. Wow. That was close. You say right idea there, I think. Yes, I think that was good. It was too close to hit. She was going to dink it and just kind of missed it just by a little bit. 23-18. It's up to five now for the Timberwolves. Good Raise serve. the top of the good net. idea with a good serve. Stapleton. It's coming to Hackney. Hackney. Set point. That was a heck of a dig by Gardia, or by Hoffman on Skyline, but just couldn't quite get there. Here you see coming all the way across. Hackney going down the line. Gave it a chance there, did Hoffman in the back row. Yeah, that was pretty impressive, actually. Gardia into the net. It ain't over yet. Nope. This, there's plenty of time here. Even though it's 24-19, Skyline's shown us that they can make a run. So we'll see if they can. They get two points in Skyline, or South Central gets a little bit anxious. Hackney. Here's the one. Net. Okay. If it's 24-21, Snyder will call a timeout. You get it to three, then you take one? Yep, I would. 24-21, 24-22 maybe. Depends on how you feel. Alexander, they're coming to Hackney. She had to wait on it. Good choice. Roll spikes it over. Got a middle hit. Skyline. Peace. There it is. Well, there's your three-point ball game, and here comes your timeout. Oh, man. I should, yep. It's there almost like you coached before. I've seen that, huh? <laughs> You've probably been on both sides of this one. I definitely have. Are you feeling comfortable on either side? No. 
<laughs> no, you're not. I mean, you're, you've seen Skyline make some runs, and you're just saying, come on, girls. And I, it, it seems crazy, but when you've got two good teams, 24 isn't anything. If You just got to tell your kids that. And I think they played long enough. I think Skyline, I can tell Coach Ann, she, she's, she's, she's not talking about 24-21. She's talking about just make a play. Make another play. We're behind by two. Make another play. She's telling her server. I don't know who's serving right. And her daughter's serving, so she feels pretty good about that, I would think. And then okay. you've got Helsel on the front row as well, yeah, along I, with Spice. Yeah, you got two good hitters on the front row too. So there you go. Uh, there's one of them, Coach. Murphy tried to make it take it with her hands. If you're going to take it with your hands in the back row, you've got to attack it. You can't put them up, or it's again, it's going to go in Grandma's seat. South Central have a timeout left? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, we're going to play it out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Yeah, Coach Snyder's trying to be positive. You're fine. Take a good good pass. And Insider, she's churning, going, oh, my gosh, don't serve to Molly right now. <laughs> she wants her libero to take this one. 24-23. And Schutz did a good job and served it right to her. Hackney coming after it. All right, Here chance to Got send it set. to extras. Spice. Hackney was in the net. Hackney got in the net. Here we Don't go. Don't call it a comeback. I think I saw this one coming for some reason. I don't know why, but it all right. What was it, 24-19? 24-19. Five straight for Skyline. Like I said, coach's daughter's serving. You like that. Here you go, free ball. Oh, oh didn't get it where he wanted it. That's going to be Hanson's going to send it over. South right, Central with a Hackney. chance to use it. Here comes Hackney. Hackney. Big swing coming. Oh, good block. Going to send another free All ball. Right, it's coming again. Chance. Set you your back. block. Oh, gosh. Oh, and she didn't get up. And she knew it right away. Oh, man. Your middle has got to see that and take it because that was a that was just cake waiting for you right there. Spice on this one knows it. Just didn't go get it. Here we go. Set point. Spies has to send it over. South Central with a chance to end it it's here. Coming to Hackney, nope. Oh, did she get it? They pancaked it, but it's going to get down. South Central wins the first set in a thriller. Wow. What a ball game, Coach. Yeah. I saw that coming for some reason. I, Skyline made two runs from five behind both times. They had the right server up there and the right front row. I think uh, Spies would love to have that, or Helsel would love to have that overpass back. She was just... She didn't see it in time, and it got down on top of her. I don't know if it was Spiesel or Spies. I think it was Spies. Pelsel. I think it was Ashley Spies. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's mad at herself. <laughs> That's knew, okay. Knew it right away. 26-24, the first one goes to the Timberwolves. Second set of a thriller. Class 1A Division One Substate Championships brought to you by Lewis Automotive and United is coming back after this. country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. We had a thriller, and now we got the second set coming for you. I'm Cameron Burney. Randy Fulton sitting to my left. Landon Eilert, your producer. KCMC Sports Class 1A Division I Substate Volleyball. Well, I'll tell you, the two I've been impressed with on both sides of the liberos for both sides. They, they've got some good liberos. It's fun to see. Molly Murphy to start things off for South Central. 
So what's your key here if you're South Central and if you're Skyline? Okay, if I'm one? South Central, I feel pretty good. You, you, you weathered the storm. You tell your girls, we're fine. We had a five-point lead most of the game. Let's just get that going. Get your hitters going. If I'm Skyline, I just tell the girls, man, you guys, you had that one. Two mistakes got us late, and we got a chance now, girls. Murphy. Back to back. Yeah, that's – they've had the block there both times, says Pratt Skyline. They just can't seem to get it on their side of the net. So, you got to get – your Pratt Skyline, you need an outside out right here. There's a good pass. Of course, have a Hoffman. chance at it. Coming to the close side and shoots. shoots. Guess who got another uh, one back there? Old Stapleton right there. Murphy got her third one in a row. Yeah, you've got you to get that – block set somehow. You don't have to stuff it. You just got to get it up in the air so your back row can get a hold of it. And that all started with Stapleton. Yeah, she's a she's a nice libero. And there you go, Hoffman right there. Boy. Coming close side. And shoots into the uh, net. Time Four out straight. if I'm Skyline. I'm taking, she's not going to do it, but I would. I'd try to mix up something here. They're kind of getting on a roll. One floated over, five in a row. Yeah, you got to call timeout here, don't you? I guess not. The officials looking that way. Coach Anschutz going to look to the bench, going to let it roll. Uh, I'd like to break up momentum somehow. There you Just go, has right a here. Chance Come to on, do it. Oh. oh, it over the net. Oh, okay. What do we got here? What did do she we touch got? it? I say, did South Central touch that? Official saying she couldn't see. Let's take a look here. It might so, be a replay. It's going to be a replay. That's tough to tell. So the official's going to come talk about it. I thought live she touched it, but. See, I thought it was the other way. All right, here, let's take a look let's at this from got. here. I don't know. That's close. They got, as they do a replay? Did yep, they, they are. They just took a point off the board. They're going to replay a, that's it. That's the right call. It was too, it was, nobody could see it. It was in a bad spot for everybody. Even our cameras couldn't see it. Man, you've got to call a timeout. And there it is. There you go. Six nothing, South Central's rolling right here. And what are you saying in that skyline huddle? You're just telling them, hey, we're just just little things. You've got to get a block on Murphy on the outside. You know where it's going to go. All you got to do is get a touch. She's challenging her girls. That's what I would do. And... Uh, you got a great libero giving you a pass every time, so you've got to get a hit if you're Skyline. You've got to get a hit. You've got a libero putting it up to the setter. The setter and the hitter's got to make a play, and that's what I'm challenging. I'm challenging my setter and my hitter right now. Now, if I'm South Central, I'm just telling, uh, I think it's Stapleton serving. I'm saying all I want is that ball in. I don't care if it's a donut. Just put it in. Because the pressure's on Skyline, obviously. Six nothing. She does put it in, and it's a not the best pass out of the back row. They're nope. gonna have to now free ball it. Now you know where it's coming. Yep. Molly Murphy on the far side. You know side. where it's coming. It got through the block. It got sent back over. Murphy taps it back, and now South Here Central's gonna again. have it again. Going middle. Going middle. Got it. That time, Logan Patterson. Yeah. Kind of saw this coming, but we'll see. Skyline, see if they can come back here. So they need something to go right here. And it's going to have to be pretty quickly. There's, There's your pass, pass. Hoffman. There's your set. And now do your good hitter. Tip. Yes, there you go. There's the one. Yeah, that, that's your three best players right there. Just hit the ball. Pass, set, spike. From Hoffman to Hoffman and shoots to, and to, shoots to the set. I can't remember who the setter Spies. was on that. Spies, yeah. That's a good combination for them. Okay, now you've got Molly. It's going to go a right side hit. Watch this. It's going to go to Molly. So it's coming to Molly on not, the close not side. Not now. The pass didn't go to her. She got it, but not the set. Send it deep. Staple 10. Good job. Now it goes to Molly. On the far side tip. Deflected. Kept alive. Good job by all of them. Walker did a nice job. Free ball. Okay, this is ugly right yeah. here. So here we go. Hitters now, your scramble. skyline, you've got to get a hit out of this. Nope, uh, didn't get tip one. It. Not a good hit. Here comes Murphy. Tied again. Not a very high set. Are they going to say Murphy went net. under? Pratt Skyline's got to feel good about that one because that was ugly. All, all both sides of that one. That's one at the end of it. You just hope you end up getting the point. Yes, sir. That's 
Coach Ann shoots in, you bet. We'll take some <laughs> luck right now. Seven to two, Timberwolves. Deep serve, missed it deep. Yeah, you just, you can't, can't give them points because they've already got the momentum. Okay, the only good thing now, you got Molly on the back row, but guess, guess who, who you got? <laughs> Izzy Hackney. You got Hackney. She was, she was the hot one early, but. That one going to get down for and shoots. Actually, Hackney's kind of cooled off a little bit. I, we've called Molly's name here more in this last. We'll see if Hackney can get going. If say Hackney had the first the first match, and then that, that yeah. first set was really a lot of Murphy. Yeah, Murphy got going, and that was kind of when that roll got. But this is a good lineup for uh, Skyline. They've got Ann shoots in the middle, and they've got Spies on the outside. This time at Hanson. Oh, man. There we go. So that, is go. that four straight now for That's Skyline? Three, three, three straight. Three straight. Yeah, it's – We got a ball game now. Got a ball game, yep. That's what we needed. There's a good pass by Molly. Bump set. Hackney has to come a long ways to get it. Oh, my goodness. Nobody knew who was supposed to take the second ball. Yep, that's – was So I take that on that. That's probably Spies that was going to be the setter. I would think so because I want Anschutz to hit out of the middle probably. Missed it. And it's the second one there for Gardea. Yeah, Gardea, that's when you got to put it in place. We've got a four-point game. Here we go. This is where Skyline made the run with Anschutz serving, Spies and Helsel on the front row. There you go. There's one of them. Yeah, I – and shoots knows how to serve positions, and she's she's finding a weak spot. And she's right now. I probably would not serve to the libero Stapleton, but she is missed it. Oh my goodness! I bragged too much on it. <laughs> There's no such thing as an announcer's jinx. I promise yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I believe in that. <laughs> I said good. You stick around me long enough, Coach, and uh, well, I'll talk you out of that one. Oh, oh, pancake by Hoffman. Wow. She's impressive. I tell you what, she's only a junior, and she's she's impressive. I'd like to have her on my team. I tell you what, her <laughs> and Stapleton, I'd have a heck of a back row. <laughs> You'd have one heck of a rotation back yes, there. Yes, I would. Up. Right on the net, tipped over with two hands that time from Spies. Into the middle, Hackney. Yeah, I tell you, she... She hits out of the middle. She hits the net a lot, and you never know where it's going to hit the net. That's tough on a defense because you're sitting there waiting for it, and you're in good position, and it just rolls funny. Patterson serving for South Central. Oh, that's, that's a left. Yep. Just like that, it's a seven-point uh, ball game, and Coach Anschutz not happy. Going to get a yellow card here as Coach Ann shoots. Yeah. All right, so what does that mean now, Coach? That means she's got a warning, and so she says something else, she's going to get have a seat. She's got to sit down now the rest of the game. And if she gets another one, she's going to sit somewhere else besides in the gym. I don't know what she wanted on that because that was definitely a carry. Now just making sure everything's all all good. Did you ever get a red card, Coach? I never did. I never had a yellow card or a red card. You never got a not. yellow card. I got excited once in a while. <laughs> Maybe I got excited a lot. But I get think, up! I think they always knew that, so they just kind of looked at me. and Every now and then they'd kind of tell me. That one gonna miss out. Yeah. I, timeout by yeah. Coach Ann shoots. Eight point ball game. You never got a single yellow card. Nope. Never did. Wow. I knew where the line was. I'd say that's part of the chat. That's part of part of knowing it a little bit, isn't yep, it? Yep, knew where the line was. And I, the, certain I, officials probably have a shorter line than others. Yeah. But I never did get too excited. Every now and then I'd get excited about something, and 
just kind of get after them, but it never was worth it because you weren't going to change her mind. I'm not. I'm really still not sure, unless she thought that they threw it over before they carried. Because there wasn't any question that was a carry. Yeah. I mean, we both said that's a lift, and both officials caught it in two seconds. So I don't know. She. I think she's just trying to fire her kids up. And so is that kind of like sometimes in basketball you see a, a coach out. go get a technical? Yeah, and you don't see. I've never. That, I don't know how many yellow cards I've ever seen in, on a coach ever. That's really, the. Honest. That that's the my, first one I've seen since I've started doing this. I'm serious, and I don't know if that's – that may be the first yellow card I've ever seen an official wow. get. I've seen a kid get one before on another team. Hmm, interesting. Seven-point ball game. Another perfect pass. Yeah. Another perfect set. Stapled. Oh, nice, and another perfect dig by Hoffman. <laughs> Almost got our cameraman, say, Andy. Andy Kyle. This one's going to be coming Kyle into your living room. Killed. Watch the – oh, he cut it off before the jump at the end. Andy Andy Kyle, a sophomore at Kiowa County High School, running one of the cameras for us here today. That one got there through and go. got down. Pelsel had a nice hit off the, the right side. Now she's going to go serve. I'm telling you, Skyline's got time if they could just get a run together again. They've got who do we got? It's kind of a they got Spice on the front row. It's oh. kind of a weak front row for them. They've only got really one hitter that uh, they'll play in the middle. They're going to try to get a middle hit. And Murphy but you got back Murphy on, the front. on there. So there's the first bad pass they've had in a while. Hoffman with another dig. Now they, they got to send a three ball deep. over. That was a nice job by Ann Shoots. Into the middle that time. Oh. Step back over. Murphy, There's far the side. Alec. Kept yeah, alive. Skyline's doing a good job blocking. There they go to Hansel. Yeah, I got to land There out. we go. Okay, there you go. Now a little momentum here by Pratt Skyline. Back to a six-point ball game. If you can put a couple together, all of a sudden we got a brand new ball game. Well, things start getting in your head if you're South Central going, this is what happened last time. So we'll see. That, that could have been a roll-up right there. Stapleton from the back row swinging. Don't okay. see the liberos do that very often. All right, now you send a free ball here. Oh, oh. Well, we're going to get a free ball back. Got it over. Yeah, that's a nice play by Anschutz. What a play. The ball came over from deep. She just watched it, and she put it right where nobody was. I mean, look at that other side. Just there nobody was no there. one home because they were all chasing the ball. That was That's a, that's a coach's daughter right there seeing what's going on. Yeah, Coach Snyder, I, I kind of thought she would call a quick timeout here. You got a five-point lead. And uh, you're just telling the girls, you're kind of giving them a drink, telling them, hey, we've got this game in control. We get this set, we get the match. So just she's, she's just cheering them on a little bit. Coach Ann shoots, she's getting them fired up again. She's saying, hey, this is it now. This is what we do. May, they may be the big comeback team all year. I don't know, but. They seem to like to be playing from behind, don't you think? Yeah, they seem something about being challenged. They like a little bit of fire. Yep, they kind of get some going, I think. And only one senior on the roster, Coach. Who's their senior? That would be Megan Matuka. Okay, so. Blocked. Oh, there you go. There's the double block. And yep. I think that time York might have been the one that got it. York and uh, Molly. Murphy, I think York got it, yeah. Yeah, they had it covered that time, and coverage on the back of that other. Good serve That's by Alexander. Alexander. This one coming close side and into the bottom of the net there. Yeah, I don't. That's the one senior. That's a tough. That's a tough set for anybody, but I don't think uh, Maltuka probably gets a lot of sets. More than likely, they want to go to the five side here. Yep, there they go. Dug again by Stapleton. Stapleton Murphy's on the, the far right side, but they're going to go to the middle. Nice nice hit by Murphy. Nice job by Maltuka on that. She blocked it and covered it. Here we go, Murphy on the far hit. Far side. Bring it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Missed Out it. Out of bounds. Oh, man. That was a good – that was a really good hit by Murphy. She just and, – and I think Skyline put a block up there, so she had to go line. Just missed her probably by a couple inches, I'll bet you. 
Molly Murphy. Murphy, here you go again. Give it back to her. It's going to work more times than it's not. What a job by nice Skyline, job though. by Spies. Murphy with the dig. Here she goes with the hit. Give it back to her. Yep. Out of bounds. Nice. She hit the okay. antenna. I said that one hit the antenna. Okay, here's your five-point five lead. You got Anschutz on the front now. And get, guess what rotation they're in again, Coach? Well, the, the rotation that was working was when Anschutz was serving. That was when they made okay. the run on the last. But I think Anschutz in the middle is a pretty good combination, too. And obviously, you always got Hoffman on the back row being the <laughs> big. So. That big. Yep. That's really big. Okay, Stapleton with the top spin serve. So you've got to tell your girls, it's top spin serve. You've got to scoot it and get underneath of it because it's going to drop. Stapleton. There you go. Hoffman says, I'll take it. Coming to the far side and shoots. Going cross. Murphy kept alive. Alexander coming back for Murphy. Went with the left hand. There, Murphy saved another one. Nice job. There she got her hit. Yeah. Wow. She's got a sideways approach. She doesn't really take an approach and come off two feet, so it's hard to block. If you watch the way she comes in, she really, really comes in at angles. Just like that, it's now 20 to 12 in the second set. Yeah, they, they took charge. Grazed the top of the net. Right now, Skyline's just trying to survive, and that's not that's not hard. That's hard to do. Got another one, did Murphy? Murphy's hot. Your back row's playing well. Your setter Alexander's putting the ball where Murphy needs it. You got a pretty good server back yeah. there too. So now, if I'm Coach Snyder, I'm telling my setter, I'm I'm whispering her ear, I don't want the ball to go anywhere but number eight, Molly Murphy, when she's on the front row. One of the few mistakes tonight from Grace Hoffman. You got a kid standing sitting in the floor. <laughs> Where's the parents at? Yeah, they'll move him back. That was dangerous because they might have been able to get that. Parent never did come get the kid. Another ace. Yeah, she's. She's serving short because she sees how far back they are. This is going to be a heck of a championship game, Coach. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I think it's going to be fun to watch. Stapleton. Hoffman with the perfect pass again. And shoots. Got and deflected. Shoots got a touch. Guess who dug another one? Molly Murphy. Again. Went to the same Hoffman, spot. Hoffman, Hoffman, Hoffman. Man, I'll tell you what. She and Stapleton have just ate up the floor. Into the middle, blocked. What a block that time, and shoots. Did she hurt herself? I hope not. Oh, nope, she's she looks good. All right. She's good. She's going to middle. Here she goes, and shoots. Get and it up tip higher. It Look at that. Wow. She's so smart. She sees the court as a junior. Yeah, she. And watch that hole open up on the right side. Yeah, I've seen coaches' daughters for some reason. They've been in that court forever. She sees it every time. I've seen her watch a lot of things that she gets right today. 23 to 10. Or excuse me, 23-13. Float it over. Molly Murphy. Uh, they're going to go to the far side that time. Patterson. That was Patterson. Oh, Murphy must be sitting on the other side. Uh, one into nice the drive by Alexander. Good shot in there. I think that was, I think that was uh, Ann Schutz. She sees the court again. It would be a heck of a comeback if they tie it up 23 all in this one. I've this, seen it done. This would be all time. It would be a good one to watch. Holy cow. Final from uh, down the road in Satana. 32 to 30 in the third set to go to the state tournament. Buckland won it. Wow. Wow, wow. Murphy got that one. They're wanting to say that she came over the top of the net there was Spies. Let's take a look at it here. This one freed over. Nope. Nope, I think that was all the way across. Ball across the net. Match point. Missed it. South Central's going to the sub-state title game. Just what we thought it would be by the time everything all wrapped up. And it, this one's going to be fun, Coach. Yeah. I, I think it's probably good for Coach Snyder that their team got challenged that first match. I think that kind of got them going a little bit. And... Uh, yeah, sometimes I like playing the, the this game right before, and then you just get a you don't have to warm up very much, and uh, it's sometimes a it's a combination. Last time I played here, we we uh, were the third seed. Buckland had beat us both times, and South Gray had beat us both times in the in the early games, and we came back and and beat Buckland and beat South Gray and went to state. 
it's uh, anything can happen. And, and that's the way it was. We played five matches at, or well, how many did we play? I guess we played the semi quarter and semis, and then the finals. I guess, but we didn't have much rest, and I think that was an advantage sometimes. Get on a roll and keep it rolling. You just get on a roll and you like it. And I think Coach Snyder probably thinks that right now. They won't do a lot of warm up. They'll kind of get up and keep move the legs around. fresh. South Gray, they're getting excited. They're going to try to get going and have a good warm up. Pizza, a hot dog, and a shark will all be back for it. <laughs> South Gray and South Central for the so, for the sub state championship in South Gray. That's a lot of S's. Ten minutes on the clock. KCMC Sports will be back after this. country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us. And it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks, waiting for our chance to serve you. Trying to ensure that if you're going to be loyal to a brand, it's going to be ours. Lewis Automotive Group, helping you find your brand of truck for decades.
It's the sub-state championship game here in South Gray between the Rebels and the Timberwolves. On one side, Rick Moyer leads the Rebels out of South Gray, and he's got a trio of hitters led by Allie Reed. On the other side, Cindy Snyder in her 20th year total coach in volleyball has a couple of hitters herself. It's South Gray and it's South Central and the winner goes to the state tournament. And with that, welcome in ladies and gentlemen. It's sub-state championship time here in Montezuma. I'm Cameron Burney, Randy Fulton sitting alongside of me and Dick Coach. This one is going to be some pretty good volleyball here tonight. Yeah, I think so. I, I hope so. I like, I'd like to see a repeat of the other day, and I don't really care who wins, obviously, but uh, I want to see some good volleyball. And it, with uh, South Central beating them last week, I think a little bit more pressure's on South Gray right now. That uh, they want to, they want to come out and redeem that loss. And South Central, Cindy Snyder's telling them, she's saying, "Hey, we've beat them before. We can do it." And I don't know where that was. That wind was it at South Gray? Yep, it was here on Senior Night. Well, that's even better for South Central. So it wasn't the it wasn't the final game of the evening for them. As uh, trying to pull it up here, just as soon as I went to do that, click basketball instead of volleyball. <laughs> yeah, I I think the the deal here, if you're Coach Moyer for the Rebels, you're telling the girls, hey, we just. We probably, I think they probably beat them a couple times this year. And uh, all we got to do is play our game, play clean, and do what we do. But if you're, you're South Central, you like where you're at right now. It was the second game of... Second match. Yep, second match of three that night. They beat Rolla in two. They lose to South Central in three. And then they beat Buckland in uh, two as well. Wow, how about that? The first set went to South Gray 25 to 11. South Central response 25-23, 25-23. Yeah, that's, I was gonna say that. Sometimes when you come out and beat a team early that, that easy, it, it all of a sudden you get complacent and then the, the other team decides they wanna play and it ends up being a dog fight, which it looks like it was, so. I look for a really good match here. Um, it'll be interesting to see, but uh, I think South Gray's got an advantage here just because it's a home court. They've got the crowd with them. Um, if they can use that as an advantage and not a disadvantage, sometimes that is a disadvantage because the girls get nervous with everyone here. But I think they're an experienced enough team that they're going to they're gonna be okay. But you know what? Coach Snyder's been on that bench a long time, and she's going she's gonna to have her girls ready. And they played really well against Skyline. They did. Skyline put up a fight early on in the first set. And then once that got done, South South Central took charge. So South Gray was in the sub-state championship game, lost last year to Spearville in three sets. The South Central team went to state in 2022. In 2017, they were the runner-ups. And then they also went in 2015. That's the last three times the Timberwolves have been there. South Gray. They won the Spa League regular season title for the first time in 15 years. Yeah, they've had some good teams. They really have. And I think Coach Moyer really needs this one. He, he's put together a lot of good teams, and, and they've lost to some really good teams as well. But I think, I think this is his time. I really do. Um, I'm not wishing bad will on South Central at all, but I, I really feel it, that South Gray's got more experience right now. So we'll see. This one's going to be fun. We got a heck of an atmosphere in here so far. This place is going to get loud. We got a couple of student sections sitting on opposite ends of each other, and we're going to start it off here. By Helm to get things going in the first point to the Timberwolves. There we go. This one's going to get loud, Coach. Anytime you got Stapleton over there on the defense, that's going to be good. We got a libero for South Gray, Jacelyn Hills Camp. She's a good one as well. So, going to see some good defensive play as well as offense. Good Boyer, set. back set. There's there maybe go. the underdog of the tournament. Guess who puts the first point down for number one, South Gray? That's Goose Gosen. I tell you what, that girl knows how to hit, find spots. She doesn't get on top of it necessarily, but she hits it good, and she hits it in places where other teams aren't. Alexander the bump set. Molly Murphy, you saw her in the open. 
There's a back set. Nice set by Moyer Gosen. Oh, nice Tied play. Tight on the by net. Tip down. We're still alive. There was by, a whistle. By Helm had the block. They called a lift on uh, on Patterson. Boy, that was a tough one because I thought that was pretty good. Right there. Or they call it net. I don't know. They I don't know what they lift. called. I think they called a lift on her when she came down off the block, but that's okay. The back set way outside Murphy. Can't Murphy, bring it back. Murphy tried. All right, so so right now you got Kaylee Moyer serving, and you got they're going to try to go to Molly. Molly Murphy's going to try to hit a, a right side hit here. That's where they want to go. So if they can get the pass. There's the pass. Here it goes to Murphy on the right side. Coming across. There you go. They got oh. the hit. Yeah. Swing and a miss that time. Cervantes was close, just uh, well, unable it, to get it, it up. It ran along the net. That's tough. That was that was not a very easy play, but that was a good play for South Central. They want to go to the back side to go some. And another one, one passed over. Here we Helm. go to middle, 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 middle. By Helm. By Helm. There you go. Tipped it. Wow. wow. Everybody set up going, here it comes, and well, there it is. They brought Hackney into double block with Patterson, and, and right there, Murphy's got to come up to get the dink, and she didn't come up. She stayed back. Gosen with a good serve. Did she oh, get it? No. Floated. Floated out. Just barely. It was probably about three inches out, but that was one of those floaters that kind of just kept going. A floater's a good thing in volleyball. <laughs> All right, Gosen with the serve here. I know it's going to be Jellison. Oh, Jellison, yeah, there we go. Jellison to serve. What am I looking that at? That Emma Jellison. Good serve received from Hills Camp. By Helm oh. saves it. Oh, that should be a call, man. It rolled off her fingers. Okay. Swing hard. Got it over. Now a free ball. Hills Where do Camp you go? Comes up. You go to the outside of Allie Reed. Dug oh, by my goodness. Stapleton. Stapleton with the hit. Hackney blocked. Out of bounds. No, they're going to say it in. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, Stapleton had one heck of a dig, and they did everything right. They go to the far side to Hackney. It's blocked, and it lands in. By Helm gets a block, and it stays on their side. Nice wow. job. Good serve by well, Helm. Tell you what, we got a couple of high class volleyball teams here. Uh, Hackney. Okay, they, they've got to get the passes at the five-foot line right now. They, they're trying to set from the ten-foot line, and that's tough on the hitters. So I'm telling my passers if I'm South Central, let's get the ball to the five-foot line. Oh, Graze the top of the net for Vi Helm. Helm got a net shot right there. That's tough. All right, 7-3. If I'm Cindy at Snyder, I'm calling a timeout if, I, if they get another point. Helm. Serve. Oh, boy. Murphy, that was close. Hackney, far side. Blocked, there but it's out go. of bounds. There you go. Okay. So, that time, Hackney was, they had a good block set up, but Hackney's smart. She hit it off the hands. They call that a tool. They tooled it out of bounds off the hands. So, very good job by Hackney. Raised the net on the serve that Allie time. Moyle will bring it back. This Allie, time, it's Brenneman. Allie Reed had a really nice dig there. Into the middle. Blocked down. Brenneman. Brenneman with the block in the middle. I like to see the emotion by both teams. They're both in the, in the game right now. They're having fun. It's an emotional game. It really is, and we haven't seen a lot of that today yet. This is it. This is fun. Yeah. Out of bounds. Nope. Oh, Stapleton played Stayed it. Oh, it came off of the ceiling. Yep. That the only downside, I think, to playing in here is the, yeah, the lower ceiling. Lower ceiling. You just got to tell the girls that there's a lot of things that can go off of. You can't quit until the ball's done. That one, nice serve, nice. Alexander Murphy going nice into the middle. Oh, Deflected she went underneath under. the net. You got to call timeout for Snyder. Looks like she's got to. Yep, Coach Snyder's timeout. There you go. Timeout. Oh, oh no, she didn't. I she looked she at the was... official. I thought maybe she took one. I did too. I would have taken one. I would have taken one at the last point probably. Six point ball game. Fuels camp. camp serve. This is her third serve. I think I'd be. Seven All right, you got to get the serve. Going to the middle. They went to their bread and butter hackney, there and it go. worked. There you go. All right. Okay, Hackney's going to the back row. Murphy's had the hot hand late in the in the last set. We'll see if they can get Murphy going. Really, I think what the happen I think South Central just needs the passes to get to the five foot line for Alexander to set a better set. Allie Reed had to wait on it. She got it. Went all the way across at the uh, ten foot line. 
and it landed in. What a play. What a spot. Reed goes to the back row to serve. Tight on the net. Alexander can't bring it over, and here comes the timeout. There's your passes. I, South Central has got to get your passes going. Serve, receive, and passing right now is the, the killer. And uh, South Gray's smelling blood in the water right now in this match. So next two points are important for South Central. If they don't get the next two points, I think that it's going to be a long day for them on this set at least. Yeah. So there's student section on one side, South Central. Tell you what, yeah, there is an atmosphere in here, Coach. It's not jam-packed wall-to-wall, -wall, but yeah, we do they, have a pretty good atmosphere. They've got some kids here, and that's good, and, and the clear out, but yeah, it, it's still too bad, really. You think about it. This We used to pack this place when, when we used to have games in here and, and went everywhere because it just seems like the fans don't follow as much as they used to. There's two good teams here. Very they, much they, so. This, this place should be packed with these two teams as fans. It's too bad they're not all here. But what we've got here, they're doing a good job. The old uh, the old shark and the hot dog and the pizza is getting excited. I was going to say, so. the ones that are here are all the way here. There you go, York with a middle hit, but a good dig by Hules Camp. Coming all the way across. Ghost go, got Ghostin. another. I said she doesn't hit hard. She smacked that one. She got a good one. Got the net again. It, she doesn't get over the net, so she hits the net a lot, and that, that makes it even harder to dig. But York's got to get over here to block. That's the only way they're going to stop her. Allie Reed to the back row, one pass over. Moyer will take it, Moyer. so the set's out. Now they go back to Moyer. Going over Murphy. Moyer's going to bump set over to the four to Gosen. Gosen again. Oh, they oh, kept it alive. Stick Stapleton again with the big dig. Here you go, Gosen's going to think yep. it. All right, here Gotta we go, get Molly a set Murphy. For Molly. Get a set for Molly Murphy there. Got it. There you go. All right, now, you've got to put a run together. You're seven down, but the, but the South Gray's only got 13, so if you could get three to four points off this serve, I feel really good about South Central if I'm their coach. Ten to six. That one ran deep on Helm, was able to get it they're there. Gonna the get, back bump They're going to get a tip. They're going to give one right back over right here. Here you go. Quickly, Brenneman. Murphy will send it into the middle. Heels camp kept it alive. Here's Moyer. A, here we go. Oh, wow. That was very nice by Molly Murphy. Wow. Really, I like the, I like the play that uh, the Kylie or uh, <laughs> Kaylee Moyer did. She backsetted one, and it was open, but Molly stuck a hand out and got it. And then Alexander puts oh, one into the net. Man. Again, you got to get back there, take a, take a deep breath, look at the court, and pick a spot. That's just, especially when the adrenaline's going. Hackney, not the best pass. They'll bring it back. Gardea blocked. Murphy kept it alive. Nice job by Murphy. Get on top of it. No. Nope. Oh. Not, not going to be able to get it. Not able to get all the way out to that one. I'm probably calling another timeout if they get another point. I just, you got to get something going here. Through South Central. Here you go. Got Going Murphy. Murphy. Got it. Good set. There Good you go. swing. That was a very nice pass set spike. By... See, that time they got the pass to the five foot line, and Alexander just put a bullet right there to, to Murphy to hit a really good line. Stapleton here. This is a good rotation for him. Stapleton serving. So Moyer, the back bump set. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Hit the line, Judge. So that one a pretty easy call for her. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the back bump set there. Just a little too long for Gosen. All right. Six point ball game. This is what you want. You want to get within four here. Moyer. Get, get this point one at a time. Gosen again. Did she get it? She got it. Yeah. You got Vi Helm set up over here. Everybody in the place thinks you're coming to her. Well, and then there's uh, Lake and Gosen on the you, back I, side. I've watched enough to know that when Gosen's over there, they set that back set every time off that serve receive. The back Just set. like this right here for Molly, yeah. So if your hitter's on the right side, you're going to serve receive out of the right side, and you're going to hit a five. That's what you're trying to do. And everybody should know that on that team, the other team, and they're not picking that up. So floated over. Allie Reed with a good pass. Yep. 
There you go, by, by Helm with the roll of the middle. Wasn't ready for that. Here one. comes Izzy Hackney, first big swing for her of this one. And it's one passed one. over. They're Need going back one. to her, aren't they? Yes, yep. sir. Here we go. Gosen dug it. She got in a good spot, Gosen did. Got it back to her, blocked, and it's out. I'm calling timeout if I'm Snyder. Nope, she's going to wait, but I'd call timeout. Student section's uh, jacked up on the far side. Fans got excited. I'd be calling timeout and talking to my One girls. passed over on the net, Allie Reed. Yeah, you've got to call timeout now. There it is. This place is rocking if you're a Rebel fan. Yeah, this is... You're in uphill battle now. Momentum's going. But you know, you're telling, if I'm Cindy Snyder, I'm, I'm, I'm more worried right now about just trying to get momentum into the next set. You might not win this set, but you want to get momentum so you can get into the set. Like you said the last time they played, 25-11, wasn't it, that South Gray won? Tw yeah, 25-11 to 11 so, in the first set. So, you, you know, you got to tell your girls, hey, just get some momentum going. If, if we can't win this, we at least want momentum. Because right now their crowd's excited. Your crowd's trying to get excited, but there's nothing really to get excited about yet. Looking for a reason to go wild. Yeah. You got Hackney on the front row. All right, you're, you know where the set's going to. If you're South Gray, you're gonna, Cervantes and Helm are gonna set up on top of, of Hackney, and she's gonna have to get over a block. Now we're gonna just have to be free balled over. That's what you can't do against the South Gray team because it's by Helm in the middle. Well, they, tipped it. they didn't get the pass deep enough to set the middle. Hackney will send it deep. Heels camp kept it alive. Yeah, you're going to get a free ball here. Allie Reed, no, uh, swinging but missed yeah, it. Yeah. That was impressive to still get that ball to a spot where she could go after it yeah, like that. You work on that. You work on a back row bump set, and, and that's most of the four hitters like that. And she, Allie did a good job. She just didn't get on top of it there. Seven-point ball game. This again, Emma Jellison to serve. Nice serve. Nice job by Heels Camp. I tell you, we've got Liberos in here today. Reed got it on the line. Yeah, there she goes. And I did notice one thing there. Emma Jellison has come in to start serving for Anna Gardea after in the semifinal. Gardea missed a couple three serves. Yeah, I think that's a smart play. So it's, you just want to get it in. Yeah, here you go. You need to get a side out if you're South Central, South Gray. You just want to get a good set. Hackney on the far side, way up on the net. She won that one. Wow. That's impressive there. She, she That ball was going over the net, and she was she was good enough and big enough, uh, strong enough to push it into the block who was waiting for that. Very impressive. Oh, oh man. man. South Central's just... They've lost their concentration a little bit. Focus has got to be on. You've got to put the ball in play. All right. Heels camp to serve. Heels camp's done a good job of serving here. Another good one. One yep. passed over. Buckle up. Allie Reed. Yep. Missed it. Out of bounds. Boy. Allie's, Allie Reed's just not getting enough of an approach. She's taking two steps and hitting instead of three now. Okay, she's going to get the set on the five side this time. Allie Reed is, and I'll bet she hits a good one. Oh, Just missed it. it. Yeah. That's two in a row for South Central. That's a killer. When Four you're trying points. to make a comeback, you can't give points away. That last one was close enough. It's about sent Rick Moyer to his knees. Murphy got it. Yeah, there they go. Now they just got to get a serve over and in. See, now you're just trying to get momentum. So get your serve in. Okay, you know, the ball's going to go to Gosen this time on the four, I'll bet you, if they get the pass. Watch this. Here we go. Coming close side, Gosen. Yep, it's going to go Gosen. Dug out of the back row by Hagney. It hit the ceiling. There was whistles, though. Oh, that was a that was an inadvertent whistle or what? I think they said South Central was in the net. Oh, okay. Let's see. I, I was watching the dig. I wasn't watching the set. We got the hot dogs sitting over, not with the kids. I don't know what the hot dog's doing. <laughs> Going to get a hot dog or something, maybe? Saying. I don't know. I don't see any ketchup on it. That's what you need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The hot, oh, there's two hot dogs in the stands. Okay. There we go. That's it. Oh, that was almost a lift. Crowd wanted one. Murphy. Got it. Yep. That's that first contact. They changed the rules. Anything goes on first contact, and I hate that rule. 
I hate that rule. Takes, takes this, the skill out of the game when they can do that. There's a nice pass by Allie Reed out of the middle. The back slide There's Gosen. to Gosen again. Yeah. It's been the green light for her. And now guess who's serving for the Rebels? Yep, Shaylee Moyer. Here we go. Bat tripped over the ball, so <laughs> hopefully she's all right. It's all smiles on the floor currently for South Gray. One point away from taking the first set. Alexander will tip it over, missed it. South Gray's got the first one, 25 to 15. And they look pretty good, Coach. Yeah, I, I kind of thought this was going to happen. I, I just see South Gray, they, they want redemption on that last loss. And I, I, I came into sub-states with no losses, and that's tough. It really is, because it's nice sometimes to get challenged, get beat, and then your focus changes in practice. I'll bet they had a good practice all week. I bet they did. So, and you knew you were going to play South Central, so you can just focus on that. So South Gray and South Central, second set coming up after this KCMC Sports Class 1A Division I Substate Volleyball brought to you by United and Lewis Automotive is back after this. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. South Gray now on the left, South Central now on the right. And the season's on the line now for South Central with the backs against the wall. Well, if I'm Coach Snyder, I'm looking at my seniors, which is Stapleton and, and Murphy, and they both played well. But they need to get the other girls fired up. you got to get some momentum, and it really starts right here with a pass set spike on the serve receive. Warrior to start the serving. Hackney, and, and it's going to be a lift. Yeah, that's not the start you wanted, but that's okay. Get, get another one. That, but rolled right up her arm. That was a good call by the official. All right. Moyer to serve again. There you go. Stapleton put one up. Yep. Here comes Murphy. Here's Murphy your on the close right there. side. There you go. Got good it off big the side by Gosen. There you got go. Got over there and got it down on top of the net was Gracie York. Uh, York was ready for that. But there you go. There's your two seniors. Pass, set, spike, and then uh, good job by York putting that down on the ground. 1-1, one, one, Stapleton serving. You nice gotta, serve. You've got to get a lead here if you're – there's a nice job of digging it. Now, here you go. Murphy again. Molly Murphy down the line. Good job by Hughes. Oh, was in the net. Was there you go. South Gray. Yeah, hit her elbow on the net. Okay, so, man, if I – you're telling your girls if you're South Central, you got to show some emotion. you got to let them know that we can play with you. There's the bump set on the back set. Go, 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 Sin. There you go. Yep, she's pretty much automatic over there on that side on the server seat. Two apiece, second set. Winner goes to the state tournament in Dodge City next Friday. Big swing blocked. Right helm got it. 
That was, a good, was, that there was too. a good swing by Patterson. She just, the, the ball went down, just got blocked, and, and uh, they just got to cover that if it happens. Goes to graze the nice top of the net. Nice job by, by uh, the libero, Stapleton. Great job. Molly. Big I'll swing you, there. It's pretty much automatic. Each team, when their good hitter gets on the right side on service even hits a five on the right side, it's automatic. <laughs> I can't. The team that can figure that out maybe will win this thing. I don't know. It seems to be. By it. Helm almost ended up in the first row of the bleachers. Gosa right, brought it all the way oh back, goodness. and it worked. Wow. Coach Snyder's about to go crazy on that one. you got a free ball coming right to you to set. You're going to set Hackney, and you can't get a free ball up in the air to set. Ouch. That, that hurts. Sometimes things have to go right for you to make the state tournament. There you go, Molly. Put a good pass up there, Stack. Hackney got in the net. Yeah, that's – you've got it. The, the deal is with the shorter hitter, even if you can jump, you've got to put the ball about the three- to five-foot line. Otherwise, the blockers have an advantage over your hitter, and that's what happened there. Hell, oh, that's a lift again. I'm Coach Snyder. I'm calling timeout. She's thinking about it. Nope, she's not going to, but I wouldn't let it get to five. I'd, I'd take a timeout right now and try to stop momentum. Don't do any good being in your pocket. And there missed it. There she goes. Yep, she knows what she's doing, obviously. All right, here comes the jealous yep, girl to Jellison serve. back in to serve. They need a little run here, I tell you. They got, they're got two two behind. We just, you can't get more than three or four in this match. I think you got to get a, a lead and see if you can't keep it. Missed it. Well, that's not what you wanted. Hills camp now. I'll tell you, Another one. Molly, Molly Murphy keeps trying to take those passes. When it's below your shoulders, you cannot take an above throw. It's just take your platform. That's all you got to do. And Cindy's trying to tell her that. Hills camp. Okay, go right back at her. There you go. Platform. There you got it. Into the middle. Swing. Oh, Ghost and dug it. It hit the goal. It's coming back. They brought it back. Can Moyer get it over? She did. Alexander had to run a long ways. Hackney dug by Hell. Moyer brought it back, and she there ended up on the scores table. You got to get this one right now. Oh, and oh on the it. net. Fighting for it. Win. Hackney got in it. South Gray got the point. A timeout. We've got to call time. Nope, not going to do it. Man alive. What a rally that one was. Yeah. That's a that's a killer for South Central. They did a lot of good things there, and they, they didn't win that point. Five-point lead now. Good pass by Murphy. Hackney. No, excuse me, in the middle that time. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, not going to be able to bring that one back. That's two good hits by Patterson. The other one was the one they dug out of the stands that should have been a kill, but but South Gray was just all, all over the place on that play. Patterson's going the back row now, so you're going to rely on Hackney and then hopefully get York something here and there. There you go. That'll work. There's a luck play finally for South Central. You need a little bit of luck, like you said. So far, the ball's falling on South Gray side more than it's falling on South I was going to say, when the ball's Central's. headed for the eighth row of the bleachers, hits one of the basketball goals and comes back, things might be going your way. There, they, they served it out. That's, that's tough. Four-point game. Hackney tied on the net. Alexander kept it alive. Murphy swinging. Yeah, that's okay. I thought that was a pretty good swing. Here goes Gosen. Guess who? Boom. Kill. Hack or excuse me, Stapleton was able to get that one she tried. up, but to no avail. Yeah. And there's your timeout. Yeah. If you look at the you, you kind of look at the faces on South Central, they're they're down right now. They're they're looking for something yeah, to go they're right. they're just looking for something to go right, and it's just not happening right now. Yeah, it's this is a tough this is a tough road to hoe, and right now I'm trying to think who's on the front row. On I think you got Hackney. Hackney's got to get an attack. We haven't called her name for a while, uh -huh. and you know the problem is, and I thought it was going to be a problem is is a shorter hitter just struggles against a good team that can block, and that's. Nothing against Hackney at all because she can get up. But what she's got to do is she's got to be able to hit the hands and wipe it off somehow. 
But they also are putting the ball too close to the net for her. I think if they put it to three to five foot line, I think she'll have it eight. She'll do a lot better. So, okay, it looks like to me Hackney's going to come over. Hackney's going to come to the close side. She's going to hit a middle. She's going to hit a middle this time out of the, out of serve receive. Where it looks like they're headed. Yeah, it's just that was too far off and well, it into the bottom of the net. The pass wasn't there, and yeah, she probably should have just. Pushed it over somewhere and tried to live for another day there. Six point lead for South Gray. Into the net, Allie Reed. That's that's not what South Gray wanted, but that's okay. They'll be all right. Greg Moyer turns around, claps, and walks all the way to the end of the bench and shakes his head. All right, here you go. You got uh, got Gosen on the Gosen's far side. Gosen's gonna hit it. Blocked. Nice block. Kept alive by Helm. Brought York. it back. Moyer will send it over. York and Alexander on the double block on that Murphy. Time. Murphy. There you go. Doug oh, out of the back Allie row. Reed with a heck of a block. Or a Gosen. A dig. Dug by Stapleton. Stapleton, very nice. Over 1,000 career digs went over it earlier today. She's Into the middle. One. Brenneman. Dug again. This is a good rally here. South Central needs to win this. Murphy. Dug by Hillscamp. They, they need some momentum. Oh, that's a carry by both of them. Ends up going out. I'm not sure how that wasn't a carry on, on the Moyer, and then I also thought the South Central was a carry, but it went out of bounds <laughs> anyway. But Moyer and Murphy there. Yeah, she brought that one from her hips out. I think even Coach knows that. That's when I'm yelling at the officials. <laughs> That's when you get a little excited. That's when I get excited. They don't need any help. By Helm, one pass. It hit the light, brought into the second row there by Alexander. Thought maybe that one was going to be able to come back, but Cindy's going to wait for one more and call timeout, or she's going to call it here in a minute because it's the curtain's slowly going down here for South Central. They need something to happen. Yep, another another left. They're taking it with their hands underneath their shoulders, and you cannot do that. Passers, I'm not sure why they keep doing that. Eight-point lead now for the Rebels, looking to go to the state tournament. There you go. Oh, nope. Alexander unable to get to timeout. that one, Coach and here Snyder. comes the timeout. This place is going to get loud. South Gray, 16-7 to seven on top of South Central. This one. Everything so slowly started to go right here in the second set for South Gray. And the fans are starting to feel this one. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough road for South Central to come back. There's too much emotion out there right now. And, and South Central, the seniors, are they're, they're trying to keep it together, but they're playing their hearts out. It's just tough right now. South Central, the two seed, 23 and nine on the year coming into today. South Gray, the number one team in the state, 35 and one on the, the year coming into tonight. 16 to seven. There's a good pass. Good job by Patterson. Murphy, close side, down the line. Oh, she said she line didn't judge see didn't it. see it. Replay it. How does the line judge not see that? <laughs> okay. Let's see here, coach. I don't know if we're going to see that. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this or not. Right there. I think it was in. I don't know. See, I thought it was out. But. See, so we're going to replay it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good replay. Line judge maybe was blocked by the by the grill. It's going to go uh, to South Gray off of it. Again, Gosen knows she hits that net a lot because she's not the tallest hitter, and that just makes it really hard. Really, really hard. One. Hackney, Good pass Alexander Hackney. into the middle, York. He's going to work out there for South Central, so. York got a kill there. Good job going somewhere else. Just trying to get the blocks off the top of their hitters. All right, Alexander needs to get some serves in here and get something going. There's, there's, oh, that oh, was That out. was going to be out the whole way. Yeah. I'm, I'm sitting here telling Alexander, hey, take a little bit off of that because they're not going to hit this next one if it comes up there. Alexander, 17 to nine, South Gray. Nope, it's uh, Same thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, they've got to realize when they get lucky once that you've got to change it up. You can't just, they're not going to make two mistakes on South Gray's side on that. Coach Snyder's trying to pump them up, but it's tough. Hackney, Alexander, Murphy. That's a, that's a good set hit. That was a great dig by Brenneman. Just off the ceiling here. Yeah. Or off of the air duct, I guess, that not the That was a really ceiling. good hit. That was an out-of-system hit by Murphy. Okay, so Gosen's on the right side. Here's the one you got to stop. So Molly's got to get over here, Molly Murphy, and block this Goose Gosen shot here. Watch this. Nope, set wasn't there that time. There we Tipped go. down by Murphy, though. She still got there. Yeah. Seven-point ball game. See, I'm, I'm telling – I'm scooting Murphy and them over right now because I want her waiting for Gosen. I'd put a double block on her with Patterson. Up there you go. And the champ couldn't quite get to that one. They got a, They put a couple together here, Coach. All right, I, I'd let them have one more before I call timeout. And then I'm going to call timeout and settle them down a little bit. It, they've got a hard one. They're, they're serving because they're trying to bring the setter out of the back row, and Gosen's trying to hide the setter, and they're serving right to her. Here it comes to Gosen. Gosen on the right side. Got it through the block. Yeah, they, That's they, big. Just, they just can't get a block on that. You know it's coming. You know it's going to be there. You've got to be over there and get a block on it somehow, some way. Gosen will float one over. Hackney again takes it with her hands. Looking deep, kept alive. Allie Reed on the far side. Big swing. Oh, they were in the net, though. Oh, wow. I don't remember if it was number, if it was uh, Gardea. It was in the net, I think. Man. You, that just takes the, the air right out of you. As, yep, on the far side, Gardea got it with the wrist. Yep. Just, you can't, you can't reach. Just got to be, be, be solid. You're not going to stuff Allie Reed anyway. You're going to just get a touch. So. Murphy, it got touched. Boyer, the back bump set. Allie Reed. Setters out now, Gardea. Now into the middle, into the net. And South Gray can feel it now. Yeah, it's. It's all over but the crying right now, I think. I, too much momentum going on. South Central's fighting, but they just can't seem to get a break. And this is a really good South Central team, oh, too. Oh, yes, it is. They, they've got a really good team. Nice job by Murphy. They needed that. All right, now Murphy goes the back row. You've got uh, Hackney on the front. Patterson hit in the middle. Patterson's had some nice hits. You've got to serve serve. Away from the libero, not to the libero. One all the way over. Allie Reed into the net. Allie went so hard to get a good hard hit. And she's, yeah. I think Coach would like to see her get some hits because she needs to carry some momentum if they get the state. She needs to be a, a factor. Gosen. Nice pass. Boyer. By Helm. Off the hands of Hackney. Well, we haven't said by Helm's name much we in have today gone. either. It's been, it seems like to me it's been Gosen. Gosen's had the kills. I'll bet if you take. I'll bet Gosen's had as many today as anybody. I think she's been the, the most valuable player on their team, other than Kaylee setting the ball, I think, the, the setter. And oh, Hules. going to be a lift. Hules Camp's done a nice job as well. That Liberia. South Gray. Two points away. Oh. 23-14. Alexander coming close side. Hackney nice. missed oh, it. Looked like she just had it. barely. Well, here's the crowd going to be standing up. Game point, set point, match point. Here we go. Vi Helm's going to get a serve it. Allie Reed's on the front row. See what South Central has here to go to the state tournament. Hackney, the swing, it's that blocked, but it landed there out. There you go. See, that time they set the ball about three to four feet away, and she had room to work. She was able to tool off the hit. Off the hit. That's what they needed all day. Here we go. And now that would have been a terrible way to end it. They're checking the lineup <laughs> right now to make sure. Jealous. Now they're going to make sure that they're good here. Looks like they're good now. Jellison to serve. All right, this is going to get set to it's gonna be Allie over. Reed in the middle. Allie, no, nope. they're going Brenneman. There Kept alive, go. tied on the net. 
kept alive. Cervantes, Kaylee Moyer. All right, oh boy. The bump set. Hackney, close side, got it over. Here goes Allie Reed, watch this. Allie Reed to the far side for the state tournament. There you yes, go. sir. Yeah. South Gray's done it. See you in Dodge City next week. Uh, nice job. South Central put up a fight, especially in the first set. It just too much, too much for South or South Central. South Gray's got way too many weapons. Maybe the deepest team in all of 1A. I guess Little River would probably give them a run for their money if they make it. There's but four. You, there's four teams coming in. I think that can win it. But uh, surely South Gray is one of the one of the tops. They definitely. They'll probably be a one seed. I don't know. I haven't seen the records on the other teams. I would guess they would be. They were seed, They were ranked number one coming in. Well, they knew they were the been, only team that was had not only lost had one a match. Loss. Well, they so, should yeah. be. They should be number one then. Yeah. Yeah. What a day, coach. Yeah, that was a good day. That was uh, some good volleyball, especially at the end. I, I like to see them when they they get to go after it. And, yeah, congratulations to South Gray and congratulations to South Central. Yeah, both teams uh, played great all day long. Coach, appreciate you coming on here and doing this with us. You bet. Enjoy it. We're going to be at 3 and 4A State next week in Hutch. That's Unfortunately, he's got to be on the NFHS network, but uh, that's going to be some pretty good volleyball there. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'll be glad to be there, and we'll call it. But be interesting because it won't be kids we know. I know. So. <laughs> it's it's going to be a little different. Yeah, but there'll be some good volleyball. There so. will be. South Gray's going to state. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to have an interview with Rick Moyer live on the field here, or on the court, not the field. This isn't football. This is volleyball. Live on the court coming up. I'm Cameron Burney. That's Randy Fulton, KCMC Sports. We're going to have an interview right after this. Country was built by hardworking men and women who put in the necessary physical labor and principles we try to live by today. When guys like Henry Ford and Horace and John Dodge design cars and trucks, they help to streamline that work and keep our country growing. That's why when we think about trucks, it's no wonder that we just associate them to hardworking American men and women. At Lewis Auto Group, we think it's important to celebrate these laborers. We salute these men and women and are grateful to be the part we play to help them get the job done. Thank you for helping build our great country. Living in the Midwest can be rewarding on so many different levels. What most folks think of as flyover country is what so many of us consider paradise. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we know just how special this area really is. That's why we're proud to be your local dealer for over 50 years. The hardworking people in our community enjoy the freedoms we hold so dear. The blue collar way of life is the badge of honor around here. At the Lewis Automotive Group, we stand with all of you, determined to preserve the Midwest way of life. Trucks have been through a lot of changes over the years. They've grown in size to adjust to the big jobs we give them to do. They've been there with us, working beside us, and it seems that all of us seem to be loyal to a brand. Ford, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, or Nissan. No matter what brand you're loyal to, Lewis Automotive Group will be here. As trustworthy as those trucks, waiting for our chance to serve you. Trying to ensure that if you're going to be loyal to a brand, it's going to be ours. Lewis Automotive Group, helping you find your brand of truck for decades.
Craze headed to state. We're here with not just Rick Moyer, like I told you, but the whole freaking team. Coach, what does it mean you get you finally get to the state tournament with these girls? Well, it's been it's been tough. We've been beaten, you know. Last year was a real real nail biter, and we didn't quite come out on top. But this year, uh, I told him in the beginning, God has a plan for this team, and I guess God's not done with us yet because we're still rolling on. So this is awesome. And you've got all kinds of hitters. I mean, top to bottom. I mean, it's not hardly fair sometimes the rotations you guys get with girls on the front row. But what does it mean to be able to just sit over there? Like you told me before, you just sit on the sidelines and just watch them play volleyball. Yeah, I don't know very much about the game, so I taught them everything I know, and now I can just sit there and watch. But they're better than I am, so it's, it's, it's fun. Sometimes I just want to be a parent. I was standing all the way against the wall just so I could be a parent for a little bit during the game. So, yeah. And what does it mean to have this in your building with your fan base behind you? Well, it was awesome. Last time we hosted, we didn't even make it to the finals. So this time I told them, that nobody cares what you've done all season. It's, it's today. that It's got to be your day. And today was pretty much our day. So, But this, this is an amazing group of girls. They put the team first. They, they've just been amazing all year. They're fun to coach. But we need to talk to some of them because this is their day. This isn't my day. This is their day. So make them uncomfortable and talk to them. All right, come here, Vi. <laughs> so... You get to go to state now. You guys made it in basketball last year. What does it mean you're going in volleyball? Um, I'm really excited to play in United Wireless. I'll be a whole different scenery, and I'm just so excited. And you've got, like Coach said, you got all kinds of hitters. How nice is it to know that when you get onto the front row, you may go a rotation and you only get maybe one or two balls? Uh, I believe in all of our hitters. I believe that they can put it down in. Um, it's going to be someone's day. Even if someone else is having a bad day, someone will have a good day. Kaylee, you want to step up here real quick? So we're just going to keep talking the hitters because that's, I mean, that's just not even fair, some of them you guys have. How nice is it as the setter to know all you got to do is put a ball a couple of feet off the net and you know somebody's going to go get it? It's, it's so nice. I can trust all of them to get a kill. I can put it high outside, put it high anywhere, and can trust them to get a kill. And uh, you have your dad coaching you. Yeah. <laughs> is that, what does that mean to you that you're going to state with him? Um, he yells at me a lot. So, <laughs> but I, <laughs> but it's, it's so nice. I love playing for him and have him, having him coach me. But, yeah. So, again, congratulations, girls. Thank you, coach. South Gray's headed to state. What a day. What a day. I'm Cameron Burney for Randy Fulton for our entire crew. Thank you all so much for being here with us. And for the final time from South Gray, good night.